So again, portions, uh, just all of today is, is, is my favorite. But when we get into this uh, Brodick's run for the 50K, set them up to be perfect. I know you guys already know that. You're like, you're telling me something I already know. I know. But what I'm saying is swing hard at that tree. This does act as a timer. And again, remember, it's $50 paid in the lanes to go for that Brodick's run for the 50K. But racers, set them up to be perfect. And the reason that we're asking for that is because as soon as we see a perfect reaction time, I just want Steve to be able to witness the, the, the instantaneous freezing, the wiggling, the squirming, the wondering. It's happened once before. Withero did it in Bristol. I believe in each and every one of you. I believe that it will happen again here today. Have faith. No. No. I am on the racer's side. I am here. Since, since yesterday we only picked Pete's pocket for a hundred bucks, somebody needs to nick him for $50,000. Just saying. The weather is beautiful. We need to get to that. Uh, I'll, I'll get it. We're going to look it up on Air Density Online. Hey. So we should have, I believe, from what I see, we've got one more. New entry time run again, last chance, last call, final opportunity. Let's go ahead and uh, get our new entries into lane seven and eight if you are there. Larise Pro, Larise Pro, for the Brodix run for the 50K, you have been called to lanes one and two. Super Pro door cars, both odd and even. You have been called to lanes three and four. We would like to get our double entered door cars up first. So if you are a double entered door car, we want to get you up first so that you have an opportunity to make your run. And if you are 
choosing to make a second run based on your second entry in the million. Again, remember, if you are double entered in the million, you are eligible for two shots at that Brodix run for the 50K. Basically, you get like one chance per entry. Yeah. Double mint gum. Double your pleasure. I can't remember the... I mean, I can kind of hear the jingle for double mint in my head, but... For some reason, I'm getting it confused with the jingle for Jello. You know, that whole see it wiggle, see it jiggle. Jello brand gelatin and have some fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, but as a little kid, I do remember the Doubleman twins. Yes. That's right, brother. 22 on the tree. As we head down in a new entry run, 444, 154 miles an hour. So once again, we should have all of our Larice Pro. Oh! Oh, so Steve finds the double mint gum old commercial complete with the frame that they put around it with the TV with the knobs. Oh. Everybody's going, wait, you used to have to get up and change the channel? Like you couldn't just sit there and go, Alexa, <laughs> change to channel 24. <laughs> No, we're good. We're good. So I think we've got one more on a new entry time run. And then our Loris Pro. Prodix run for the 50K. He's back in the staging lanes. We should have Super Pro Door Car if you are double entered. Super Pro Door Car if you are double entered. You should be up towards the front of lanes three and four. So Super Pro Door Car, both odd and even for the Brodix run for the 50K session. If you're double entered, let's get you up near the front. Everybody else, let's get you lining up in behind them. Super Pro Door Car, come on down. So a little Mustang Fox body should be the final car that we've got in our new entry time runs. And there you go. 20 red and then go 603 down the racetrack. So again, Super Pro Door Cars, come on down for everybody that is listening in online. Part of the chat bleachers here on the Jegs and Hoosier live feed on that new Race the Flings YouTube channel. Again, as you check into the chat room, there are 613 folks that are watching online with a grand total of 94 likes. For those of you that have already hit the like button, congratulations. We thank you. For those of you that have not yet hit the like button on today's stream, shame. Okay, maybe not shame, but 
You should be embarrassed. No, maybe you don't even need to be embarrassed. Just reach up and hit that like button now. That would be the way to go. That would be the way to go. It is a Silver State Refrigeration and HVAC Million Dollar Saturday. They are back at the Diva Desk right now, taking care of any last minute additions, changes, modifications to the entry list. Remember today we are going to have the Kid Performance and Dino Last Man Standing $10,000 Calcutta for the million. They were only going to be selling 130 tickets for that, so if you want to jump in on that Last Man Standing Calcutta, I would recommend that you do so quickly. Once those 130 tickets are gone, that's it. There will be no more. So again, 10 grand going out to whoever holds the name of the last person standing. You can get $10,000. Thanks again to the folks at Kid Performance and Dino. Mark Kid has been a longtime partner with the Flings, and we appreciate all that you've done for us. Brodix also a longtime partner with the Flings, and in the format that we have out here at the Million, everybody gets a chance at that set of Brodix heads. So we are looking for uh, overall best package awards. We've got $50,000 on the line in the Brodix run for the 50K. Our pro drivers are coming out of the staging lanes and headed towards the arch. Overall, in the Brodix run for the 50K, we are going to be keeping track of the top three best packages. Overall best package gets a set of Brodix SR20 heads valued at over $6,000. Second best package overall in the Brodix run for the 50K gets $2,000. And the third best package gets that 2025 million entry. As we roll our first pair into the water box for the Brodix run for the 50K, Steve and I have turned around, staring directly at Peter Biondo. I'm going to give him a nice little wink. Peter has, Peter has said a little prayer. Let's see here. How many, how many racers do you think are going to run in the Brodix 50K? Let's say, we, let's say we put 325 cars down the racetrack. That is 325 of you racers against one Peter Biondo. The Terminator, the Terminator is standing strong back there going like, yeah, swing at me. Dude, I really hope, I really hope this first pair we get a perfect light just to watch him panic. <laughs> this is a fun part of the day. Panic Pete. Jeff Peterson is 006. Jacob Phelps leaves early by 42. And Peterson, one under. Oh, 006 and 687 on a 688. So. I'm going to toss the question out there to the chat bleachers as we get started this morning. My question is, what package do you think it's going to take to be in the top three? How good do you need to be to be top three here today? Is it four? Jeff's calling out a two-pack. We've already had a one-pack. We've had a couple of three-packs. We've had several two-packs. What? Okay. You got it? Carolyn German, Tony Price. Tony's 005. So we go from a 005 to a 006, and then he goes 586 a little bit too quick. Michael Bullard saying it's got to be a four pack or better. Chase is saying, well, Chase, you can't vote twice. Is it two or three? 
Steven, you think you got to be perfect to be in top three? You think we're going to have three perfect packs? Four packs, three packs? Wes, you think, I'm asking, in order to be top three, what's the package you need to have? What happens if two people have a perfect run today? We have a runoff. And then if they tie in the runoff, you go all gladiator style and open up Thunderdome. We'll see. Tyler Rush is 10 red, goes 614 on a 617. Charlie Lockhart, 16 and dead nine. Which, with everybody so far, we've either had a breakout or a red light. Charlie Lockhart with a 25 pack is atop the list. Say two of the top three are going to have a three pack. See, I am, I'm really hoping conditions are great. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Did we get the air density online look up yet? I need to do that. All right, Mark Fall is 005 red. And then goes 706 on a 708. He's under 200. Cliff Hall, 19 green and is under 200 of a second. You're saying three packs, somebody's going to be dead on. Okay. Steven, you're saying, yep, we've had three perfect packages before? I'm not saying what do you have to do to win it. I'm saying what do you have to be to be in the top three. If you're saying you got to be perfect, that means there'd be three perfect packages. All right. So air density is at 1,401 feet. Temperature is 46 degrees. Relative humidity is at 40%. All right. Hold on. Michael Johnson, right side of the Camaros, 10 on the tree. Scott Taylor, left side, 27 on the tree. And Scott's going to go 6-7-0-0 on a 671. Michael Johnson is 12 total. So, so far, the 12 total will move to the top above Charlie Lockhart. Me? I'm thinking you got to be four pack. You think you're going to have to be, really? You think a seven pack is going to get you in the top three? That has not been my previous experience here, sir. I'm just saying. Yesterday was, trust me, yesterday was, what was the song from Annie? Yesterday was plain awful. That's where you're supposed to come in and go, you can say that again. But that's not now, that's then. Right. I don't want to get into the tomorrow part. I want to get into the today part. Oh, yeah, that, if we were singing it yesterday. But, yeah, yesterday was... Totally with your racing chick. This will call out the guys. If you can swing at the tree, if you think, oh, yeah, I can, I can hit that tree, hit it. Super Pro Door Car, Super Pro Door Car. Come on. Jason England, double 04 green. And then goes 585 on a 582. Kyle Lapierre, 693 on a 697. Okay. Okay. Jay Griner and Dennis Paz. Jay was one of those that raffled his way into the million. So we got quite a range. Tim Jackson saying seven pack. Wes, yeah, okay, 001 to 006. That's like going to the roulette table and putting your chip down like on the, you know, that one that's a range of them. I'm just saying, we got people that say two pack. You gotta be three total or better. Racing chicks saying four total or better. I think I think it is. I think four total or better is where I'm where I'm believing it's going to be. Jay Griner is 006 on the tree, looking for 695 down the racetrack. Goes 6947, under by three thousandths of a second. Dennis Paz, 003 red, and then goes 672. 
Hey, racers, remember, we have coffee and donuts down under the tower. Coffee and donuts is available downstairs. So if you'd like to uh, swing on by and grab yourself some coffee or some donuts, or both, you can do that. Dan Gulby and Brian Cerruti as we get rolling with our next couple of cars. Sorry about that. Going to just say that as of right now, Michael Johnson with a 12-pack, Charlie Lockhart with a 25-pack, Jason England with a 39-pack. Dan Gulby is celebrating the birthday. He's 20 on the train. Brian Cerruti breaks out 635 on a 636, under by four thousandths of a second. Dan Goldby goes 667 on a 670. Mm -hmm. Getting into it with Mike Lucas and Lane Weber. Weber on the right side as we get into our Super Pro Door Cars. Once again, Super Pro Door Cars, Super Pro Door Car. If you are entered into the million and are looking at jumping in, on this Brodich run to the 50K, let's get you in the staging lanes if you're not there yet. Dragsters on and double entered Dragsters. For the lanes, please. Lane Weber, 004 Green. And then 697 on a 700 dial. Mike Lucas is 30 Green and runs 570 on a 572. There's now Doug Carter and Kerry Will You Eat? Will You Eat? 525 down for the Colorado-based Camaro on the right side and Doug Carter for the Colorado-based Camaro on the left side. Dialed in at 605. 14 green for Carter, 28 green for Gary. Five twenty-four on a five twenty-five. Doug Carter is 16 total. 14 dead two for Doug Carter. There's a lot of my car. These are my people. These are my people. Calvin Tawney and David Phillips. Yesterday, David went like 009 dead zero. Let's see if maybe today we can do a little better than 009 and dead zero. Calvin in the yellow Nova. David's surrounded by Nova. Calvin is 002. David Phillips is 003. David Phillips is six total. 003. And dead on three. Now, 
Now, we're starting to get a little bit better. Calvin Tani, 002 and three above, 637 on a 634. But the 002 light was there. Phillips had the 003, so six is the number to beat. Right now, to be inside the top three, it's 16. Totally doable. Should be. Jeremy Waterman and Joe Levitt. Levitt on the left side, and he smoked out. 67 over. Jeremy Waterman on the right side. Jeremy's 002. 538. Nope, 539. So Jeremy's 17 total. 002 and 15 down above. Just, yep, uh, stop. Joe Levitt was 007 red, goes 622 on a 622. That's going to bring up Daryl Hemley and Ricky Fuchel. So Ricky, 558 dial in on the left side. Daryl Hemley with a 450 dial. Over on the right. I'm with you, Jeanette. I, I really do think that you're going to need to be four total to make the top two. There we go, Ricky, 002. 556 on a 558. Apparently it's quicker than some people are thinking. Daryl Hemley was close to that 450 number, but with 21 red at this end of the racetrack. It was 449 on a 450. Under by two thousandths of a second. The red light was already on. Blue Hayball, Rod Taylor. Rod and the Nova out of Montana. Hayball in the S10 pickup. I like this truck. That thing's pretty. Blues double O6. Blue goes 5.97 on a 5.99. Rod Taylor 10 and four above. With that, my man, Steve Riggins has rolled on up in here. Once again, Super Pro Door Cars, if you're doubled, Need you back into the staging lane. Super Pro Dragsters, odd. Need you into the staging lanes. If you're doubled, we need you there now as well. Go for it, Steve. Come on, maybe I I'm going to step away because maybe we'll have better luck with you. Boy, that's went well so far this week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nate. Good morning, everybody. Ready to do it. Here's Brodix. Run for the 50K. I've got Justin Mosier and Tim Wirtz. The... the at least these two will kind of have a good, I mean, they're 100 to part of them dial. So they'll have a good feel for where they're at on the racetrack. They're five and seven. They're going to be side by side all the way. Let's see what happens. There you go. Mosier lays 11 total. 005, dead six. 11 total for Justin Mosier. Works seven up front, but goes under. Well, you know, could be that fluke pair. Probably it was carry. It's kind of like. You know, a new coach takes over, but it's all his, It's all the old coaches' recruits. The new coach gets the credit, but it's really, we know where it comes from. Same way. You planted these seeds here, Nate. 603, the dial left side. Nathan Bradford, 598, right side. Sixteen and a seven. Bradford, not one of those five. Man, if they could have just combined their efforts there, they'd been closer. You had dead seven on the left, you had double oh seven on the right, but they both end up in that same little twenty something grouping. Butch Blair, Princeton, Minnesota, six fifty seven. Left side, Rodney Snyder, five oh four, right side. We 
Again, for those of you watching at home, we are not staggering the tree. It's a bogey tree, so it comes down together if you're wondering. Hey, double O twos up there. Oh, oh, Snyder. Snyder. Oh, man. <laughs> double O two, but a foul under. One stink and foul. So they need a little break scrub, you know? Man. Yeah, yeah, man. Close right there to doing something special. Two and six above for Belair. Ken Suio, 594 left side. Randy Cloud, 576 right side. Double O three and double O one. We're doing real well at this end, but the other end's a little more of a challenge. Pair of breakouts. Motion. Portland, Indiana, Scott Hess, surprise, Arizona, 498 in the left, 568 in the right. Everybody's still chasing Dennis Phillips, or David Phillips, sorry, with his six total. So right now, top three is uh, 12 total. Got a six, 11, and a 12. Under 494. It was red already. Pennington, 514 the left, 577 right side. Neither one will be a good 15 and an 18. Curtis Zenzalita, 590 in the left, 530 the dial, right side. We continue on. The Brodix run for the 50K. We're looking for a perfect package for $50,000. Not going to happen here. Not going to happen top three. Here. 528 to right, 528 to left. Damon Bustamante, Darren Taylor, 16 and under.
Kyle Fritz, Cottonwood, Arizona, 676 left. Jeff Birdie, 592 right side. He's uh, he's picked Peter's pocket for a little bit of money in the past. He'd like to add 50K to it. Birdie and Fritz. I met Kyle Fritz yesterday. Yep. Elbow one red for Birdie, 11 green for Fritz. Fritz puts a 12 foul under, Birdie's 11 foul under. Six seventeen, the dial left side. Michael Miller, Santa Fe, New Mexico, five seventy nine, right side. Three red, right side. That'll be you know, twenty two on the left side. That won't make top three either. Hey, quick shout out during uh, Brodix run for the 50K. Brent Angles got uh, he and Papa Vern out in the garage, always working on something, always something to do, and uh, they got us on the TV. So uh, shout out to you guys. Can't wait to see you. Work hard and get ready to go fast. I know how you all operate. Bug McCarty, 603 left, 571 on the right. Six oh four and five sixty seven. Six sixty-five left side. Andy Schmall. He, uh, Andy knows his way down this uh, strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. He's uh, always a contender. Definitely a contender here in the run for the fifty k. Sorry over there, chat bleachers. If y'all are talking, I uh, I do not have it up yet this morning, so I'll work on that here shortly. Nope, not gonna happen here. Small twelve. Thirty in the left. Ball goes 12 foul under, dead six left side. BJ's under by 14 thou, we're under by 26 thou for Troy Grant. Scott Taylor, 671 left, Andrew DiPiazza. Long Grove, Illinois, 518 right side. Double O eight to a 20. The Piazza goes dead three, but not good enough. 23 total, under for Scott Taylor.
Jerry Humphreys, Luke Bogacki, Luke's on a 006. And he goes dead five, that's 11 total. That'll sneak Luke in the top three. Humphreys was one red and under. good. Garrett Griffith, Alexandria, Kentucky, 632 left side, Matt Dattis, 618 right side out of Norwalk, Ohio. Away, 004 to 007. But they're both under. Garrett under by 13 thou. Matt under by 2 thou. Brian Bennett, 541 right side, 582 left side. I think I know what went on right there. And guys, remember, we do not stagger the tree. It's a bogey tree, just like a time run. So you don't need to put the other person's dial in your delay box. You just make a time run. 15, dead nine. Chuck Griffith, the animal. Alexandria, Kentucky, 633 left side. Lane Weber, 698 the right side. 001 in the right, 13 in the left. And they're both under. 23 thou under for Griffith. 17 thou under for Weber. Roger Wayne Thornton, Bilton, Virginia, 474 on the left side, 638 the dial for the Camaro on the right side.
22 to a 24. And under, double O two and three under. Dead one the right on the left side, but 24 up front. So doing a little bit of manicure work before we go into our long and skinny cars. So Brodix run for the 50K. Takes uh, 11. He is holding down the third, well, second and third spot respectively, but you got to get inside that. 11 total. And trim it up by 11 and you can get 50 grand. I mean, it's easy enough, right? Just come out and make a perfect run and it's no big deal. I mean, I've been racing for 31 years. I've made one of those. So, hey, somebody can make their one today. That's all it takes. 50 grand, call it done. I'll tell you what I got for mine. Not, not much. <laughs> That's true. That's true. All it takes is one. One time. That's it. Maybe today is your one time. Could be. Let today be your one time. Oh, for 50,000 reasons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are 50,000 reasons. Yes. David did try. He did try. He made so a far, he's, he's, he's the best trier. Yes. He you tried know, as we so say, hard. so far. <laughs> It'd be one of those things where it's like, yeah, I put up six. By the time the thing's over, it'd be like, yeah. Six. What'd you get? Six. Doom, doom. <laughs> no whammy. That's right. Oh, just as you would mention, just a quick little groom here on the starting line. And what do we got? 1,200 people watching and still just 261 likes. Well, I've been on the mic. They, they're, they're, <laughs> then we should be at 1,200 likes. No, they're exposing their <laughs> displeasure. I'm just saying, I'm that's saying. where we should be. That's right. We should be. Let's get after it. It's always, these are always the good times to do it. Whenever we're down, we're doing nothing, just hit that like button. Do it. Do it now. I just did it. Be like all your friends. Get to the chopper. That's right. To the chopper. Give it the thumbs up. We've still got uh, a few of our double-entered door cars kind of sneaking their way back into the staging lanes. Again, you get a shot at the Brodix run for the 50K. If you're double-entered, you get more than one something i missed or i didn't miss and maybe it happened this morning i'm not sure which but at what point did we sneak over four thousand subscribers did that happen yesterday or? i think we got there last night okay i was i missed that so we got there last night i was eating i'm sure and the fact that we got there i'm sure <laughs> one of us was eating yeah i was hungry i get that way sometimes a lot of times most of the times so yeah so we're at 296 likes. Come on, let's push it over 500 real fast. I think we should. Swipe down on the chat, hit the thumbs up. It's real simple. Let's go from 296 to 500, just real fast. It's not hard. Well, there was 315. That was a good move. There's 20 fast. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's, let's, do, let's do another 190 real fast. I mean, look, it doesn't take any time to look. Swipe down on the chat. Look, if your thumb is not solid, just hit the little thing. It's not difficult. I don't ask for a lot. Not asking you to buy me dinner, anything else. Just asking you to hit a little thumb. That's it. So if you're watching right now, even, and if you're watching on your TV, you go, I'm on my TV, I can't do it. Well, then get your phone out. Pull, yeah. it up. Pull it up on YouTube. Pull it up on your phone real like quick. Really hit quick. the like, then put your phone away and go back to watching on your TV. Yeah, yeah they watch the big screen. It's, it's all, then we're happy. We're not complaining at you. I'm not complaining anyway. We're not asking you to do it. You just get it done. So you can kind of, like we were talking to Double Mint Twin, you could double. You could double it up. You could watch you it on could. TV and you could, or you could like it on both, whatever. You, you can, could, it's Vegas. You could double down. You could, exactly. So I'm asking 180 of you to double down right now and get us over 500 back quick. And as far as subscribers, we're going to set the goal at 5,000. We did. We're at 4,000. We're going to need a lot of friends to come on board. We do. But we should, we should be able to do it. It's Million Day. I mean, come on. You well, should absolutely be able to do it on Million Day. There we go. There's another 30 jump. See? Come on. Keep it going. Come on, get your little phones out, whatever you got to do. Not Good morning, asking barn. Time out of your day, just hit the thumb. Blue wrench. Ooh, the, the wrenched enforcer's in. 
We got a couple is. of we got a couple of wrenchers. All right. We haven't brought ours out today. I haven't. No. No. No, not doing it. I don't even think I did yet. No, I didn't. I didn't either. I haven't. Alonzo Sanchez, Tim Wirtz, 484 left, 522 right. Come on, we're at 360. Let's keep moving that thing. Y'all moved it like 80 pretty quick. You can do it again. Oh, there's the 001. What do we got? Oh, one above. That's still, that's 11 total. Make it three with 11. Yeah. So 001, one above zero, 11 total. So come on. That made Let's hit that like button. Let's go. Get that thing moving early. 1,200 of you watching. Less than 400 have liked it. That means 800 of you are freeloading right now. Doesn't cost you anything. I'm not sending you a bill. Just want you to like it. Because obviously you like it because you're watching. So scroll down on the chat. Hit the thumb. Make it go solid color because some of them are black. Some of them are white. Whatever. Just as long as it's a solid color, it means you like the stream. You got to like the stream every day. Every time you watch and you like it, because then it makes it easier. When you pull up your YouTube, it kind of defaults to something. Brady White, Brady White, 13 red on the left side. But that'll keep the content that you enjoy all the time coming to the forefront of your YouTube page. It makes it a lot simpler. When I when I pull up my YouTube, I promise you, the first thing going to pop up is it, it's one. It's either, it's either people doing the scam bait stuff or it's going to be a drag race. That, that's the two things. That's all I ever watch on YouTube. So it'll help you too. You want to search and waste all your time looking through things you don't want to see anyhow. So scroll down the chat, hit the like button, make it go solid, make, hit the thumbs up, make it go solid. And uh, you'll have to be less you have to hear me talk about it today. And I know that is the answer to all of your prayers this morning. Wyatt Wayman, 420 left or right side, 473 to dial left side. Red light in the left goes 475. Right side goes 426. All right, we're almost to 400. Come on, keep it moving. You won't even miss. You won't even miss a pair. Like they they came and do a burnout and back up in the time it's going to take you to verify that you've actually liked the liked the stream. So no excuses this morning. Seven dead nine, but we had a trip zip for Leslie in the left, but goes nine, little itty bitty foul under. Five left side, Skyler Borichko, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 490 in the right side. Oh, that's it, 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 it. Pilot Peter, dead eight, dead eight. <laughs> Woo, Peter survives another. <laughs> wow, I thought his chair flipped over. <laughs> Trip zip, dead eight, left side.
Don Sefton, 455 left side. Dylan Moody, 464 right side. Sefton, 459. Brian Watts, Pasco, Washington, 456 left side. Jessica Bogacki, 458 the right side. Jessica, oh, Jessica matches Hubby's 11 and still is the, man, eight and, yeah, yeah, 13 total on the left and Jessica's 11 total. So her and Luke both were 11. All right, we're getting closer, guys. 4:32 on the likes. Come on. We're still, uh, we're still short. Like I said, I've gave you the recipe to how to do this. It's not. Come on. I've led the horse to water. It's time to drink. We'll get that thing pushed over 500 early this morning. Lee Dixon, Chesterfield, Virginia. 4:50 on the left side. Robert Butler, Citrus Heights, California, on a 4:69. One red for Butler. Oh, so close. Oh, it knocks a dead zero. Oh, man. Wow. That was close. Peter wasn't even up here to sweat that one. <laughs> man, one red. My, my prayer this morning is that he didn't bump that. <laughs> man, one red, dead zero. Oh, so close. 13 and 1,000 under the left side. That was a good little side-by-side -side lap after. No, but still, it's been a, yeah. Cash and fry. Here it is. Here's 50 grand for a cash and fry. Let's do this. 696 left side. Carl Jones, Mulvaney, Kansas. 472. here 469 in the right 685 in the left Crater. Buford, Texas, 427 left side. Jeremy Soares, Terrace, British Columbia, 482. Two to an 11. Oh, man, there's another close one. Two and a thou under for Jeremy. 11 dead forward and the left for Crater. They're sneaking up at it, Nate. That's three runs in a row that have been really, really good. Yes, they are. They are sneaking, closing in, closing in quickly. What, we've had like 001 red, dead zero. We've had a thou under. Yep. We got a couple of things going on as our next two, Mike Crater and Jeremy Soares, roll up. Again, the Calcutta, $100 an entry. For the possibility of uh, winning 10 grand, essentially, uh, if you want to get in on that kid performance in Dino Calcutta, that is now available in the tower. And today, 
Today, 11 a.m. behind the tower, the kids fling Easter egg hunt. So that is, uh, again, for kids ages 2 to 12. If you want to get in on the Easter egg hunt, we're going to have eggs filled with candy and all kinds of great stuff. G-Dub is four thou under and goes dead zero. <laughs> wow. Aaron Johnson is 20 green and goes dead three. So Jake Jones and Gordon Boven. I like seeing the lanes fill up. You know why I like seeing the lanes fill up? Why is that? There's more chances of somebody taking 50 grand. That's true. Hey, we just added 200 viewers, so we should be able to add 50 likes real easy. We should. 11 and 12. One above seven and well above. So all of you just joining, make sure you're subscribed. And make sure you hit the like button. 200 of you just came in. We added, we did add 20 more subscribers. That means 80% of them either already were or didn't. So make sure you subscribe to the Flings Race Series YouTube page. Is my, uh, I don't know if my likes is refreshing on my page. What are we up to on likes? I, I show 451. Okay, I got 450. So we're, we're, we're close. Yeah. So come on. Let's push 50 real fast. Like I said, these guys haven't even lit a pre stage ball, but you got time. Scroll down on the chat, hit the thumbs up. That's all you got to do. Really, really simple. If I can do it, I promise you, you can do it. Yeah, and right now. You didn't have our, to agree with that, Nate. Our top three pack. No, I'm just saying right <laughs> now our top three packages. David Phillips is six total. Dave Mazir is eight total. Justin Mosier, Luke Bugacki, Alonzo Sanchez, and Jessica Bugacki are all 11 total. So we've got a four-way tie. For spot number three, Josh Brewer is 16 green, Tom Clark 16 red. Neither one of them will sneak in on the top three. But Clark will run 450 on a 449. Josh will run 473 on a 472. So Steve won't use the hammer. I thought it was a wrench. Yeah, well, it, you know, I think it is too, but everybody knows I'm very tool challenged. So they're thinking it might be better with a hammer. Maybe. Maybe. At least it will just bust my, you know, bust my thumb at that point. Bar you know? Barn jumps in, but I will. <laughs> That's right. Here's the thing. Now now that we've got wrenches, reminds me of the movie Dodgeball. <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, we're 82, Nate. We're getting closer. I mean, not the 500 is, I mean, 500 is good. It's not, but it's not our stopping point. We, like Jake Lay said in the chat, we ought to be over 2,000 likes tonight. Not at all. It's million day. 003 out of the right side. Oh, and 493-0 on a 491. Man. There you go. I got read right to left there. I saw the zero pop up. I was like, oh, oh wait yeah. a minute. No, we're 200. You get up. excited. Yeah. Talon Farmer was 007 red and then goes 478 on a 483. Is it a left-handed metric crescent wrench? Well, it, it is. I can't even spell half of that, let alone use it. Well, this this is really neat, Nate. I've never been a part of this. Never seen it. Never. It's like With you, the 50K? Yeah. You, oh. you, you kind of find yourself kind of cleansing up a little bit. That's what I told you. This is this is one of my favorite parts. I see why. I see why. Because you've witnessed what Pete looks like. Oh. Now tell me, doesn't it look like a gazelle? You're not wrong. That does that stop, stare doesn't dare like flinch a single muscle exactly oh all right, all right 005 red red side for herga mueller 002 oh. and oh, oh. <laughs> 6 32 9 how many we should have started keeping a tally of how many people were foul under i think that's three now ocho ocho uno under oh <laughs> no bueno not ocho settle Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cero, cero. Yeah. Cero, cero, cero uno. Yeah, cero, yes. Yeah, that was better. You, yeah, you get really good at this. Cero, cero, uno. Oh, uh, we're one away from 500. Who's going to be the one? Or the 10 or the 100 or the next 500? 
I'm just saying, at some point, the next one that's better than 11 total, like, takes four people and just knocks them off the list. <laughs> exactly. It's right. It's one thing, like, when you're talking about qualifying, be like, yeah, I made a great run and I bumped one person out. This person is going to be able to, like, knock four people. Ooh! Double O one Scott Anderson, Mr. Anderson, 442 with a zero on a 445. Oh, look at the other side. One red, dead five. <laughs> oh. So what is that? Okay. I think we do need to keep That's a least tally four. sheet. So, so we've had three, I believe, so far that were one thou under. Yep. So we're going to say one thou under on the dial. We've had three. Those that were 001 red, I think we've had two. I know we've had at least two because we had three, 001 I think three red, of those. Red zero. Three? I think there's three of those. All right, so we're going to keep track of that. We won't keep track of names because nobody wants to be reminded of that. No. No, especially, especially like I said, if we bumped. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Have three in it, bump it, one red. Yeah. Manuel Hernandez is 10 green. If he's dead zero, he takes out four people. No. Nope. No. He's quick. 627 on a 632. Left side is 435 on a 437. Okay. Okay. So Timmy Markaglue, left side. And I believe that is Luis Pena Sr. Over on the right side, 707 on the board for Luis. Oh, look, there's George Hoff in the chat. George, George Hoff could, could take Peter's 50. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah. So Mark Aglu is pre staged. Luis Pena is pre staged. Come on. Give us a perfect. Timmy would love to take Pete's money. No, nope. he's 008. Ah, 438 on the 438. 16 total. I'll tell you what, Timmy. You keep that up all day. Maybe a little better. You probably want to be, we'll probably need to be a little bit better than that, but that'll work. 13 red for Luis, and then goes 710. On a 707. I'm gonna bring up Jeremy Cisneros. Right side, 452 is the dial. We brought in more donuts. Nice. Carrie from Luis Motorsports Insurance is out walking the pits. How? Ten and a nine, both of them under, no good. Again, Miss Carrie is here from Larry's Motorsports Insurance. And again, if you want to get a hold of her, she's going to be wandering around today. Going to be making house calls, visiting some folks. And if you would like to find out what it would take to get some good protection, like really good protection on your racing program, you can call her. Trust me, she'll answer her phone. She'll take your call. Her number is 337-456-5012. Again, 337-456-5012. Give Carrie a call. She will happily stop by and visit you at your pit, take a look at everything that you've got, give you a very good quote on what it would take to protect your equipment should something happen either on or off the track. 001 Red Zach Fulcher will put a fourth one up on the board. And then 577.9, we're going to put another one up on that. 001 Red and 1,000 under. Zach Fulcher executes like both of the, uh Again, those are like swear jar donations. He's going to be swearing twice. Michael Johnson was 18 green, dead seven. So we are still at a six from David Phillips at the top, an eight pack 
from Mazir at second, and then Justin Mosier, Luke Bogacki, Alonso Sanchez, and Jessica Bogacki all at 11 at total. There's Jordan Epper, Jesse, and Logan Schriever. Excuse me, Shrivner. Right? So, Max Mosier, we got, as my man Warren points out, three of the four that are 11 total, Mosier cars from Mosier City. Oh, man. Max Mosier, it's 40 green. No, 449 on a 450. Left side, 12 red, and goes 478 on a 475. Okay, Calvin. Okay. Calvin Tani, we think a two pack's going to win this thing. Right now, it's a six pack. Hmm? Hey, yeah, yeah, you can drop the Nova off the front door if it doesn't. Calvin was 002 on the tree. So, had that part of it down. Peeps Pennington rolling up left side in the Roadster. That's one of the names that's already, oh, another 001 red. <laughs> Not Pete. Pete's with eight green and then goes 511. 001 red and 652 on a 652 dead three. Andrew Di Piazza, 12 red, Rob Mosier, 27 green, and Mosier's going to run 497 or 495. Di Piazza, not quite where he wanted to be, still unchanged in our top three realm. So how about the original million dollar winner from here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway? Rocky Van Noot with a 470 dial in the dragster. As Steve was saying the other day, Rocky, Rocky is a door car guy. Rocky likes him some door cars. Wait a minute. So the Vega wouldn't fit in the trailer. Honestly. Jeff Ferdy, six thou red. Rocky Van Note, 17 green. Van Note goes 469 on a 470. Jeff Ferdy, 590 on a 591. Verdi's under by six thousands. Van Note is under by two thousands. Gabriel's saying, uh, Calvin's in the chat. You can tell him. You think it's going to be a four pack to take the top spot? I thought it was going to take a four pack to be in the top three. You think? I'm just going to say, look, so far, so far that the performance hasn't been there.
Matt Dattis is double O two and six eighteen on a six seventeen. Garrett Griff with twenty green and then goes six thirty one on a six thirty one to be twenty two at total. Jake saying one pack will be the top spot. I originally said you'd have to be four pack or better to be in the top three. So far, that's not happening. Peter, Peter, Peter seems to believe one pack will be the top spot. But the question is, what will it be to be top three? You think seven or better? You think seven or total? Yeah. Because we're at six, eight, and 11. Okay. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Hank Bramov, 26 red. Carla Pontillo, 13 red. Oh, we're getting, we're getting there. Okay, I'm just gonna keep telling myself that, but eventually, I gotta bring this down a little bit. There we go. Nope, a little bit lower. All right, that should that should help out. See, Gabriel's saying top three has got to be four pack or better. Calvin thinks it's going to be two total to uh, win the deal. Really, what we still want is perfection. Pete, you can't say no. Dennis Lithgow and uh, Jason Mercer. Lithgow's in the dragster left side. Got his dragster out after, unfortunately, having some issues. I'm going to say that on Thursday. Jason Mercer dialed in at 664 out of Chestermere. Xavier, it is not windy here right now. The weather today is going to be way different than yesterday. Yesterday was cold, breezy, er than it should have been. 11 green for Dennis, 16 green for Jason. Dennis, 462.5. Under by five thou. Right now, if you want to be in the top three, you have to be 11 total or better. And even if you are 11 total, you would then join up with essentially a group of four that are already there, which includes three Mosier cars. Like Michael Johnson is 12 total, and at this point is kind of not where he wanted to be. David Phillips is still six total at the top. Dave Mazir is eight total at number two. And then we got Justin, Luke, Alonzo, and Jessica all at 11 total. Corey Galitti is 12 green. Mike Barber is nine thou red. Galitti, 431 on a 430. Mike Barber, 531 on a 486. There's now Michael Pennington and Trevor Jelinski. Now we have still got lanes full of dragsters. We're still keeping in mind that many of these folks are also double entered. And if you are double entered, again, you get an opportunity to try and take a, basically you get a shot at the 50K for each entry you have in the million. Jelinski, 006 red and 463 zero. Michael Pennington was 19 green and 462 nine. To be under a thou. So we've got five that have been under one thou. We've got five that have been 001 red. I'm just kind of keeping track of that. For what do they say for S and G? It's 
Something and giggles. Something and giggles. Smiles and giggles. We'll say that for smiles and giggles. So let's see what we can get with Vinny Domino and Kyle Bigley. Bigley right side, Domino left side. Domino's 005 and 452.9. Another one foul under. 005 had him positioned to potentially take over the top spot. Kyle Bigley is 17 red, goes 447 on a 449. Apparently, Steve has felt an immediate urge to write a love note to somebody. Just, just saying. Interesting. Thirty-eight green for Zach Clark. Four sixty on a four sixty-one. Under by five thousandths of a second. Double O four red and four seventy-three out of the left lane. We'll bring out Josh Herman. And Greg Hicks. Josh is on the left side. Greg's on the right side. Greg, your runner up on Wednesday. On his birthday. And there are a couple of folks out there today going, it's my birthday. Can we do what? Greg did and go to a final round on my birthday. I think it'd be good. So a 479 to a 443. 002 red for Herman goes 441, or excuse me, 444. On the 443, Greg Hicks was 49 green and then goes 477 on a 479. I'm, I'm finding it a little hard to believe that we have not changed up the top three in a while. It's been a while. I think we need to change it up a little bit. Those that are in the top three are going, no, we don't. And like, there is no reason to. No reason to. Call your left side, Bennett right side. 25 to a 28. 25 out of the right lane, 467. Only 467. Dead five is 30 total. Call your 28 green. And then goes fourth thou. Under the dial. Oops. All right, Amy Farrow and Don Butkowitz. Don on the left side, dial 480. Amy on the right side. Chattanooga, Tennessee, dialed in at 471. Double O four to a double O one. Amy Farrow is two total. Double O one and dead on one. Amy Farrow goes to the number one spot. Don Butkowitz was 004 
and 478 on a 480. Under at that end, but Amy Farrow gets, let's see here. So we got a two pack now at the top and all of those that were at 11 total. They have been eliminated. They have been eliminated. So we got a two pack, a six pack, and an eight pack. Amy was two total. Double oh one, dead one. Phillips was 003, dead three. Mazir's eight total. Those are your top three right now. Is that Nacho? I'm trying to remember the yellow car. Is it Nacho or is it Hernandez? All right. We'll go with Nachito. That's what it says on the side of the car. Sean Hart, the painter boy out of Idaho. 472 the dial for Sean. Nacho is 469. Let me tell you something. If one of Team Mexico hits this thing, I'm going to say goal for seven minutes straight. I don't know how I'll hold my breath that long, but. Well, he's 008. Sean is 004. Sean, 469 on a 472. Nachos 008 and 466 on a 469. Could you imagine if, if one of the Team Mexico cars hits this thing, what that party would be like? Oh. There would absolutely be a fiesta. I, I, I'm pulling for him, man. I'm pulling for him. I'm pulling for everybody. Because when Withero did it in Bristol, it was awesome. There you go. Mike Crater with a 439. Dan Provost with a 438. We still got a lot of cars back there. A lot of cars back there. Double O2 for Dan. And Dan will go 436 0 on a 438. Mike Crater was 19 red, dead two. So John Angel, Gary Womble. We got two total, six total, and eight total. Are our top three spots. So John with a 458, Gary with a 456. Again, remember racers, I'm going to keep reminding you, if you are double entered in the million, that means that you can take another swing at the 50K. You get one swing at the 50K based on whatever you got. 18 green for John. Gary is 003 red and goes 457.9 on a 456. John, 18 dead one. 19 total. It's kind of the kind of the story of racing at the fling. What'd you do? Put up a nice package. What were you? 19 total. What'd it get you? Got me a run down the racetrack at 19 total. That's what it got me. I feel like it was a good time run. Good time run. And so Nathan Martin and Mike Coltrane. 
So earlier when we asked the chat bleachers, we had a range of answers of what they thought it was going to take to be in the top three. Right now, if your pick was eight total, you're in a good spot. I still think it's going to be four total if you want to be in the top three. There's still a lot of cars back there, a lot of really good cars back there. I think that's what it's going to take. 446 for Mike Coltrane, 470 for Nathan Martin. They're both in the teens as far as the reaction time is concerned. Coltrane 17 green and goes 444 on the 446. Nathan Martin was 467 on a 470. Barnes saying five total. All right. Jake Lee, you're still saying you got to be one total to be in the top three? Hey. Hey. Like he said, there's a lot of there's a lot of cars back there. Right? Wow, Steve. Lots of love going out for Jake. With a 466 and a 480 up on the scoreboards. We got a 10 light for Ryan Stifler, 43 light for Emily Gerard. And we get a 464 0 on a 466 for Ryan. Yeah. Wes, it's not, you don't pick the range, you pick what is the, kind of like an over-under, you pick one number. Decide on one number. Rod saying he's thinking it's gonna need to be two or three or better. Yeah, still gotta pick one of them. Decide. Come on, man. It's like the Matrix. You got to pick one. Blue pill, red pill. Which one is it? Gabe Torres, Neil Presimo. Can you let go perfect? Neil can let go 004 green. 483, 481. Going to be a little bit too quick. Neil is under with that 481 on a 43. Under by 19,000. Gabe Torres, 459 on a 461 after he let go 006 red. We'll bring out Ty Farmer and didn't see him sneak by. Is that Sean? Is that Schaefer? Yeah, that's Schaefer. Wednesday's winner dialed 449. No, it's not. It's Larson. Excuse me. Okay, we're not looking for the top spot. We already know the top spot right now is two total. We're looking for what is it? Take? Double O three for Larson and four fifty one on a four forty nine. It's not quite there. Ty Farmer ten green and goes two under four eighty seven on a four eighty nine. Page is thinking it's going to be seven total to be in the top three. Fair enough. But Paige has got other things to think about between now and Thursday. So why not spend a little time on racing? You're like, yeah, we're going to watch some racing. There's another 001 red and a 008 red. So we'll put another little hash mark on the 001 red. Takes us to 6 001 red. Then goes 452 on a 454. Trait and ban. 502 on a 501. Jake saying five total to be in the top three. 
Rodney says top three, you're gonna have to be two total or better. So with Braden Helena, Joe Kittle Jr. 490 the Dow for Joe, 469 for Braden. Braden is double O one. And then 468 on a 469. Under by seven thousandths of a second. Double O one and breaks out by seven thousand. Joe Kittle's 19 green goes 486 on the 490. Bring up David Meyer. And Matt Lee. Lee on the left side with that 470 dial. Meyer on the right side. Dialed in at 477. Pre-stage bulbs lit. Again, $50,000 in this Brodix Cylinder Heads run for the 50K. Top three packages as Matt Lee is 004. It goes 467 on a 470. David Meyer, 004 red, dead on eight. 477 on a 477. So top three packages in the Brodix run for the money. Run for the 50K. You got that set of SR20 heads valued at over $6,000. Second best package gets two grand. Third best package gets a million entry for 2025. If we don't get the perfect run, $10,000 will roll over. Into the main event, and in the main event, should somebody make a perfect run, it would be worth 10 grand, the first person. Well, well, we'll see. 008 on the tree to a 15 red, Bennett's 15 red, 456.4 on a 456 is gonna be 12 total. We'll not get there. We got a little shout out to Dwayne Reed from Josh Hampton. Shout out. Next to Gage Gilbert Val Torres Jr. Val dialed 466, Gilbert dialed 491. That's GTI. Gage the intern. And Val Torres. For a while there down in Tucson, he was like the shootout master. Gage is 10 green. Val 16 green. Gage 492 on a 491, 10 and one above. Val Torres is 16 and 17 thou under. Brian Kennedy, Jacob Stallworthy. No. Steve Riggins rolls back in here, checks the screen and goes, it, nothing's changed. Sorry, Steve, I have not changed your life for the better. More than likely, I've ultimately impacted it for the worse. Really? Oh. Please, the like button is lonely. 1,700 people watching and only 547 people have pushed the button. So Brian dialed 468, Jacob dialed 441. 16 green for Stallworthy, 12 red for Kennedy. 443 on a 443. Brian goes 469 on a 468.
And we'll bring up J.P. Schuster. Yeah. Yes, JP, who had got the help with the rocker arms yesterday. As we are dialed in with a 504 and a 004 reaction time. 502 on a 504. Uh-uh. You got it? So you were saying, Calvin, two total. It was supposed to be. It's two total right now. So I'm going to have to owe you some money, maybe. We'll see. Huh? Well, you shouldn't go betting. You shouldn't go betting things you don't own, then. <laughs> it's a good car. It is a good car. red to a 38 red. Double O three for Lane Ingo and four sixty nine two is five total. Unfortunately for Mr. Mazir, the double O five will bump you out. It is now double O two for Amy Farrow. Five total for Lane Ingo and six total for Dave Phillips. Phillips. Hanging on by the fingernails going, I will not go quietly into that dark night. All right, maybe he's not giving that speech, but. We can do that. We can do that, especially since we're, you know, kind of before the million. If that's what you guys want. Well, the Masters is next weekend, right? We decided it's next weekend. I don't know why people like the golf announcer thing, but it is all right. It's the Brodix run for the 50K. We've got Chris Whitfield on the right side, who's going to be double O1 red. That's going to have another tally over to that double O1 red side. He's going to go, oh my goodness, Chris Whitfield will be feeling that one. Double O1 red and 460 with a one on a 460 dial, Whitfield. Missed it by a thou at this end and goes one thou over at that end. Justin Hoff was 20 green and also dead on one. Fantastic run straight down the middle of the racetrack. Both drivers one thou over what they predicted it would be. And as we get ready to go into our next pair, Paul Dowdy and Tyler Smith. Tyler coming in out of Rancho Cucamonga, California. Getting a lot of help from those back home. 462 is the dial for Tyler. Paul Dowdy out of Centerville, Utah. Nice little town just north of Salt Lake City. It's a good place to be from. I've got cousins that actually lived up there. We used to go sledding down the hills into the cemetery of all places. But that's a true story. We'll talk more about that later. 480 is the dial for Paul Dowdy. Dowdy looking to try and if you want to get inside, if you want to make the cut, you've got to be five above or less. 
30 red for Tyler Smith. That's not quite going to do it. Called out, he swings and gets a 15. Goes 479 on a 480. Tyler Smith ends up 463 on a 462. But the 30 red light basically swung that one into the water. Going to have to drop and try again when we get into round number one. All right, there we go. So Alonzo Sanchez, 484, rolling up on the board left or right side, excuse me. Again, Team Mexico rolling up to represent. So a 448 and a 484, come on. We need another perfect reaction time because it's time to make Pete sweat. It almost sounds like Keith sweat. I say it sounded just like Keith. So let's make Pete sweat. Make him nervous a little bit, get the pucker factor going. All that stuff. Well, we've had seven folks that have been 001 red. We've had six folks that have been 1,000 under. 003 for Alonzo Sanchez. 482 on a 484. I'm just saying, if Alonzo keeps rolling, I know I won't. It's a family show. 008 was the reaction time. Now the left lane goes 451 on a 458. And we'll bring up our next couple. Derek says, somebody get Nate an entry to the million so he can go lay down a perfect lap. Let me tell you, the only thing that that thing would be is perfectly pathetic. That's what that would be. All right, we got Victor Clark on the right side. Oh, no. Nope. Victor, 483-0 after an 032 reaction time. Left side just, well, we'll just say didn't work. Arn. I have no idea what that's all about. What is a just basic five vol lager? Oh, I see what you guys are talking. All right, I had to put a little context around things. Funny car, Chris. Mr. Northup rolling up on the right side. Misses it by 3,000 for the second, 30 green left side. That's not going to get us where we need to be. But it was worth a shot. Chevy Reeves, Todd Coltrane. Coltrane dialed 464. Chevy Reeves dialed 462. So Amy, two total. Lane, five total. David, six total. Troy Coltrane, double O one red. Put another slash mark in that column. Now eight could have missed the perfect light. And then ends up two above 466. Chevy Reeves was 12 red and goes 462. On a 462. So 12 red, dead eight is Dalton Garo and Wyatt Wayman. Wyatt on the right side, dialed for 21.
Dalton on the left side, dialed 458. Wyatt goes 421 on a 421. 25 dead six. Good job. Here's your pat on the back. Dalton Grow with 16 green and 454 on a 458. But that is the advantage, right? I mean, you're rolling up here, get an opportunity to take a swing at the tree, get an opportunity to get your time running this morning before we start the million. Whether you're in the top three or not, I mean, great. It's nice to be in the top three, but if you can come down here and lay down a nice lap, you get the numbers that you need, you get the information that you need, it definitely gives you kind of that, eh, shall we say, maybe a little bit better sense of comfort. How about some water sucks? The man's. The Man Family, 468 the dial for Water Sucks. 470 the dial for Doug Johnson. Yeah. You are right. Got them all fooled. Oh, uh, Water Sucks, 466 down the racetrack, and eh, it's not really going to do it. Not really going to do it on either side, but... Yeah, it does. Cooper Chun. Let's see. Cooper. What? What the heck is a Mamatis cloud? Here we go. Double O five to a double O five. Four sixty six with an eight on a four seventy. Cooper Chun is four ninety nine on a five oh three. There's one for you. I actually let that one slip, George. Didn't know about that. I am not sure how we're doing on the last man standing Calcutta ticket sales. I'll have to go back and double check. But if you are interested in that, I know there is a limit. There are only 130 of them that are going to be sold. They went on sale about 40 minutes ago. So if they are not all gone yet, you need to get up here and grab yours before it's done. I know Hicks won one of those one time. Somebody always wins, but I'm just saying. Alexis Thompson, 001, and 461 on a 458. Tammy Peugeot was 48 green and goes 462 on a 462. Alexis has been killing the tree. We need more peat sweat. Somebody else make peat sweat. Oh. Yeah. Race kid, Mark Barnhart. Marco turned around. He's like, wait, who? 27 green for race, 008 red for Barnhart. Race goes 464 on a 463. Barnhart 461 on a 462. Oh, man. All right, so look. Last time we did a quick little swap. 
we're able to immediately like bump some people up to the top. So right now, Amy Farrah, Lane Ingo, and Dave Phillips are going, don't do that. Because I like the spot that I'm at. The two pack or the five pack? Okay, so Lane had the five pack. So we've got a two pack, five pack, and a six pack at the top. So we are going to do a quick little swap. Steve Riggins gonna take over and here I am. There we go. We're not gonna immediately make an impact because Marlon's seven, but goes dead six, 13 total. 21, dead seven, left side. Neither one enough to uh, crack the top three. So right now, if you had six total as the top three number, you're looking really good. But there's still, again, quite a few cars in the lanes. Quite a few good cars in the lanes. So next up, Jagger Anderson, Brighton, Colorado, 443 in the left. Shane Thompson, Henderson, Nevada, 458 right side. Mr. Silver State Refrigeration and HVAC, sponsor of our million dollar race today. Thankful for Shane and his help. He'd like to uh, get 50 large of it back right now. Nope, not gonna do it. We're three in the left side. And go one above five, 18 total. No good. Shane's under by 21 thousand. Taylor Tyson, Lakewood, Colorado, 454 in the left. Jim Glenn, Witchfield, Washington, 478. All right, we've pushed the likes over 600, but still there's 1,200 of you watching who have not. So please do, please like the feed, please share the feed. This is the big one, this is the big day. Silver State Refrigeration Million Day. So share with everybody. 18 to an 11. Neither one of them is going to crack the top three here. We go dead eight in the left and five thou under in the right. Four forty seven in the left, Carl Jones. Four sixty nine in the right. Eight to a sixteen. Red both ways. We go dead four in the left and three above in the right. Four sixty-two in the left. Aaron Johnson, 005 red in the right. Neither one of them gonna crack the top three here. We go four ninety in the right. Four sixty-one left side. We were going to uh, do a quick broom out here again before we get our last. I don't know. Looks like maybe twenty or so pairs left here in the Brodix run for the fifty k. Nobody's been able to get there yet. 
What's worse than a backed up toilet or no running water? Not being able to find a plumber to come and fix it. Fortunately, Silver State Plumbing is available 24 seven with same day service. For a small fee that's applied towards the repairs, Silver State will assess the situation and get it fixed as soon as possible. And if you have a quote from somewhere else, Silver State will beat any written estimate. Plus, you can find money saving offers on our website. The next time you're looking for a plumber, you'll find one at Silver State. just what day it is and, and what that means. All the hoopla surrounding, lighting that final wind light here at the strip of Las Vegas Motor Speedway during Mosier Spring Fling Million Week. So final call, any million entry that has not run the Brodix session, if you're sitting back waiting, watching, thinking, plotting, whatever it is, the time for that is over. We need you to bring them. Final, final call. The Brodix run for the 50K session. We have made the final call for you. So right now, top three takes 0, zero 6 to make the top three. We've been close. We've had several get close to making it happen, but nobody yet been able to get the 50K. And don't forget, we do have the last, last man standing going on. The Kid Performance and Dino, last man standing, $10,000 Calcutta for the million. $100 a ticket. The Diva Desk has entries available. Only 130 will be sold. And if your driver is the last one standing, 10 grand. Real simple, real easy. Uh oh parts call, parts call, racer in need. Okay, we need a set of dragster wheels that are five on five bolt pattern for Hannah Vandermeer. So if you got a set of dragster wheels that are five on five bolt pattern, Hannah Vandermeer is in need. So we've got a racer in need, set of dragster wheels that are five on five. Hannah Vandermeer is in need. Let Hannah know or let us know and let's uh, let's help her make her attempt to make her million dreams come true. Next up, 488 on the left side, Max Mosier, Portland, Indiana. Mosier Engineering, 450 on the right side. The Mosier cars have all been very solid this morning. Well, Max a little tardy. Goes fourth out under. 16 dead, three on the left side. Not going to be enough.
Donovan Williams, double O eight. Green goes dead three eleven total. Not good enough. Red light start left side goes three under. Logan War, Erda, Utah, four fifty four on the left side, four ninety four on the right side. Because I have a feeling we've had some folks that decided to lurk and hang back a little bit, see what the conditions were doing, see what other people were doing before they came up to take their shot. In the Brodix run for the 50K, and we're going to start to see some of those. Because I've definitely not seen a few that I've been ready for, so I guarantee they've been sitting back waiting and planning. So again, final, final call. If you are wanting to participate in the Brodix run for the 50K, and you have not done so, bring them to the lanes now. 3-11. Shot on the right side, but goes under by 10 thou. 493 on the 494. Left side was three above. Tyler Mirup, 470 left. Joe Peters, Greenville, Texas, 478 right side. I talked to Tyler yesterday. He could, he could use some luck on his side. He could use, he could use 50. And now a good time to put it together. Oh, hey, the pump truck is back. The pump truck is back. So if you uh, if you need them, flag them down. The pump truck is on site, so flag them down if you need them. And there are limited event T-shirts available online at store.bracketraces.com. So if you uh, are in the chat bleachers and go, hey, I'd like to get some uh, event T-shirts, whatever, there you go, store.bracketraces.com. You can get your event T-shirt there. They are in uh, limited amounts, but check it out. Store.bracketraces.com. Store 17 to 29. Not going to be any good here either way. Tyler goes well above. Joe's three, two above. Four sixty four left side, Robert Butler, Citrus Heights, California, four sixty nine right side. It looks like we planted some dragsters in the back of the lanes. They're growing by a few. Five and a sixteen. Can we knock a dead zero and pop it? Nope, dead six. Eleven total. We're sixteen dead one right side. Don Sefton. 460 in the left, 487 right side. Both of them are red.
Chad Broom. Four to a five. One above four. Chad Broom just misses. Five and two foul under. Almost cracked his way into the top three, but no good. 465 next up left side. Here's, here's one, Jeff Sarah. We know he's capable. 460 on the right side. All right, here we go. Double four for Sarah. Goes one above seven. Roger Wayne Thornton, 464 left side. Greg Hicks, 478 right side. Greg Hicks is, uh, he's capable. He knows this racetrack. He's uh, already had a runner up this week. So Greg Hicks, definitely a contender here in the Brodix run for the 50K. He's 005 up front. He's got to go dead zero to crack the top three. But he goes under by eight thou. Roger Wayne Thornton was dead one, but uh, 21 thou red. Lee Dixon, Chesterfield, Virginia, 450 in the left side. Jessica Bogacki up to try it again, 461 right side. She's already been 11 total. Would like to get better than that. And she turns it red this time, 005 red. Dead on eight. Timmy Markaglu, Staten Island, New York, 439 left side, 457 the dial right side.
Timmy's two red. Rose dead seven. 21 to two above right side. As I begin to see a single line of dragsters forming over there. Getting closer. Josh Ludke, Boonville, Indiana, lost Chevrolet entry on a 449. Sean Schaefer, Boise, Idaho, 456, right side. Here's a pair of contenders for sure. Ludke's went deep in the round. Schaefer's already claimed a victory this week. So they could definitely get a hold of that Rodix run for the 50K money. Schaefer. Goes three above. Ludke. Ten red. Six thou under. All right. I have a Pinella Race Engines round one call for the Silver State Million. We will take Larice Pro. Larice Pro to the lanes for Pinella Race Engines round number one. Larice Pro to the lanes for Pinella Race Engines round number one. Joe Kill Jr. turns it to uh, Nathan Martin 007 green but goes three, three thou under. Kittle was dead two and whoa. Two red, dead two. He's perfect on paper but that don't pay nothing. So two red, dead two. Corey Glitty, Tumball, Texas, 432 left side, Rocky Van Note, 470 to the right side. Mosier Engineering entry. Double O fives a pair. Can somebody knock it dead zero and crack the top three? No, Glitty, dead five, Rock, under by 3,000. Leslie Dugas, Midlothian, Texas, 469 left side, Chad Broom, Fort Worth, Texas, 436 on the right. Double oh six green, Broom is red, and under, six thou red. So double oh six green, six thou red, again, perfect on paper, but doesn't mean anything. Jordan Emperor Jesse, Lake Dallas, Texas, 430 in the left. Logan Scribner, 486, right side. So again, we made the call for Larice Pro. Larice Pro to the lanes for Pinella Race Engines, round number one. Larice Pro, we have made the call for you to the lanes. I see some of you starting to come in the lanes, so thank you for heeding the call. Larice Pro to the lanes. For Pinella Race Engines, round number one of the Silver State Million. Two to 13, can Scribner make his way in? Top three? No, under by 11 thou. Epper Jesse, 13 and 14 thou above. Kyle Coltrera, Elliott Main, left side on a 475. Stephen Farrow, Chattanooga, Tennessee. 481, right side.
12s a pair. Not going to crack the top three, but hey, make a good time run. Get ready for the big one. Coltrera, 473-4. Farrow, 478-7. No, aren't. This is a uh, total different deal. This is the Brodix run for the 50K. You make a perfect run, you get 50K. The million's just going to be just like any other race. Whoever turns on the final win line. Vinny Domino, Stat Island, New York, 454 left side. Kyle Bigley, Sakoskis, New Jersey, 448 on the right side. We threw Severio in. He wasn't. He wasn't ready. He's like, dude. But uh, he had announced that he had announced for Big Vinny. Talon Farmer, Abilene, Texas, 478 left side. All right, say, Eric. Eric Mann, the right side. All right, Miss Olivia. Eric Mann, right side. They're both looking for their shot at 50k. So 456 right, 478 left. So Eric Mann, water sucks right side. We have been thankful for Eric this week. He has kept us hydrated, kept us energetic, and we appreciate that. 12 to a 16, neither one will crack the top three. But uh, Eric goes 455, one on the 456. Tyler Farmer, 479 on the 478. 444 the dial left side. Here's another contender, Sugar Shane. 438 right side. You can never count him out in anything. If there's a prize up for grabs, especially money. Sugar Shane's always a good bet. One to an 11. Oh, there's seven total. Ouch. That one stings a little bit, Nate. One dead six, seven total, just outside the top three. That does make, uh, get you the top four, but not top three. Man. Peeps Pennington, 462 left side. Jason Dawson, 460 on the right side. So left side on a 444. 
I got Severio back here with me. Who you got on your right side, Severio? Who's on your side? Chris Whitefield. Whitfield. You have Chris Whitfield. He uh he just won the other night, didn't he? He's already put some money in his pocket. Oh. But he'd like to get fifty grand. He'd love your dad to get fifty grand right here. Yeah. Well, not gonna happen though, right? What happened? Double oh three for Chris. He's gonna lose because. Well, yeah, this is yeah we're not oh, there yeah. yet. See, we we just threw Severio in, so we gotta kind of get him. So we're just doing the Brodix run for the fifty k. Nobody's winning, nobody's losing yet, unless somebody wins fifty grand, or the top three. Then they're winning, but. We'll uh, we'll start actual eliminations here real shortly. We're getting closer, dude. Are you excited for Million Day? Yeah. It is. It's awesome, isn't it? Even even for you, it just kind of hits different, don't it? You show up, you know somebody's gonna win the million dollar race today. It's like, man, pretty cool deal. Yeah. All right, left side, 483. The dial. Who you got, right side? Right side is Race Kid. Dialed in at a 465. Yep. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for triple O, and they're looking to run that dial in with a zero. Yep. We're looking for it too, aren't we? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. We're down to just a handful of pairs left to try to do it. Here we go. Oh, man, they're both red again. Double O won for race. Oh, oh and he goes dead on. Red, but he was dead on. Yeah, man, he, uh, but he was dead seven. It wouldn't have got top three, but still, that's a... Uh, that's a respectable time, Ruff. If you, if you go into round one of the million going, I was just one red, and I went dead seven. You got to like it. I mean, you got to feel good about it. It's got to give you a little bit of confidence, right? Yeah. It's all about all about confidence. All right. I got Johnny Ezel. Johnny Bracker. Oh, this is a good one. Johnny Ezel out of Louisiana. Johnny Bracker racer. 449 left side. Who you got? Corey Galidia. No, right. no, no. Who? Chris That's Galidia. dad. Yeah, it's dad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh man, two but really good runs. Also, Chris was also dead on. Yeah, he was dead seven. And so was Johnny. Yep. But he was dead six. Yep. You got twelve total on the left, seven total on the right. You know what it takes to make top three? Six total. So that means Chris just missed it by one foul. Wow. Man. Michael Pennington, Lavernia, Texas, 463 left side. Your guy not on file, right? We'll figure out who it is. It's another fast dial, isn't it? 447. Yeah. I never saw a car that was three something. Me neither. And unless top field. And I don't want to. Me I'm out. I, I watched that one. I watched the one door car going 450s. I don't want none of that either. Oh, 23 for right. Michael, well, one above on the right, one above on the left. So that would have been a good side-by-side -side drag race, but not going to crack the 50 grand here in the Brodix run for the 50K. Ty Farmer to Scola, Texas, 487 left side. Who you got? Yep, Alexis was, Alexis was 001 on her last run for the 50K. It was off. Uh-oh. You better tell him again. Alexis Thompson in the right lane now that a 461. Yep, so she was 001 earlier, and I believe she went just a little bit under. So Alexis has uh, been driving well this week. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're just it's that strong voice you've got. You're coming through loud and clear. They're both taking their time staging. You better be safe than sorry. That's right. So. 50 grand's 50 grand, right? Yeah. Oh. O36 for Alexis. Red. But Farmer, O7, O17, green. And Farmer was dead on with a 7. Yep. And Alexis was also dead on with an 8. Yep, they're getting them honed in. That's for sure. They're getting ready. All right, J.P. Schuster, Vienna, Ohio, 465 left side, and oh man, who's Je over there? Jeff Sarah, he's good. Yeah. He's he been everywhere. He was at Pennsylvania. He's here. He goes everywhere, doesn't he? Yeah. Something tells me he'll be at Glot in a few weeks too. He is. I'm sure he will be. Wow. He's not gonna miss a fling race. 
So Jeff's on a 461. We know he's always, always capable. He was double O his last hit. Went a little bit over. Oh, look at that. Oh, he does it. He does it. Trip, zip, dead, zero. Jeff Sarah does it. Wow. He claimed the wow. He's claimed at least a share of the Brodix run for the 50K. Jeff Sarah, trip zip, dead zero. Schuster, 005, I, dead five. Wow. I, I knew he, he would do it again. You said he was good. You called it. Yeah. He, was, he went from good to real great right there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, Ryan Stifler, Thornton, Colorado, 464 in the left, 481 in the right, we're 001 in the right. And under by nine foul. Wow, catch my breath again. Whew. I thought he would do it again. Man. Whew, that made the- Gabe Torres the in the right arm. lane. Now that a 461. Another 461. Yeah, and Bodie Todd Bennett. Bodie Bennett yeah. in the left lane dialed out a 458. So all somebody could do now is earn a runoff with Jeff Sarah. Yeah. If they can do it, that, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? That'd be cool. Man, you know, <laughs> Jeff Sarah's won a lot, but I'm telling you what, when you see that thing light up dead zero after being trip zip, you have just, I can't imagine. I, I know how I felt. I can only imagine how he felt in the race car. Yeah. And that's the best light you could get. That's it's right. The best one You're ever. You're not going to do it any better. That's it. Yeah. That's exactly right. Wow. So Bodie Bennett and Gabe Torres trying to get their share. Nope, 14 and 16. Gabe, 0 16, Bod, 0, 0 14, and Bod dead on with an 8. Gabe. Off by one with a five. And Jeff didn't, I bet he didn't, he barely knew that he got that. Yeah. That he was dead on with a zero. Yep. Well, I guarantee he looked at that scoreboard more than once to make sure yeah. that was a zero. Absolutely. I know I did too. I looked at the screen and went back and looked, that is a zero. Wow. I Man. just looked at the screen because I knew that, that the screen is easier to see. Exactly. You're right. And your eyes work better than mine. Yeah, you got those young eyes. My old eyes, I had to look again. Johnny and Jill, out of Louisiana, 457 left side. 021 for Brian. John, oh, 006. John was off by one with a zero. And Brian was off by two with a seven. All right, Brandon Taylor, Roanoke, Alabama. 495 on the left side. 017 for Troy. Brandon, oh, 005. Brandon, oh. dead on with a three. Troy, Slow. I can't even do that. No, he was there. slow. Yeah, way slow. And, you know, who knows, with, with Troy, once he saw he wasn't perfect, he may have just took his foot out of it. Yeah. Good run there. Yeah, right that was side. a good run. Eight totals, really good. It just wasn't good Off. enough to sneak in here. Yeah. So look at that, top three. You had to be, right now, you had to be 005 wow. package or better to be in the top three. It's crazy. The top six, I mean, the top 16 are all 11 total or better. Yeah. It's crazy. You've got, you got 35 that were 20 pack or better. Right, a couple guys not on file. We'll awesome. figure them out. 465 in the left side. Red light in the left side. O forty seven for right lane. Double O eight. Red. And it looks like left lane was dead on with a nine. Broke out though. Got one solo left. 
465. So see what happens right here. If uh, we can knock into a share of the 50K or if it's going to be owned by Jeff Sarah alone. You have one more, one, there's a little small percentage. And he will not get it, oh, 12 red. And he was off by one, over by one, with a two. Yep, and that will, uh, that will wrap up the Brodick's run for the 50K. But, man, what a run it was. Just? Jeff Sarah, we need you with your dragster, please. Right, okay. right there on the return road, please. Jeff Sarah and your dragster, we need you. But right down here on the return road, please. Jeff Sarah, if you you and your dragster can if that help was you just, on the return road. If that was just green, that would be better than you would think. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll buy one over. All right, we will take all door cars to the lanes for Pinella Race Engines, round number one. All door cars, Pinella Race Engines, round number one to the lanes, please. All door cars. All door cars to the lanes for Pinella Race Engines. Round number one of the Silver State Million. So, Steve, for the second time it has happened. Withero did it in Bristol. Jeff Sarah does it in Vegas. We are getting him uh, called up here to the return road. We need Jeff Sarah with your dragster up onto the return road where the winner circle would be because you, sir, are about to receive $50,000 for putting up a perfect run in the Brodix Cylinder Heads run for the $50,000. My goodness. Today has already started off the way that we hoped it would would. The way that we hoped it would. That is very cool. So a $50,000 run was made here today by Jeff Sarah. Perfect and dead on zero. That's amazing. So we are going to get Jeff headed up here so that we can make that presentation. We have got our Larice Pro round number one for the Silver State Refrigeration. An HVAC million dollar Saturday. We're going to get him up here. We'll make that presentation. Again, Larice Pro and Super Pro Door Cars. Super Pro Door Car. You have been called into the staging lanes, please. All door cars need you to the staging lanes for round number one of the Spring Fling Million. Again, it is the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. Let's get our door cars into the staging lanes. Pro, you should be sitting in the staging lanes. And in order to present $50,000 to the man that just made a perfect run, we're going to get Jeff Sarah up here on the return road and hand him, well, let's just say, I mean, if, if it were you, if it were 1045 in the morning and you had already made $50,000 for the day, I'd say that's a good start. I'd say that's a great start. And with a whole lot more money up for grabs. That is definitely one way to go about it.
Check. Well, racers, we are standing down here behind the tower, and the man who has made himself $50,000 richer before lunchtime is joining us down here. Shane Thompson's here, the car owner, but Jeff, take a look right there, man. It is four, and with $50,000 already in your pocket, tell me how you're feeling right now, man. I'm feeling pretty damn good. That was better than a win right there. It was just like electric as soon as I saw the freaking out well so you were i heard you talking about it you're getting down there towards the finish line you saw the trip zip on the scoreboard and at the finish line to try and make that stick um i i drugged the brake a little bit it was going like a 60 with a seven on the first pass and i tried to kill like five thousandths or so and i can't believe that it worked like it did second, second time only Withero did it in bristol You've now done it in Vegas, baby. What does it mean to roll big in Vegas? Uh, you can't, you can't beat it. We do need to check the valves because I gave it a rod check down there. <laughs> Peter, get in here, man. Hand my man fifty thousand dollars. He did it. Burdick's run for the fifty. Make some noise for Jeff Sarah. Well, racers, good morning. We uh, have a couple of minutes before we are underway with our Silver State Refrigeration Spring Fling Million. And we are joined up here in the tower by Jeff Anderson. I'm trying to catch my breath after kind of down there, the excitement of handing out $50,000. It is definitely a great way to start the day. And Jeff, Mosier Engineering recently was able to secure the title sponsor rights to this event. And I understand that when that spot opened up, you and your company said, look, we are all about this type of racing. We're all about bracket racing. You not only do this event, 
but several others. Tell me a little bit about why you decided that was such a great deal. You know, uh, first, before we get real deep into it, I mean, how amazing was that? You know, we're, we're down there in the staging lanes, and Rob and I are walking by, and, and we see Jeff in the car and, and uh, you know, reach down and say hi. And, and uh, just a very cool thing to see happen. You know, it doesn't happen all the time. It's uh, uh, very unique. But when Jeff's in a car, it, you know, there's always the possibility. But to jump into Shane's car and, and do that, that's just very cool. But, uh, but yeah, getting back to uh, Mosier Engineering and our sponsorship, you know, we've been uh, tracking Peter and you guys and your crew and, and how you do everything. And how can you not be excited about what you guys do? I mean, when it comes to, when it comes to big bucket, or I'm sorry, big, uh, big cash bracket races like this, um, you guys are, are right up there at the top, you know, and it's, uh, it, it's a great event. I mean, a great, beautiful location, the, you know, and just the energy that accompanies these races. Uh, it's just, we knew we wanted to be involved for years. We've been, we've been eyeing this. And, and when it became available, I mean, it was a no-brainer. You know, Rob was like, I want in. I want this. So we made it happen. And last year was amazing. Rob wasn't able to be here uh, because of business commitments. And uh, he watched everything happen last year, and he goes, I'm not going to miss another one. So Rob's here. Um, his son Justin, Max, uh, Rocky, our crew chief, is here. And uh, we're just having a great, a great week. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I mean, just watching everything that's, that's happening and the throw in what just happened this morning. Uh, you know, we had weather come into play yesterday, which kind of messed things up a little bit. But um, it's beautiful today. The sun's shining. There's no wind. And we're going to see some great racing today, I think. Absolutely, we are, and I agree with you. And, you know, listening to a couple of the things that you were saying there about top of the game, uh, Mosier Engineering being top of the game, the stuff that you guys provide for the racers to be able, you know, we talk about being able to go double O on the tree and then run consistent numbers. You don't get to do that without consistent pieces of equipment within the car, and Mosier provides just that. Absolutely. You know, we've, uh, everybody knows the story, you know, Greg and how he started the company and, and the Mosier family is dedicated to racing. I mean, uh, drag racing is in their blood. We're going on five decades of doing this, uh, three generations. Um, it's just, it's something that, uh, that Rob and his sons love to do. And, um, I don't think you could keep them away. If they weren't, if they weren't manufacturing, you know, axles, driveline components, they'd still be racing. And, uh, and I think that when it's a, a family commitment like that, it's, it's in your blood, it's, it's hard to not just throw yourself into it 100%. So, like, when we're at an event like this, we're, we're carrying spare products. we got center sections. we got brake components. If somebody has a failure, they can come to us. We'll get them back on the track. But we also use this as a way to test products. So we brought four cars. There's parts on all four of those cars that are being tested this weekend. It's probably not the smartest thing to do if you're wanting to win a race. <laughs> but first and foremost, you know, we're testing products. So this, this right. is a, you know, when you're racing against the best of the best and, in, in, you know, out there, it's, this is the perfect place to do stuff like that. So. Absolutely it is. And, and we've heard that story from a lot of manufacturers, right? This is the testing ground. This is the proving ground. Yep. And when you can take a product that has been actually tested on the track, mm -hmm. Put it into a vehicle like the Mosier machines that are constantly winning <coughs> rounds. It not only proves the product, it shows that that product is going to give you the advantage. And I know Luke had mentioned something about calling it Mosier City back there where everybody's <laughs> pitted <laughs> at. I mean, it is yeah. a small city, right? Exactly. And the fact that you guys have got those spare parts, you can help out racers on site, on track, see what happened, give them the advice that they need. I'll tell you what, when we heard the news that Mosier was going to become the title sponsor of this event, everybody got very, very excited. We know the quality and the dedication, and most importantly, the love. If you didn't love it, you wouldn't put that kind of dedication into it. You guys all very much love this, and it's obvious. And so having you guys as a title sponsor with us now, and I understand it's you know it's kind of a multi-year deal. You guys are in oh, for absolutely. the long haul. Absolutely. We, we, we love the event, and uh, we don't have any plans of changing that for, for quite a while. So it's, uh, you'll, you'll see us here year after year, and uh, it'll be hard-pressed to keep us away. Well, Jeff, thank you very much. We appreciate you guys being here. You guys support racers. Racers will turn around and support you. Thank you so much for coming up here awesome. and spending a little bit of time with us. We appreciate it. All right, thank, thank you, you Nate. for your sponsorship. Racers, right. just remember, when you are looking for the right stuff to get your car down the racetrack, turn to the folks at Mosier Engineering. They got you covered, and they will get you there the way that you need to get there. So I think, thank I you think very much. I think we've talked enough. Let's get to racing. Let's do it. Let's do <laughs> Let's it. Do Thanks, it, Jeff. Appreciate it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so much, Mosier Engineering. Racers, we have got pro under the arch. It is going to be an incredible day here at the Strip. We're going to take just one second here, catch our breath, 
and round number one of the Silver State HVAC Million Dollar Saturday will be coming up next. Well, racers, good morning and welcome to the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. It is Million Dollar Saturday. Here at a Silver State Refrigeration, Million Dollar Saturday, we are ready to roll. We have got our Larisse Pro Cars lined up for round number one under the arch. The final amount will be decided following round number one, but somebody is going to experience a life-changing day. We've had several who have gone before, the likes of Luke Bagaki, Jeff Verde, Randall Reed, last year's winner, Andy Schmall, was able to experience what it means to be crowned the million dollar winner here in Las Vegas. Las Vegas has a history of changing lives, Las Vegas is where winners are found. Today, we will find one of them. As we get ready to go for today's race, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps. Today, our invocation will be brought to us by one of our own Fling family members. Steve Riggins is here. He is part of the family. His emotional connection to the racers will now help guide us through this day. Ladies and gentlemen, our invocation. All right, if you would, bow your heads, please. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for everything, all the blessings that you give us in our lives, but most of all, we thank you for opportunities, opportunities to enjoy your beautiful creation this week here in Las Vegas, the ability to um, see our racing friends, our racing family that we're so close to and enjoy those moments that we all cherish so much. Today, as we all get very intense during this million dollar day, I ask you, God, for you to just fill this place and put your hedge of protection over this place. Keep every driver, every crew member, every spectator safe, and every member of this track staff as they work so tirelessly to uh, put on a great event. We just ask you, God, to be with our men and women in military, our first responders, that you watch over them, protect them as only you can as they put their lives on the line for us, as they run in when so many others run out, and they're willing to protect us day after day. So we just ask you, God, to help us get our minds right, our attitudes straight, and keep our focus on you and realize our blessings all come from you. And we want to give you a little bit back today. And we give you praise, honor, and glory. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Steve. Today, racers, as you roll into the staging lanes for round number one, we know that each and every day you are focused. Each and every round you are focused. But today, that will weigh a little bit more on your minds. Each and every one of us here at the Fling are with you. Our thoughts, our hopes are with your thoughts and hopes. And as we get ready to roll, we wish you all the best of luck. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not done so, please rise and remove your caps. Our national anthem today will be brought to you by Tana Taylor, also another racer. As we listen to the words of our national anthem, let us remember we have three nations represented here today. It is an international affair, but in that, we enjoy the freedom here in this country to be able to do what we do here because of the men and women of our armed forces, both past and present, who continue to defend our freedom. We've seen jets flying overhead representing that sound of freedom. Let us keep them in our hearts and minds as we listen to the beautiful words of our national anthem by Tana Taylor. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars 
through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets would go Anna, that was beautiful. Thank you very much. Racers, with what Peter and Kyle started many, many years ago, today we take one more step forward together. Another million dollar racer will be crowned. Another winner here in Vegas will reign supreme. And in the words of Kyle Seipel, who is no longer with us, but I guarantee you is watching down on us from above. It's all about the story. Today is going to be a fantastic story. The best way to get this thing done is with his two most famous words. Let's roll. But Nate, thank you so much, as, uh, I, as only you could have, man. Just you have the perfect words at the perfect time. And uh, I don't know about you, but between Tana singing and your words only be said, man. Just got the, got the hair kind of standing on my arm a little bit. Just got the goosebumps. And just it's million day, man. It's, it's here. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm pumped. Jeff Sarah already got my blood going in the uh, Brodix run for the 50K, and now we're going to crown a million-dollar winner. Yep. Easter egg hunt is about to begin, so kids, 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 the grass behind the tower is going to be your spot. So all kids will take you for the Easter egg hunt. you got about five minutes before we get started, but all kids go down and find Nate. Nate's going to go hunt some Easter eggs too. He'll help you. He's good. At, he's, a, he's a consummate Easter egg hunter. So if you need some help, Get a little help from your friend. Nate will help you out. So all kids, all kids, Easter egg hunt. In the grass by the tower. We're going to begin in just a few minutes. But here we go. Pinella Race Engines, round number one of Larice Motorsport Insurance Pro. Charlie Lockhart, Mayfield, Kentucky, 592 on the left side. Dennis Pass, Stockton, California. In the right side on a 673. So racers, fans, chat bleachers, everybody, we are ready to go. Silver State Million Day. 81 hundredths. Head start. Goes to Dennis, right side. And we're separated by 15 foul. Here comes Charlie Lockhart. Finish line. Lockhart there first by a bunch. Breaks it out by 28 foul. Dennis, 47. And two above, light in the wind light. Jeff Debbie. Kimberly, Idaho, 587, left side. Tyler Rush, 618, the right. Tyler leaves first, is red. Jeff leaves second and is more red. Give the win back, Tyler Rush. 
Gonna go to round two of the million. Double eight red, 22 foul, under. Troy, you, uh, you're low. You're low. Jason England, Benton, Kentucky, 583 left side. Craig Merrilees, Windsor, California, 643 in the right side. I don't know what it is, but I know it's higher than that. Double O, fives a pair. Finish line, light it up, left side. Jason England, double O, five, dead eight, 13 total, taking double O, nine, as Merrill East was double O, five. Man, that's rough. One above seven, 22 total, no good for Merrill East. Brian King, Pahrump, Nevada, 580 in the left side. Jeff Peterson, Fort Lupton, Colorado, 690 in the right side. We're green both ways, 14 foul separated, advantage left side in the wind light left side. 47, under by three foul. Peterson, 61, under by 18 foul. No chance, Brian King, moving on. Curtis Zinzalita, Flagstaff, Arizona, 591 in the left side. Kyle Lapeer, racing for Cleve Randall, 696 the dial right side. A little over a second head start, going to Kyle Lapeer, right side. Zinzalita gonna give chase. They're both away, nine fouls separate them. Here comes Zinzalita, win light, go Zinzalita. 26, take two to be dead nine as Lapeer goes dead two but gave up a little bit on the starting line and cost him at the finish line. Zinzalita moving on. Yeah, Troy, I think uh, Pete said we had 265 last night, so I guarantee it's grown from there. Jacob Phelps, 641 left side. Andy Schmall, Idaho Falls, Idaho. The man on the t-shirt, dollar 593 right side. They're both away, green, seven foul advantage goes to Andy Small. Wind light goes Andy Small, 13, one above five, 28 total. Phelps was 20 on the starting line, takes 52, but it goes under by 44. Had to take eight foul or less, no good. Cliff Hall, Carmichael, California, 611 left side. Brian Cerruti, Niles, Ohio, 635 on the right side. Oh boy, Cliff Hall trying to catch Cerruti. Oh boy, Cliff, 26, take 50 to be under by 14 foul. Had to take 36 or less. Cerruti gets by with one, 52, one above zero for the win line. Scott Taylor, Columbia Falls, Montana, 670 in the left. Michael Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, 638 right side. 3,200 head start, gonna go to Scott Taylor. Scott Taylor's 11 up front, he's 11 foul behind. Win, light, goes, oh, Michael Johnson, trip, zip, perfect, take 44. To go under by 12 foul, had to take 32 or less. Scott Taylor, 11 and two above. Light in the wind light here in Pinella Race Engines, round number one of Larice Motorsport Insurance Pro. Donnie Hagar, 
Clark Lake, Michigan, 634 in the left. Dan Whelan, Stan Wood, Washington, 618 right side. Battle of the pickup trucks. Daladani in full control. And wind light, 17 dead six, taking 32. Whelan, late, and under by 19 foul. No chance. Caroline German, Henderson, Nevada, 616 in the left side. Mark Fall, Tacoma, Washington. Mark has done really well this week in that El Camino. Trying to do it again here on Million Day. 708 the dial. Here comes Caroline. Win, light, fall. 32, one above, take an eighth foul. It's Caroline, was late and under. Neither of which helped the cause. Mark Fall, the round two. Bug McCarty. Had a birthday this week. Bug out of Hazelhurst, Georgia. 91 Calais out of McCarty Auto Parts on a 607. He's, yeah, you know, way to pick this one, Bug. Lucas Walker. They always say if you uh, you want to be the boss of the playground, go find the biggest one. Here you go. It's the one to grab hold of. Lucas Walker, 599. Bug McCarty, 607. This ought to be a tussle. Oh, Lucas, way up there. Wow. Wow. Goes dead nine, but he dug himself a hole already on the starting line. Bug, double 06, dead six for the win line. Lucas goes dead nine to be 36 behind. Lucas carried those front wheels about 275 feet. Scott Heyer, Morrison, Colorado, 639 left side. Tony Price, Tiger to Oregon, 589 to the right, getting a one bulb head start. And makes a lot of that up early. When last you go to Tiger, Oregon, it does. 12, takes 75 to be two foul. Man, Scott could have bailed out there and picked up a win line. It's, Tony took a took a bunch, broke out two foul, but ends up ultimately breaking out the lease, getting the wind light higher, 637. No chance. Sammy, everybody's A-OK. -okay. All good. Jay Griner, 695 left side. Michael Board out of Idaho, right side on a 673 in the Mustang. And a red light start for Michael Bullard. Turns it 18 red. Jay Griner, 35. Looking for a 695. Finds a 693-1. Bullard, well under 667 on the 673. So it looks like we're about to go to Super Pro Door Cars. Round number one. So do a little quick manicure work. A little sculpting, if you will, just to make sure that the track is spotless and ready to go. As again, it's Silver State Million Day. We want everything to be as optimal as possible. So we're, uh, like I said, just doing a little quick broom work, and we'll be ready to go with Super Pro Door Cars, round number one of Panella Race Engines, round number one. So we've already got it.
kicked off uh, in crazy fashion today. Man, like I said, it's insane. My first Brodix run for the 50K, and I get to watch 50K given out. Man, what a what a what a neat deal. And then all in the same day, we're gonna crown another million dollar winner here at the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million, presented by Optimal Batteries. Panella Race Engines round one, and we are going with Super Pro Door Cars. So as we start door cars, Draxers have them ready, because it won't be long. Hey, just FYI, if anybody has found a little blue case and headphones on your golf cart, it uh, belongs to one of our media team members. So if anybody's picked up a little blue case and headphones, if you found a, a little blue case and some headphones on your golf cart, please bring that to the tower. It belongs to one of our media team members. We would be appreciative of you doing so. Paul Eddins, Rexburg, Idaho, 542 left side. Dustin Wirtz, Nampa, Idaho, 521 right side. Hey, James Stevens, welcome from Greenville, South Carolina. Welcome to all of you out in Chad Bleacher Land, all 2,100 of you. We only got 682 likes, though, guys. Come on, let's push that thing up. That means two-thirds of you have not liked the stream. If you like it, other people are going to like it just the way it works. So make sure you click that thumbs up button. Make sure you share it. Make sure everybody let everybody know how you're spending your Saturday with us here at the Mosier Spring Fling Million. Dustin with a big advantage and the wind light. 003, take 36 to be four above. 525 with a 521. Eddins was late and two above. So yeah, 683 of you have liked it. 2,100 of you are watching. It means 1,400 of you have not. So if you are in the chat, scroll down on your chat. It'll bring the thumbs up. Make sure you hit that. Make sure it goes solid. And uh, yeah, just do us, a, do us a favor. We're glad to bring this race to you, but help us out. Help us spread the word. Help us spread awareness of what we're doing. Justin Mosier, Lane Weber, 524 in the left, 698 in the right. Three to a 17, way away. Mosier trying to make up the ground. He lost the starting line. He gets there. Two foul under, but gets there last. Lane Weber, 003, one above zero. 13 total, Mosier locked out. 17, two foul under. Can't get it done. Rob Mosier, Portland, Indiana. 497 left side. Awful good to hear the Mosier story. I'm really close to it because they're right there in Indiana, about 40 minutes up the road from me. But I've been aware of the work Mosier's done for a long time and glad to see them being a part of so many big money bracket races, especially here at the Mosier Spring Fling Million. Good to hear Jeff tell the story. Jeff Verde, 590 on the right side. Rob Mosier, 002 to 008. This is nasty. When I going to go to Jeff Verde? 008, one above two, 20 total. Mosier two, take 39 to be under by 21 thousand. Rob had to take 18 or less, no good. Jeff Verde, moving on. Dan Goldie, Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada, 668 in the left. Matt Dadis, Norwalk, Ohio, the Grand Am on a 621 right side. So again, if you're watching the stream, do me a favor. Take your chat, slide it down, click the thumbs up button. Let's spread awareness of this. We've been very ecstatic with the way this content and stuff has turned out. I know several of you have sent me text messages telling me how much you love the stream. So please help us help you. Like the stream, share the stream, tell everybody you know about it. We are absolutely excited to be bringing it to you. Red light star for Dan Goldie. Matt Dadis gets a freebie, 21 and three under, 618 on the 621. But we talk about it a lot. You know, we talk about these likes. You're probably going, oh, I get tired of hearing it. But honestly, these guys work hard to do what they do and bring you what they do. And if you can look down at that thumbs up and go, man, 1,000, 2,000 people have liked what I've done today. It just, it just adds a little bit of that. Um, 
feeling of fulfillment in what they're doing. Like I said, I know so many of you have liked it and made comments to me telling me how much you like it. Show them how much you like it. They don't hear those comments. They don't see those things. But they definitely can look on there and go, man, we had 3,000 people watching. 2,500 of them liked it. So many of them shared it. We got 4,000 subscribers. Let's just continue to push that up all we can. Mike Lucas, Daryl Hemley, 2,000, separate him on the starting line. Here comes Hemley in that fast little Cavalier. Can he get there? He does by seven foul, breaks it out five foul. Had to take two or less. Win line, Mike Lucas, 23, dead zero. Another perfect dialer. 23, dead zero for Mike Lucas. And he'll be moving on. Daryl Hemley gave it everything he had. 21, take seven, going 450s. I don't know what else you would expect someone to do. And it just can't quite light up the win line. So Mike Lucas got to return for Biondo, round number two. So again, the pump truck is making his rounds through the pits. Flag him down if you need him. Pump truck is in the pits. Flag him down if you need him. G-Man, Garrett Griffith, Alexandria, Kentucky, 633 in the left. Andrew D. Piazza, 518 right side. Battle of the Midwest right here. All the way out in Vegas. D. Piazza with the advantage and the wind light. Is something going wrong for Garrett? He's pulling over to the left. And I don't think, yeah, that's that truck, he don't do that stuff. So I guarantee he's pulling over because something he felt something wrong. Yep. Garrett was late. Comparatively, D Piazza 002 and 13 above, but you could just tell all of a sudden, the midway point of the racetrack, the truck said no more. No moss. So Garrett going to run down there and check on Garrett, see what's going on. Hopefully it's uh, something he can get taken care of. I know he and Lindsay are both, I don't know if they're both in the million today, but they've both been driving it, and Garrett might be doubled. Who knows? But hopefully it's nothing too, too major for Garrett. So, again, while it's quiet, the pump truck is making its way through the pit area. If you need them, flag them down. And while it's quiet again, chat bleachers, we appreciate you so much. 2,200 of you, over 2,200 of you watching. But 798 of you is all that has liked it. So that means we're rolling at 1,400 of you who have not. So while you got a minute, while we're checking on Garrett, while we're getting him off the racetrack, just come on, do me a favor. Just if you're looking at the chat, you're not going to see the thumb. Just scroll it down on your screen. There's a little bar there. Scroll it down. Then you'll see the, then you'll see the thumb. Just hit that. Make it go solid. And... Here it is, 11.24 in the morning, Vegas time. So for the next nine hours that you're stuck with me here before I go catch an airplane, you won't hear me talk about it. So just get it done, and we'll, uh, we'll move on from that. But 799 of you have liked it. So let's get that, let's get that pushed up. Let's, let's make today our record day. It's Million Day. Everything's bigger on Million Day. So let's make our likes. Let's make our subscribers. Let's make our viewers the biggest it's been all week. Let's go out with a bang. I know some of you will be here tomorrow to finish up yesterday's race. But like I said, it's Million Day. Everything's got to go big on Million Day. So we're still down there checking out the S10 of Garrett, see what's going on, see what we need to do to help him get off the racetrack and get towards uh, either fix-it mode or find something else mode. But hopefully nothing too... Uh, Nothing too crazy there for Garrett. All right, so the blue case and stuff has been found. So thank you, whoever brought that up. Thank you so much. The blue case and headset has been found, so thank you so much. Oh, no, I consider the source now. I know whose it was. Duh. It all started to add up now. <laughs> yeah, I knew whenever they said a member of our media team, I knew who it had to be. It had to be that guy. 
Yeah, first two did not count. I'm like, huh? let's see. I pick uh, nobody, nobody awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's million day. I'm, tr uh, I'm sure my words hurt. I'm sure it cut you deep, Austin. But thank you so much. I know he's appreciative of getting his stuff back. So thank you so much. So it looks like we are track clear and getting back at it. So we, we pushed it to 830. Come on, keep keep going on those likes, guys. Let's get that pushed up over 1,000, over 1,500. Let's get to 2,000. Everybody that's watching ought to, ought to be liking it. If you don't like it, well, then don't watch anymore. Just kidding, sort of. Gary Humphreys, Mullica Hill, New Jersey, 625 left side. David Phillips, 684 right side. He was in the hunt for a long time with his six total in the run for the 50K. He let his eight out right here. 008 to a 23. Finish line goes to New Phillips. 008, take 87. Under by 49. So had to take, this is a lot of math this morning, 38 or less. Gary Humphreys, 23, two above for the win line. Turns it 10th out red in the Nova. Chuck Griffith, 15, dead, zero. That's more animal-like. 15, dead, zero. Chuck Griffith said, bring it. Let's do this. And he'll be moving to beyond round two. Scott Hess, dead seven after being 10 red. Blue hay ball, Fort Hall, Iowa, 599 left side. George Lewis, surprise, Arizona. 585, so 1400's head start goes to Blue Hayball. 12 to a 23. Here comes George Lewis. Can he drive around Hayball? Finish line, win light, goes Hayball. 12 dead seven, 19 total, taking four. Man, George Lewis, 23 dead zero, and says, hey, there you go. No, not good. Blue Hayball, you're a winner, moving on. Preston, Peeps, Pennington, 513 left side. Jeremy Waterman, Hera, Washington, 538 right side. Five thirteen to a 538, 2500, 10 start goes to Jeremy Waterman. Live start for Waterman, 003 red. Peaks 29 and 7 foul under. Waterman under as well, 535 on the 538. All right. So it's 11:29 a.m. We got 848 likes. Surely before noon we can push that up over a grand. Push up over a thousand. Let's do it now. Share this feed. Get people watching now because then once they start watching, they're just going to be stuck for the day. We're going to crown a million dollar winner. Ken Suio, 593. Rod Taylor, 533. Suio turns it red by 6 thou. Rod Taylor is 18 and 14 thou under. Moving on, Suio under by 15 thou after the red light start. So like we said earlier, if you're watching on your TV because you want to watch the biggest screen, I understand it. I don't blame you. But uh, just pull your phone out, pull the stream up on YouTube, and like it there. That way, that, that all counts. Because that'll make up for the like you can't do on your TV. Because I know some people said it's very, very difficult or impossible to do on the TV. So you can pull your phone out, pull your iPad out, pull whatever you got out, and just like it really quick, and then go back to watching your big screen. Because I, I'll agree with you, it's, it's better on the big screen. Everything's better on the big screen. Ricky Dusha, Palmdale, California, 557 left side. Nathan Bradford, Kalispell, Montana, 602 right side. So we have 29 minutes, need 146 likes. Surely it's not hard. There's 2,200 of you watching. 
So just check it real quick. Check your thumb. Make sure the thumbs up is solid on your device. And then just get back to watching, enjoying, and taking it all in here in beautiful strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Mosier Injury Million Day. Million Week. Presented by Optimal Batteries here on Silver State Million. 5 to a 35 advantage. Dusho. Wind light Dusho. There you go. Laying eight total. That's nasty. Five dead three for Ricky Dusho left side. Nathan Bradford was 35 up front. Goes nine thou under. Just trying to hold off the charge of Dusho, but can't do it. Ricky Dusho. Eight total. Moving on. Gary Williams, Bradenton, Florida. 579 to dial. Randy Cloud, Galt, California, 581. So 200s all going to separate them here on the starting line. Or at least in the handicap spot of it. We'll never know what's going to happen on the starting line. But we do the head start. 200 going to Randy Cloud. And you can see G-Dub left right with him. Means there's an advantage going left side. And the wind light goes right side. Double breakout. Williams with seven to a 25. Takes 25 at the finish line to be under by 10 thou. Randy under by three thou and knocks out G-Dub here in round one. But I'll guarantee you, the Terminator would say, I'll be back. G-Dub will be back, no doubt in my mind. Zach Fulcher, Mr. Cool, EDR Motorsports, Mosier Engineering, Chase Motorsports Trailer and Coach Sales, <gasps> <gasps> 05 Chevrolet on a 577. 575 the dial right side. Twelves a pair. Finish. Line. Double breakout again. Wind light Zach Fulcher. Twelve. Behind a foul at the finish line. Under by 22 foul. Right side under by 23 foul. Margin of victory 18 10 foul. Going to Zach Fulcher. All right. You guys are rolling it now. We're up to 912 likes. Keep pushing it. Let's get that thing over 1,000. Make a quick order. I wanted to do it in 30-some minutes. Let's do it in 10 minutes, even better. So keep hitting that, hitting that like button, hitting that share button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting the bell so you get notified every time the Flings Race Series is live. That way if Peter decides to do a video and you don't want to miss it, it'll, it'll tell you. It'll say, hey, the Flings Race Series is live now. Go watch. Jesse Long, triple six dial left side. Shannon T. Walker, Dallas, Texas, 529 right side. Jesse turns it big red. Shannon Walker gets a freebie, 21. And goes dead eight, 29 total for Shannon T. Walker. But you don't want to miss anything going on here at the Flings Race Series. Always something exciting, always something new, always something innovative. You don't want to miss it. So that's the one way to make sure that you do not miss it. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you always know. And like I said earlier, when you do that, when you go on your YouTube, you're going to start getting those live streaming races, those things popping up at the top of your feed. That way you don't have to go searching for it. Nobody wants to go looking for stuff. You want to just be there. And why is it there? It's because stuff you like. So in order to have that, you got to like it. Joe Levitt, 622 left side. Chad Sandlin, 653 on the right side. Head start going to Sandlin, 3100s. One foul, separate them. Here comes Levitt, finish line goes Sandlin. Double breakout, stop me if you've heard it before. 16, get behind five to be 11 foul under. Levitt's under by 17 foul. So Chad Sandlin gonna come back for Beyondo round two. Butch Blair, Princeton, Minnesota, 663 left side. Rodney Snyder, 506 the dial right side, little roadster. Going to give up quite a bit of head start. One and a half seconds or so. So for those of you that 
may not know that are watching, each each yellow bulb on the Christmas tree represents one half of a second. So you're going to see over a three bulb, just a little over a three bulb head start here, going to Butch Belair. And if all goes well and they react the same, they, they run this, their dial in, they shoot it up at the finish line, identical. We're close, they're 11 foul separate on the starting line. Here comes Rodney Snyder, finish line, light it up, double breakout, wing goes, Rodney Snyder. 19, three foul under for the win line as Butch was 008, but takes 39 to go under. By 31 foul, had to take eight thousandths or less to light up a wind light here in Pinella Race Engines round one, but cannot do so. Rodney Snyder going to return. Doug Carter, Thornton, Colorado, 605 in the left. Kerry Williouette, Estes Park, Colorado, 527 right side. Eleven to a fourteen, three thousand separate them. Here comes Williouette, wind light, light it up, break out. Oh, Williouette took a bundle. Fourteen take eighty nine to be a thou under. Had to take well, just less than that. Doug Carter eleven and nine above and gets a wind light he never expected to see. Gabriel Hernandez, Luke Bogacki. They're separated by 18 foul. Here comes Cool Hand Luke. Got the roadster fixed. And he's like, let's rock. And he does. 11. Take 10. It'll be one of our five. 26 total for Bogacki. Rocks out Hernandez. 29, dead 7. No good. Bogacki moving on. Kalantani. Kapaha, Kauai, Hawaii. I think. We're going with that. 66 Chevy 2, beautiful car on the left side on the 636. Darren Taylor, Rigby, Idaho. 550 the dial, right side. Yeah, Gene, sorry, you probably don't recognize me. I'm a, I'm a way out east Division Three Indiana guy, so. Double O two to a 23. Advantage, Calvin, but the wind light goes to Darren Taylor. Calvin, 002, take 33, goes under by that 33. So Darren Taylor is under by 21 foul, gets the wind light. So Darren Taylor moving on. Six eighteen, the dial nine on foul left side. Troy Grant, Golden, Colorado, 632 right side. 1400's head start, gonna go to the Chevy twice in the right side. We're separated by one foul, two to a three. Wind light says right side. Double, oh, three, dead, one. Four total for Troy Grant. He left uh, He left just a little bit. Double, oh, two, take 13. It'll be 11 foul under. Had to take two or less on the left side. But Troy Grant was laying four total, end to end. Kyle Fritz, Cottonwood, Arizona, 676 left side. Isaac Wild, Volga, South Dakota. Dialed in at a five. 68. 11 foul separate them. Here comes Isaac. Trying to light the wind light and will do so. 20 dead one as Kyle was 31 take nine but was under by 19 foul. Had no chance. Hey Steve, got a couple of things here real quick. Uh, first of all, with the round number one of the million underway, sounds like it's fun already. Uh, we wrapped up our Easter egg hunt. If there are any of the kiddos on property that did not get a prize, we've still got prizes under the tower. Come on up. Let's get you some prizes. Come down, pick out something. So if you've got kiddos that uh, want 
they didn't get a prize or they need another one, come on up, let's get that done. And then uh, if anybody found a little blue case with headphones on it on their golf cart, did we already, already got it? it. We Sweet. got it. Okay, yep. cool. It was Austin's. He's, uh, yeah, he lost his things. Okay. So, so the only thing left then is if you got kiddos on property that didn't get a prize, bring them up. Let's get them a prize. That's right. Absolutely. All about the kids, man. All about the kids. We'd love to see them here at the racetrack. That's how I grew up. And uh, Nate probably did too. So that's the way it is. BJ Vangs Ness, Hank Pramoff. 7 to a 32, BJ gets the win light, 007, take 14, goes one above two. 19 total, locks out Hank, 32, dead one. We've had more of you jump in and join the stream. We've had a couple hundred viewers, which is good. Make sure you smash that like button for me. We're at 950, so we're 50 away. We've got 18 minutes. Let's get over that. Damon Bustamante, Upland, California, 615 left side. Brian Bennett, Shallow Water, Texas, 540 on the right side. Who's going to get the win line? 10,000 separating him on the starting line. Damon, 22, take 11 to be under by 8,000. Had to take three or less as Brian was 12, one above three, 25 total. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's a good point. I'm not sure I've grown up yet, but I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Peter's trying to raise me the rest of the way here in the Fling family. He's like, it, it takes a village. And so I, either that or they've just given up, saying it's just not going to happen. I'm not sure which one, but either way, it's okay. Charlie Lockhart, Mayfield, Kentucky, 588 left side. Justin Beakley, 569 right side. Lockhart in the Monza trying to make it happen here with the Super Pro Door cars. And he does. 17, seven above is trouble for Justin Beakley. Not sure what happened to Justin, but just never went. And he's gonna make his way down the racetrack. Hate to see that. Exactly. Yeah, see, I grew up with the old Toys R Us commercials. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I just guess I've just stayed there. May not be a Toys R Us anymore, but that's all right. I just showed my age off. Dang it. Curtis Zenzalito, 591 left side. Manuel Hernandez Jr., San Antonio, Texas, 628 right side. 5,000 separate him. Zinzalita trying to catch Hernandez. Win light going to go to Zinzalita. 18 dead zero, taking absolutely nothing. 5 10 foul, margin of victory for Zinzalita. Hernandez had 5 foul in his pocket, leaving the starting line. Goes dead five, and you think 13 dead five? I'm good. No good. Zinzalita, 18 dead zero, getting it done. Jason England, Benton, Kentucky, 582 left side. Luis Pena Sr., San Antonio, 710 in the right side. The 80 Camaro taking on the Mustang. 20 fouls separate him. Here comes the Mustang. Wind light goes, double breakout to the Mustang. As Pena had 20 foul advantage, but gets there first by 39, breaks it out by 400. England under by 21 foul, breaks out the least and gets the win light. Scott Taylor, Columbia Falls, Montana, 671 left side. Andy Small, Idaho Falls, Idaho, 593 in the right side. All right, we're pushing those likes up. We're up to 977, so we're still short, but we're getting there. So let's smash that like button and share the stream. Share the stream with everybody you know. Somebody's M Mick or somebody's Mosher Million week is going to be a dream come true. So let's uh, let's show it off to everybody we know. Scott Taylor, Andy Small, here we go. 14 to a 25, 11 foul separate him. Here comes Small. Win light says double breakout. Again, Small, 14, take 21 to be 11 foul under. Scott Taylor under by a foul and gets the win light.
Justin Mosier, Portland, Indiana, Mosier Engineering entry on a 524. Ske Stephanie Kumit, Morrison, Colorado, the S10, triple sixes. Four foul separate them. Here comes Mosier. Winlight, Mosier, 21, one above three, 34 total. Stephanie was 25, take 14 to be five foul under. Had to take nine or less. Paul Eddins, Bob Cerruti, 543 in the left, 636 in the right. Bob trying to hold off the charge. Double breakout, does so, takes a foul to be under by sixth foul. Paul under by a bunch as Cerruti had the starting line advantage and turns it into a win light. Doug McCarty, McCarty Auto Parts, Hazelhurst, Georgia, 607 the dial, already laid down one. Gorgeous lap already here in Pinella Race Engines round one. Trying to do it again. Craig Merrilies, Windsor, California, 644 on the right side. He laid down a respectable run as well. Just ended up on the wrong side of it. He'll get this one, and Bug's going to be sick. 28 red. His opponent starts with a one. I don't mean a hundred either. A second. Not sure what went wrong there for Craig, but it turned into a wind light, so maybe it's his retribution for that no box run where he ended up on the wrong side of it. Rob Mosier, the head guy at Mosier Engineering, Portland, Indiana, 495 left side, Jeff Verde, Glen Allen, Virginia. 590 in the right side. Advantage, Jeff Verde. And the win light, 16 dead eight, 24 total. Rob, little tardy, goes one above four. No good. But again, just like the others I spoke about, Rob will be back, no doubt in my mind. Peeps Pennington, Lavernia, Texas, 512 on the left side. Matty D, Matt Dattis, Norwalk, Ohio, 619. For the guy from OHIO. Getting 1.07 seconds. And Matty D turns it red by two foul. Peeps, 006, one above four, 20 total. Matt, six foul under at the other end as well. Andrew D. Piazza up for his second entry. Long Grove, Illinois, 516 the Dow. Dustin Wirtz, Nampa, Idaho, 521 the Dow. All right, hey, don't forget, we're going to start assigning the... Uh, the drivers for the kid performance at Dino, last man standing after round number one. We still have spots available. Dustin Wirtz with the advantage in the wind light. Two takes 17, goes one above six, 18 total. D. Piazza was 18 on the starting line. Had to uh, go dead zero and hope for a miracle. Cannot. And uh, Dustin Wirtz, your winner. So the kid performance at Dino, last man standing. $10,000 Calcutta today. It's $100 a ticket. We're only selling 130 so you got a one in 130 chance. 
and there's a handful of those left. So if you have not done so and you want to do so, do it now. Go see the Diva Desk. Somebody's going to uh, going to win that. If you can't be, you know, if you can't be driving today and you're here at the racetrack, you go. Well, I can still be part of this thing. Go get you a ticket. The uh, Kid Performance and Dino Last Man Standing ten thousand dollar Calcutta is available at the Diva Desk, and it will close at the end of round one. Is we'll begin assigning drivers. Lane Weber, Daryl Hemley. Here comes the Cavalier and gets the win light. 0 13, one above seven. As Lane Weber was 22 but knew that charge was coming. You're talking about 61 mile an hour difference at the finish line. Lane trims it to 10 thou, but needed to trim it to 8 thou to have a chance. So win light goes Daryl Hemley. Moving on to Biondo, round number two. All right, come on, we're, we're right there. We're 998 likes. Come on. Push this thing over 1,000 and then beyond. 1,000 to 15 to 2 to however many people are watching at any given time. It ought to be everybody. Everybody will be liking it. There it is. There each one over 1,000. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep pushing it up. So as people, people come in, remind them to like the stream, share the stream, subscribe to the channel because it's only going to continue to grow from here. We're up to 4,100 subscribers, but uh, and there's a whole lot more racing fans out there than that. We ought, That thing ought to jump up over 10,000 subscribers in, in no time. And it's only going to happen by us sharing it with our friends because, you know, there's a lot of other platforms out there that are streaming races, and so there's people out there right now, I guarantee you, that go, man, Spring Fling Million, it's not even on, it's not even live streaming. And wait a minute, we're going, yes, it is, I'm watching it. But they just don't know the platform we're on. And so we're asking for your help to share it and, and grow the awareness of this Fling's Race Series page. I'm so incredibly happy with, uh, with Warren and, and their team and just the content they put out this week here at the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. Just, you've seen a lot of different insights, a lot of different angles that you wouldn't get to see unless you were here in beautiful Las Vegas. So I sit here and look at the, the staging lane cam and see those beautiful mountains in the background. It's just, you're just going to see things that you wouldn't see. Ticklefish walk by. You're just, you're just getting those inside angles that you would only get if you're here at the racetrack. And then even then, if you were in the exact right spot at the exact right time, you'd see what may be going on. But instead, thanks to this camera work, thanks to the things that they're doing, the stories that they're, that they're gathering, you're, beginning, you're seeing what really goes on in the fling, and you're understanding why we say race it, experience it. Well, now you can watch it and experience it the same way, just like you were here uh, and taking part in the racetrack. So, um, so we're asking you to, like I said, help us, help us raise awareness for this page, this new platform, and uh, we can only do it with you guys because, I mean, there's – few of us on the fling staff we can we can like it all we want to but <laughs> it's not gonna go anywhere very fast but we're gonna have to ask our a little help from our friends so that's what we're asking for you guys to help us uh, help us grow this thing so here comes some more here comes another door car I can see one rolling up at me John Bianco rolling up beside the tower And uh, just heard those words, last door cars. Our last pair getting ready to come out from beside the tower. All right. Hey, we're asking for a uh, quick shout-out to Tim and Tucker. There you go. So shout-out Tim and Tucker. These, those guys don't want to hear. The Idaho guys don't want to hear they woke up to a snowy morning. It's not snowing here. We don't, we're not going to talk about that. I think it's freezing and stuff at home, too, and I'm not thinking about that until I land at 6 in the morning at home. Jason Mercer, Chestermere, Alberta, Canada, 660 left side. John Bianco, Golden, Colorado, 554 on the right side. 
So I can see the tractors moving, so we're going to do some manicure work before we go to the long skinny cars. So a little over a second head start goes to Jason Mercer on that throttle stomp roadster. Bianco going to give chase. Four, thou, separate them. Wind light goes Bianco, 10, take 20 to be one above six, 26 total. Mercer, 14 and three above, no good. Hey, you have a good one too. Thanks for uh, thanks for jumping in and watching with us. And you're in the streams a lot, so it's good to uh, good to see you here on our Fling Race Series stream. So we're over 4,100 subscribers. So we're we're getting there. We got still got a lot of way to go. Lella doesn't believe in setting easy goals. She's like, come on, guys, get over 5,000 subscribers. We're like Lella. I mean, literally, we we were at. 2200 or something what do you what do you expect you want us to double it this weekend are you kidding are you crazy she's like i don't want to hear excuses anymore she goes just get it done make it happen so that's what we're trying to do and so i've uh i'm leaving that to nate like i, I think he can do it i just keep telling him you can do it so lella's like i don't care what what you got to do guys just get it done just get it over 5,000, and then she'll be happy until she sets the next goal but that's all right so we finished up door cards here in Pinella Race Engines round number one. All right. So I'm going to uh, step away, go get something to drink. And I mean, who, who are we kidding? Probably get a snack. And uh, so Nate Hershey has come back. He's kind of. Got his adrenaline in check from, from earlier and that stuff, and he's ready to call some drag extraction. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, to my partner for the weekend, or for the week, I should say, and my friend, Mr. Nate Hershey. Well, thank you very much, Steve. Nicely done as far as getting us through our pro round and our door cars round number one. We have got our dragsters round number one sitting under the arch. Racers, just a little bit of a heads up. The uh, VP fuel truck is here. It's going to be open for the next couple of hours if you need it. And... As we do a little track prep, again, the morning just feels a little bit different than it's felt in the previous days. One driver is going to add their name to the list of winners, which include Jeff Verde, Luke Bagaki, Randall Reed, Peeps Pennington, Scotty Richardson, Bo Butner, Kevin Brannon, Andy Schmall. And for those of you that are sitting back in the staging lanes, you can say, insert your name here. We'll see who gets to be the next driver that is crowned champion at the Spring Fling Million. Presented by Optima Batteries. Again, it is a Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million. Got to talk to Jeff Anderson and the guys, and they are all set up back there in Mosier City. If you need any help with anything to do with your racing program, as far as what Mosier has to offer, they are very happy to, uh, to get you helped out. But we've got a lot going on, man. Uh-oh. See, that's what matters. Calvin Tani up here, and he says, you know what? May not have gone the way that I wanted to, but I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm here, and I'm racing, and that's what a lot of the racers are thinking right now. For those of you that are sitting back in the staging lanes, getting ready to make your run, for those of you that have already made your run and have advanced into round number two, or those of you that are finding your way up here to the Diva Desk, we wish you all the best of luck, and hopefully, 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 you get to become number nine here in Las Vegas. So with the tractors headed back this way, want to give a huge shout out again to those of you in the chat bleachers. 2,300 folks watching along. 1,000 likes on the page already. 
and still looking to hit that 5,000 subscriber mark for our YouTube channel. We can get that taken care of easily, but I just can't even imagine the nerves. I just can't even imagine. It's just so cool. We've got some folks sitting out here ready to watch along as well. The tractors are headed back over out of the way as soon as that spray buggy gets back. Super Pro Dragster will be underway. Again, Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. Again, the final count, the final number will be made available as soon as we get through round number one with Peter Biondo. I got to tell you, Jeff Sarah, that was pretty cool. To be able to hand out $50,000 this morning before we even got underway with the big race day, to put 50K out into a racer's hand is something pretty special, right, Pete? 4.61 seconds to earn $50,000. Dude, I wish I had a job that I haven't even figured out what that equals in, like, per second. Yeah, but you're good at math. Quick, You'll figure no, it out. Quick, but well, the calculator will figure it out for me. We'll just, we'll just go that route. No one, no one does math on paper anymore. Attention. That's overrated. It's overrated, <laughs> my son says. That's how he stuffs a donut in his face. The various is math on really paper is well. overrated. <laughs> All right, listen, racers and spectators, crew, the last man standing. We have limited tickets left. If you didn't hear the announcement before, Kid Performance and Dino sponsors it. It's $10,000 to the winner. You do not have to be a racer. You come up, you give $100, you get a ticket. That ticket's going to represent a driver. That driver's going to represent you. If he, goes, he or she goes the furthest out of the 130 drivers in the pot, you're going to win 10 grand. So 130 ticket limit. And get up there and get one if you want to get, get your driver and root somebody on today. I, I might should. have to go get, can I go get five? Maybe they'll give me 50000 back. You know, nah. are we limiting it to one <laughs> per person? <laughs> no, it's not limited. Well, then there's but nothing that would stop you from doing that. You missed the se second part of that question. Though. What's that? And I'll win 50000 if he wins so I can get my money back? No, I don't think that part <laughs> will work. I don't think that part will work. You can win 10000 though. And I did while you were uh, chatting there just because it sounded like a fun thing to do. $12,195.12 per second. Dude, that's like NFL contract money. $12,195.12 per second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I did 4.1, not 4.61. Hold on. It's going to be less than that. Make it ten thousand eight hundred and forty-five. Ah, so it's kind of a little less, but eleven thousand dollars per second. <laughs> Peter, Peter's like, yeah, just like at the casinos, tips are appreciated. But Jeff, Sarah, man, that was cool. And we're not even done handing out a whole bunch of money. Just saying, we're not even done. Super Pro Dragster. Hi, Gene. How you doing, man? Hi to everybody. 2,300 hellos to those of you that are watching online on that Jags and Hoosier live feed live from the strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway on this Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. Silver State Refrigeration Million Dollar Saturday. Joe Peters and Mark Barnhart. Mark, left side dialed 462, Joe Peters, right side, Peters is in trouble. He is 85 thousandths of a second behind at the hit, and Mark Barnhart is going to put up a 12-pack. Here in round number one, 002 on the tree and one above the dial. To advance, free of charge, into round number two, Joe Peters is going to have to roll on up to see the Divas. Come see a Diva if you want another shot at that big purse. And again, as we had said, the final number will be announced after round number one based on the total number of entries that make their way down the racetrack here in this first round is Amy Farrow, who has already picked up a nice 
little payday this morning as well in that Brodix run for the 50K top three. After, of course, we handed out that $50,000 to Jeff Sarah, Amy Farrow ends up with a brand new set of those Brodix SR20 heads valued at just over $6,000. She's dialed in at 472, Brian Ryan. Six. Wind light's gonna go to Watts as Amy Farrow goes red by eight thousandths of a second. 008 red for Amy. Then goes 468 on a 472. Brian Watts is 455 on a 456. 11 green and under by three thousandths of a second with the wind light already on that left lane scoreboard. Wayne Thornton, Wyatt Wayman. This is a Wayne race. You got Wayne versus Wayman. Wayman's dialed in at 4.21 seconds. Rogers dialed in at 4.64 seconds. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. Thornton coming out of Virginia. All the way out here to Vegas to race for his chance at the big pot and Wyatt Wayman out of South Jordan, Utah. Wyatt's in big trouble. Bad time for a bad light, and Wyatt's going to be regretting that one. Reaction time started with a two. He goes 434 on that 421. Ryan Stifler now rolling up as Watts is going to get the wind light and will advance. Stifler and Joe Kittle Jr. Thank you, Ryan. Got to give that credit to, uh, to the team that's doing the live feed here. Warren and his group. Tickle Fitz, all of the guys that are out there. Tickle Fitz out there on the mobile camera. Warren up here behind the monitors, flipping the switches to give you all the different cam camera angles. I mean, it's really, really, really cool to be able to uh, be right up close with the driver. Stifler's going to be 10 red. Was dialed 465. Joe Kittle gets the wind light, 18 green, and then goes 487 on a 490. So as we get underway, couple of pair down, Lee Dixon and Jim Glenn. Glenn, former Super Comp World Champion, riding over in the right lane with a 479 dial coming in out of Virginia. Lee Dixon with a 451. Make that Ridgefield, Washington. Dixon out of Chesterfield, Virginia. Lee, going to be looking to get it done here against Jim. And I got my man, T2, joining us in here on the mic to get us the rest of the way through round number one. Tell us a little bit about what happened there, Mr. Severia. 012 for Lee, Jim 047. So Jim with that 47th down reaction time was behind at the hit and it cost him at the finish line. He ends up going 479 on a 479. He was dead on six, but had given up too much real estate at this end of the racetrack. Lee 12 green and 453 on a 451 to get the win light by two hundredths of a second. Shane Carr in the right lane dialed at a 440. Victor Clark dialed at a 484 in the left lane. So Victor Clark with that 484 over on the left side and Sugar. Shane Carr, advantage left side of the racetrack. Shane Carr was 35 green, gets there second to be 430, 437 on a 440. Victor Clark was 12 green. And then runs 480 on a 484. Double breakout ensues. Shane will pick up the win light and move to round number two. Jessica Bogaki in the right lane dialed out of 459. And Shane Molinari in the left lane dialed out of 425. Shane got a fast dragster. I would agree with that. Shane's got a fat, you drive a fast car. You want to drive a car like that someday? Yeah. Of course, who wouldn't? Double five red for Jessica, and she will be eliminated because Shane Molinari got a 0-16. 
16 green for Molinari. And then goes 424 on a 425 to get the win light. Ryan, appreciate that, man. And again, like I said, the credit for this feed is going to Warren and his team for the multiple camera angles. That shot from atop the grandstands watching the cars make their way down the racetrack is impressive. And of course, the mobile camera that gets us right back and up close and personal with the drivers definitely adds a big touch to it. How about Brady White and Chris Northup? What do we got on dials there, Sav? Chris, Christopher dialed at a 5.23. White dialed at a 5.14. Oh, 12 for Christopher and Brady, oh, 33. Brady's gonna take a wind light. Looks like it's a double breakout for both. That it is. Both of them running too quick. 20 thousandths of a second separated them in reaction time. Brady White was 33. Chris Northup was 12 on the tree. Northup gets there first by 30 thousandths of a second to break out by 23 thou. Brady White, 512 on the 514. Win light goes to White out of Alberta, Canada. Jeremy Cisneros dialed out of 450 in the right lane. Jake Jones in the left lane dialed out of 456. Jeremy, a little bit more of a fast car. Looks like Jake is coming from South Jordan, Utah. And Jeremy coming out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. 002 for Jake Green. And he's gonna take the win light because Jeremy got a 025 red. That's right, Jeremy goes 25 thou early. Jake Jones with a 22 thou reaction time runs 453 on a 456 and absolutely for it, Gabe. Definitely a huge big shout out to Mr. Ryan P, the announcer out there in Hawaii. You know, there are there are some jobs that would be great, some jobs that would be terrible. Yeah, like a you, garbage worker. Yeah, That's, that might be. That might be a little rough. But I'm telling yeah. you, if you get to be a race announcer in Hawaii, that would definitely qualify on the great job side. Yeah. Yeah. Les Les Leslie Dugas in the left lane down at 469. George Carubas Jr. down at 456. And George... 021 gonna take the win light because Leslie got a 015 green still but broke out. Yep, Leslie getting there first by 31 thousandths of a second and breaks out by six thousandths. Jorge Covarubias, 21 green, and then 457 on a 456 to score up a point for our team Mexico. As our next two backup, hey Michael Johnson has won an ATI Super Damper for the best reaction time of round number one in Larise Pro. Was perfect on the tree, so that is gonna net him. A Super Damper from the folks at ATI. Again, it, 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 it pays to be perfect. Ask Jeff, ask Michael, ask anybody. It pays to be perfect. 003, red for Robert. And he's gonna lose, Michael. 018 green taking the wind light. And Michael still broke out. Oh man. Wow. Michael goes 461 on a 465 after 18 green. Robert Butler dialed 469. Was double 03 red and goes 469 with a zero. Two things are gonna happen. He's gonna make his way up here to the Diva desk because you can't go out like that. And he's gonna be putting a big old donation in the swear jar because I promise you every bad word on the list has flowed. It would if I, if, if it were me, that would be what would happen. I would be like repeating them over and over. Yeah. Alonzo Skenich, San Sanchez and Josh Herman. Josh, 026. Alonzo, 032. Alonzo broke out, and Josh taking the wind light. Dead on with a two. And yep, he'll get that either way, probably. 
So Josh Herman doing a great job down at the finish line. You could see the scoop rocking. He was 26 green, rocked the scoop to take one thou at the stripe and end up dead on two to get the win over Sanchez. Sanchez was 32 green and runs 482 on a 483 as Talon Farmer and Kyle Cotrera. Cotrera out of Maine, 477 the dial on the right side. Talon Farmer out of Abilene, Texas, 480 is the dial on the left. A bit faster again. A little bit faster from a little bit farther away. Yeah. A lot farther away. 007 for tailing. And he is going to be, he will break out off by, off by two with a five. Kyle, 014. 14 dead on with a one. Absolutely, 14 dead one. Kyle Cotrera is 15 total. Talon Farmer was 007. Had a little bit of room to work with down at the stripe. Takes 23 thousandths and ends up breaking out by five thousandths, or excuse me, 15 thousandths of a second. Is our next two gonna roll up? Cortland Carter, that was at a 468 in the left lane coming from Hobbs, New Mexico. And Jeremy Soares, that out of 482. And Jeremy, 002. And he broke, and he broke out. With, he broke out. He's off by two under with a five. And Cortland, he was off by two under also with a seven, but also broke out. Yep, the double breakout, Cortland Carter, 23 green. Jeremy Soares was double O2. Jeremy gets there first by 23 thousandths of a second. And then goes under by 15 thou. Cortland Carter under by 13 thou. Win light to Cortland is Kyle Hergemuller and Jason Dawson. Hergemuller with a 461 dial. Dawson with a 460 dial. Separated by just one hundredth of a second. Wow. Going to lose to Kyler because Kyler got a 008. And he was off by one over with a seven. And Jason, he he should have he should have been a bit he was a bit faster there. Yeah, Jason Dawson with that 043 reaction time. Herga Mueller was double 008 and one above to get the win light as Scott Anderson and Tom Clark are gonna be our next two. Tom dialed 451, Scott Anderson dialed 444. Head start goes to the left lane. All right, Severio. 003, Red gonna take the win like Tom Clark won. Scott P. Anderson, 027. True start. True start comes into play. Tom Clark was dialed 451, leaving first, left 3 thou early. Scott Anderson was dialed 444, leaving second, was 27 of a thousandths, or 27 thousandths of a second early. And Scott Anderson gets nicked by True Start. Corey Gallitti. Corey Kalitti in the left lane, dialed out of 435, and Kyle Sechrist dialed out of 465 in the right lane. Corey coming from Tom Bell, Texas. Kyle coming from Northman, Oklahoma. Sechrist rolling in here, getting ready to go. Galetti getting ready to go. Racers. 002 red for Corey. Kyle got 
got a 024 green gonna take the win light and Kyle off by one under with a nine. So racers, your attention please, your attention please. After Galiti goes to Thou Red, we need a parts call. Parts call, I'm gonna get this over to Lella. She'll get it up on our social media pages. We need a shorty transmission with a 180 gear set. We need a shorty transmission with a 180 gear set, please. If we can find that, get up here and let us know. Shorty transmission with a 180 gear set, please. Greg Hicks, now that a 482 in the right lane, coming from North Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, very close from here. Bra Brandon Helena. Dialed out of 471 coming from Virgville, Alberta. Double O seven for Greg going to take the win light because he was also dead on, dead on with a seven. Brandon 024. And he broke out and was off by two under two. So Greg Hicks picking up the win here in round number one. Seven dead seven. Ends up 14 total. Brandon Helena, excuse me, Braden Helena, 24 green and gets locked out here in round number one. Hey, for those looking for that uh, shorty transmission with the 180 gear set, Les Figueroa has one. Les Figueroa has one. So for those looking for that shorty transmission, Les Figueroa has one. Go see Les. Go see Les. He'll give you more. Go see Les. Brittany Taylor in the left lane and Mike Cauldron in the right lane. Looks like Brittany got a 006, going to take the win light. Mike Cauldron, 025 broken out off by one under with a four and Brittany off by one under with a seven nice look at that that would be cool scott taylor wins the million and Brittany wins this that would be crazy that would be crazy so Brittany getting the win light here 006 it ends up Three thou under. Mike Coltrane was six thou under after the 025 reaction time. And I'm with you, Sarah. The excitement is building. Severio's feeling it. You can hear it coming through on the microphone. This is a big deal, right? Turning on a wind light in round number one of the million. How about Vinny Domino and Logan Schribner? This is the million, brother. Time to win the big money. It's big race day. Sherwood, Oregon for Logan. 485 is the dial. Staten Island, New York, and old... Logan did triple, triple zero. Off by one broken out. Under with a four. Vinny Domino will take the win light. But he got a 016. It looks like Logan got that triple zero for nothing. Yeah, that would be one way to say it. That would be one way to say it. That triple zero goes nowhere. 484 on a 485. Gets their first 18 thou. Breaks out by six thou. Vinny Domino with 16 green. Gets their second and breaks out by four thousandths of a second for the win here in round number one. That'll definitely have Logan thinking about it. I'd be thinking about that. He can come up and see the Diva Desk, though, and buy back in. Yeah. Next two. Yeah, there you go. See, Severio's already thinking about possible predictions on how things could play out today Dan Provost and Mike Crater like Brittany Taylor could be in the final with Scott Taylor could be that'd be that would be something to witness right they both won first round who knows who knows Crater's dialed in at a 440 Dan Provost dialed in at a 438 
So with Dan out of Abbotsford, British Columbia. That 438 up on the board, right lane. Mike Crater coming in out of Buford, Texas. 440. Just separated by two hundredths of a second. Staged. Set. And they're gone. 023 for Dan. Gonna take the win like 003 red for Mike. It looks like Mike off by one under with a seven broke out and so has Dan broke out but Dan was but Dan was three under with an eight yep so at 435 on a 438 for Dan Provost already had the wind light on thanks to the red light of Mike Crater is Dennis Lithgow and Sean Hart Dennis looking for some redemption after an unfortunate incident on track on Thursday. Trying to go 462 now in the dragster and Sean Hart, the painter man coming in out of Boise, Idaho, dialed in with a 470. Head start by eight hundredths of a second. Gonna go to Sean. Dennis will do the chasing as we are pre-staged. Sean rolls in, stages up the car. There is Dennis and we turn him loose. Red 010 for Dennis, Sean. Take the win like 006 green and was off by one under with a seven. And it looks like Dennis is off by three with a zero under. That it is, Painter. Boy, as they know him in Idaho. Sean Hart getting the win light 006 green. Dennis 10 red. Dennis gonna have to buy back if he wants to continue on in today's event, Gordon Boven and Josh Buer. Buer with a 474 dial coming in out of South Dakota. Gordon with a 472 dial coming in out of Idaho. Really, who knows? When I won a race, I lost, I lost first round and then I came back from the buybacks. You know, you know. You do, you do. You, have you absolutely have another chance. Double one for Gordon. Going to take the wind light off by two. Broke out with a five under. And it looks like a 022 for Josh. Broke out off by three under with a nine at the end. Yeah, Josh Buer, 22 green, breaks it out. Gordon Boven, 001 green, breaks it out. Boven, under by 15. Josh, under by 21. Win light goes to Boven as Philip Pennington and Dave Mazier. Mazier, part of the Mazier Enterprises team, has been helping us over the last several years, giving out some of those really high quality starters, water pumps, all that stuff that they manufacture down there in Escondido, California. Certainly appreciate him being part of the Larice Motorsports Insurance Pro Field, part of that treasure chest and more. Oh, 12 for Dave going to. Take the win like 009 for Phillip. Both broke out, but it looks like Dave under, off by one with a four, and off by two under, broke out with a five at the end. Yeah, three separated them in reaction time. Dave was 12, Phillip was nine, and came down to the double breakout. Mazir getting the win light as we'll bring out Carl Jones and Brandon Taylor. There's a lot of Taylors here. There are a lot of Taylors here. Uh, I heard, um, I don't know, at the Diva desk, they were doing some work, and I heard everyone saying, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. 003, red for Carl, going to lose Brandon, 014, green, but still broke out, Taylor. Taylor still broke out. Off by three under with a zero at the end. And Carl, a zero on the end. Off by one, not a broke out. 
A breakout and a red light are almost the same. They could cost you the same, winning and losing. You're absolutely right. See, that's that kind of sharp mind that you have to understand the finer details of drag racing. Do you want to go red on the tree? No. You want to break out at the end? No. Why? Because then you, you have a chance to lose. You're totally right. So for the racers that are sitting out in the staging lanes, is Trevor Jelinski. 70 green goes 462 with a one on the 462, gets himself a win light. If you're sitting back in the staging lanes, listen to Severio. He says, don't go red and Jesse. don't break out. How about this? Jeff Sarah in the right lane won the triple zero dead on with a zero earlier before noon. Bef right before lunch, my man had made $50,000. Yeah, it's like you get 50 $50,000 for not having lunch. All right. You know what? You can have $50,000 and then go have a, a nice lunch. Yeah. Imagine the kind of lunch you can get with 50000 Worked out to about $11,000 per second. Tim Marker glue over on the left side. Jeff, Sarah on the right side. Sarah's dialed 464. Marker glue's dialed 441. Tim is from New York, where I'm from. 013 for Timmy. Going to lose to Jeff. Can Jeff do it again? Jeff got a double 4 and was off by two under, broke out with a two at the end. And it looks like Timmy was off by four under. Yep, so Marker Glue Blake breaking out, bowing out. Jeff Sarah's moving on to round number two. Marker Glue's going to have to find the buyback window as John Parks and Eric Reyes. Eric. The painter from now Henderson, Nevada, dialed in at 437. John Parks out of Cadillac, Michigan, with a 446. Double one for Eric. Gonna take the win light. It was also dead on with a six. John, 022 green, but broke out and was bit off by his dial. Absolutely. Reyes, 001, take six at the stripe to be dead on six and seven total here in Vegas. John Parks, 22 green, had no chance at it as Race Kid and Don Butkowitz. Don Butkowitz dialed 479. Race Kid dialed 467. Head start to the left lane. When we go back, Timmy Marker Glue is also really good. So is Jeff Sarah. Well, how about Don Butkowitz getting it done on a double breakout? 18 green to race kids, 13 green. Kid gets there for 17 thousandths of a second to be 464 on a 467 and 21 thou under. Don Butkowitz, 18 green, goes 478 on a 479 to be 9 thou under. Winner to dawn. All right, Severio. I appreciate you coming up. You're all done, man. Yeah. You've had you've had kind of your taste of the million. All right. I like it. I like it. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very much to T2 Terminator 2, coming in here and spending a little bit of time on the mic with us. Skylar Barichko and Mitchell Marcy. They are going to be next. Marcy with a 490, or Skyler with a 491 dial. Marcy with a 475 dial. Big advantage goes to Mitch Marcy. 007 on the tree and 481 on a 475. He was holding a 500, man, a little bit, little more than 400 of a second advantage in reaction time. Skyler Barichko, 51 green. Runs 497 on a 491 and for Barichko, that definitely didn't go the way that he wanted either way. Mitch Marcy, 481 on that 475 after the 007 reaction time, is going to turn on a scoreboard here in round number one of the million. Tony Henderson out of Vermilion, South Dakota, and John Angel out of Bow Bridge, Louisiana. Louisiana based car dialed in at 460. South Dakota based car dialed in at 495. So with a 3,500th of a second head start, Tony Anderson 
will get in and watch his side of the tree drop first, like so. Both drivers separated by a couple of foul. Both were double O. Scoop Rock is a happening, and Tony will be double O five dead four to be nine foul total here in round number one. Of the Spring Fling Million, John Angel was double O three, take 17 thou at the stripe, needed to take 16 thou or less as he breaks it out one thousandth of a second. Speaking of the fact that it is a Mosier Engineering. Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. Max Mosier, part of the Mosier City Group. Back there in the pit area, dialed in at 449 on the right side of the racetrack, and Nathan Martin coming in out of Texas. Lining up over the left lane with a 468 dial head start left side this time. Three thousandths sec separate him in reaction time, and the wind light belongs to Max. Nathan Martin, 10 green, gets to the stripe first by 23 thousandths of a second to break out by nine thousandths of a second. Max Mosier was 13 green and one above. 450 on a 449 is a winner for Max. As now Gary Wombolt and Gabe Torres. Gary, 459 dial, right side. Gabe Torres with a 463 dial, left side. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. Gary out of Colorado, Gabe out of California. Gary rolls in. Is set up and ready to roll. Advantage, Gabe Torres. Wombolt's in trouble. Wind light belongs to Torres. 465 on a 463. He was 12 on the tree. And gets there first by 14 thousandths of a second. Gary Wombolt said he was in trouble. He was 33 thou behind with that 045 light and then runs 459 on a 459. Dead on five. And won't be enough to turn on the scoreboard. As Gabe Torres will advance to round number two. Of the million is Neil Presimone and Aaron Johnson. Johnson, 491 dial right side. Neil, 482 dial left side. And as Peter had said, told me earlier, like when we first started doing these things way back in 2016, he says, just take a look around. Watch what the drivers are doing as they aren't in the car, as you can see some of them that'll stand out alongside the racetrack and pay very close attention to what other people are doing. Some will sit quietly off in a corner. Some will try to take their mind off of it by having whatever conversations they can with their friends. But either way, everybody's got this weighing in the back of their head. 008 on the tree and one above, Neil Pressamone. 008, take two thou at the stripe to be 483 on a 482 and get the win light. Aaron Johnson is 18 green and dead on two to be 20 total. 18 pack beats a 20 pack. Neil's moving on. Aaron will have to come up and buy back in if he wants a shot at the big money. That's gonna bring up Brian Bennett and Dylan Moody. 444, the dial for Brian Bennett. 455, the dial for Dylan Moody. The Texans are going to have a little Wild West shootout here in round number one. 11 hundredths, the difference in the dial. Moody will get the opportunity to move first. And then Brian Bennett going to do the chase. 5,000 difference in reaction time. Wind light goes to Brian Bennett. 23, take 9,000 at the stripe to be 450 on a 444. Dylan Moody was 18 green and goes 463 on a 455 as Zach Clark and Keshin Fry. Keshin dialed in at 692 in the junior comp car. This has got to be the first time, not only 
that a junior comp car has stepped up to race in a race of this scale, but entering the million. Looking to see what they can do against Zach Clark. Clark dialed in at 461. Keshin dialed in at 692. Head start goes to the junior comp car. Advantage on the tree to Cash and Fry. The junior comper's gonna light up the scoreboard in round number one of the million. Cash in 19 green and 693 on a 692. He's one above to get there second. Zach Clark was 28 green, take 13 thou with the stripe, and goes 460 on a 461 to end up five thou under. Cash in. Gets the win light in round number one of the million. Don Seft and Chris Whitfield. Whitfield, your winner on Thursday. Dialed in at 463. Don Sefton coming down out of Bremerton, Washington. Part of the team out of the Great Northwest, one of those D6 players, dialed in at 463. So identical dials up on the scoreboard. We get our Washington versus Colorado battle. Chris Whitfield with the advantage and breaks out for the loss. Double breakout down at the big end of the racetrack. Whitfield was 008, Don Sefton was 025. Whitfield there first by 20 thousandths of a second to break out by 10 thou. Don Sefton follows him through and breaks out by 7 thousandths of a second. Wind light flashes on the left lane for Don Sefton. We'll bring up Carla Pontillo out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, traveling a long way to be here with a 455 dial going up against GTI. Gage the intern. Raced at juniors here at the Strip for a long, long time. Graduated out of the junior program and said, I'm not done with racing. Got involved with us up here in the tower. Started doing some announcing and helped us last year here at the Fling. But his dream has always been to race at the Million. Was able to enter one of the raffles. Is now here in round number one. And Gage Gilbert gets a win light in round number one. Carla Pontillo, 36 red. Goes 453 on a 455. Gilbert, 20 green and 494 on a 492. Sammy May, you're absolutely right. Catch and Fry Guard does look like a junior dragster because, well, essentially, it's one step up from a junior. It is a junior comp car. So in that junior comp car, they basically run on a 690 index. Motorcycle engines, they shift them, and Keshin's pretty darn good in that. Trevor Harkema, Michael Johnson. Johnson with a 483. Trevor with a 489. 600 the difference in the dial. 15 thousand the difference in reaction time. Trevor Harkema, 13 green, goes 490 on the 489 to get the win line. Michael Johnson was 28 green, take 10 thou at the stripe to break out by 11 thousandths of a second. As Johnny Carter. Did I say it's a junior, it's a junior comp car. I didn't say it's a junior junior. Junior juniors are junior juniors. Not like Carl's junior. Those are pretty cool. Those are pretty cool. Rocky Van Note and Johnny Carter. Van Note running in one of the Team Mosier cars. 469. Dial in for Rocky. 453. The dial for Johnny Carter. Wind light belongs to Rocky. 16 green and 
Dead on nine for Rocky Van Note. Johnny Carter, 29 green. Six above, 459 on a 453. So Rocky, get him, Rock. No, we're going to go with that, Rock. I was thinking more of, you know, if you get the opportunity to do a winner circle with Rocky Van Noten down there, be like, Rock, they was setups, Rock. <laughs> you ain't got what it, I can't remember that whole thing, but Mickey telling Rock, they was setups. You need that eye of the tiger. He's hungry. He'll hurt you. I'm going to go back and look at all that. Donovan Williams and Shane Thompson. Big matchup here. Shane Thompson dialed in at 458. Donovan dialed in at 478. Red, white start for Thompson by nine thousandths of a second. Win light to Donovan. 005 and 473 on a 478. Shane Thompson, after being 009 red, goes 455 on a 458. But a 9th out red light ends that one. As Johnny Ezell and Alexis Thompson. I'm going to roll up to the starting line. Johnny, 455. The dial in left side. Alexis Thompson, 462. The dial in on the right. Johnny was 22 green and goes 455 on a 459. Scoop rocking it to be dead on nine. Alexis Thompson, unfortunately, and what was been rare this weekend, has let go late. Was seven hun behind at the hit, goes 460 on a 462. Johnny B, Johnny Braggett Racer, JBR, whatever it is you want to call him. He's moving on to round number two is Spencer Massey and Eric Mann. Man and the Water Sucks team. Water Sucks. Out of Somerville, Georgia. Isn't that like a Summer Duck, Virginia? There's Summer Duck, Virginia, Somerville, Georgia. And then in my life, there's them days. Some are better than others. Spencer Massey dialed in at 466. Eric dialed 457. 10,000 separate them in reaction time. Win light to Eric. Double breakout ensues at the finish line. We've seen a bunch of those today. Massey was 11 green. Eric was 21 green. Man, gets their second to be 454 on a 457. Spencer Massey. Takes 18 thou at the stripe. And ends up with a 462 on a 466. There's J.P. Schuster and Thomas Wilson will be our next two to answer the question of how has the wind been today? It's been just about like perfect. It's been a light breeze. It's been a little bit of a tailwind breeze. Not much more than that. As we bring out our next set of contestants Thomas with the advantage at this end of the racetrack but but JP Schuster with a win light at that end of the racetrack Schuster was 21 green Thomas was double 05 had a little change in his pocket going jing -a ling a ling takes 24 thou at the stripe and breaks out by a bunch more there's Ryan Barnes Kyle Bigley Bigley, 453. Barnes dialed 455. Barnes and Bigley sitting back here just kind of gently making their way towards the starting line. Bigley's going to be the first one. To find that pre-stage bulb, a little uh, New Jersey versus Georgia, Brunswick, Georgia. 
You know, we asked the other day if uh, Winnebago's were made in Winnebago. They're not. Is that where they build all the bowling alleys? Brunswick? Maybe they make all the bowling pins there. Those little conveyor belts that bring the ball back to you. All made in Brunswick. Everybody's favorite number down there is 300. It could be. Could be. 14 foul separate them in reaction time. Wind light's going to belong to Kyle Bigley. Ryan Barnes was 005. Bigley was 19 green. Barnes take 38 thou at the stripe to break out by two thousands of a second. Barnes' most unfavorite number right now is two thou. Kyle Bigley, 19 green, two above. Getting their second to get the win light is Ken Nelson and Keith Thomas. Going to be our next couple of cars to take a swing at a win light in round number one of the million. Nelson, 450 is the dial. Head start will belong to Keith Thomas out of the right lane with that 502 number. And a red light start for Ken Nelson by five thousandths of a second. Keith Thomas, 29 green, dead seven. He gets to move on to round number two. Ken Nelson will have to fight his way back in through the re-entry round. Nelson, 448 on a 450 after the double 05 red light. Talk about those drivers that are double entered. We'll start to see a few of those popping their way in here now as Sugar Shane Carr. Dialed in with a 440. Colby Fuller dialed in with a 440. Again, we're going to see the tree drop at exactly, exactly the same time. Wind light goes to Colby Fuller on a hole shot. Look at that. Both drivers were dialed 4-4-0. Colby Fuller, 004, dead on two. Shane Carr was 10 green and dead on zero. Comes down to a four thousandths of a second margin of victory. Colby Fuller. Six total. Shane Carr, 10 total. Wind light goes to Fuller. Spectacular side-by-side -side drag race all the way down to the stripe is Ty Farmer and Jorge Covarrubias, Jr. Covarrubias, 457 is the dial out of the right lane. Ty Farmer, 488 is the dial out of the left lane. Eight thou separate him in reaction time. Advantage to Ty Farmer. Win light to Ty Farmer. Double 04 dead four is eight total. Jorge Covarrubias, 12 dead eight. No, no, no. Ay, ay, ay. 20 total for Jorge. Runs into an eight pack. Out of Ty Farmer is Joe Kittle and Josh Lutke. Lutke made it down into the semifinals, I believe, on Wednesday. Dialed in at 4.49 here this morning, and Joe Kittle out of Dalton, Alabama, 4.94. 4.95, excuse me, the dial for Kittle. Kittle's in and set. Lutke out of Indiana rolls in, is set. Ninth out. The difference in reaction time, wind, light, Lutke. 005, 13 thou above. Gets the scoreboard to light up on his side of the racetrack. Joe Kittle was 14 green. Take 10 thou down at the stripe and ends up with a 494 on a 495. To be six thou under is Troy Williams Jr., Trevor Larson. Trevor dialed in at 450. 
T-Dub dialed in at 467. Seven thou separate them. 008 on the tree for Troy Williams Jr. And then runs 487 on a 467. Trevor Larson was 001 green and then goes 457 on a 450. I felt like one of those races down there were like, nah, you, you, you go first. Nope, you first. After you. No, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till tomorrow. Trevor gets the wind light, moves on. It's Garrett Griffith, Mark Barnhart. Barnhart, right side in the dragster. Garrett Griffith in the Malibu? Huh. Red light start for Barnhart by 11 thousandths of a second. Let's just say the Malibu needed that one. 48 green runs 5.99 on a 6.02 dial. And yeah. Let's see what we got. Mark Barnard after being 11 red goes 4.61 on a 462 dial. Alec Bianco, Kevin Johnson. Racers, just a heads up that uh, kid performance in Dino, last man standing. Calcutta is almost sold out. Ticket sales are going to end at the end of round number one. So it's almost out. You're going to get your ticket. Get it now. Three thousandths the difference in reaction time. 5.10 on a 5.12 for Alec Bianco. Takes two hundredths plus at the stripe. Breaks out by two hundredths of a second. Kevin Johnson, 11 green. Dead six. To be 17 total. For the racer out of Draper, Utah. I'll bring up Lane Ingo. And Victor Clark. Lane Ingo had the second best overall package this morning. Got himself $2,000. Pretty much kind of offset the cost of the entry into the million. Right? Like, hey, my time run paid for my million. My time run also helped me out. 003 on the tree, holding 12 thou advantage in reaction time to be dead to three and six total. Was he five total in the run for the 50K and turns around to back it up with a six total lap here in round number one? Look out for lane. If you're in the lanes, don't get next to lane. He's got it going on. 15 dead on three for Victor Clark is 18 total. And an 18 pack not going to work out here in round number one is Jason Pad, Todd Coltrane. Coltrane right side, 464 dial. Jason Pad left side, 460 dial. And a 467 on a 464. We'll light up the scoreboard for Todd Coltrane. 004, three above for Todd. Jason Pad, 49 green. That doesn't work in round number one of the million. That's not going to work in round number two of the million. Let's say it's probably not going to work in round number three of the million. Definitely. Just saying. Brian Kennedy, Emily Garrard. Garrard 485 is the dial for the Chiliwack. British Columbia based car and Brian Kennedy out of Odessa, Texas. 
474 to a 485 head start goes to Emily out of the right side of the racetrack this time. As Brian Kennedy is in and set, Emily right there with him. Advantage by 22 thousandths of a second belongs to Brian Kennedy. He's going to go one above for the win. 12 and 15 thou above. Brian Kennedy gets the win light by a margin of 14 thousandths of a second. Emily was 34 green, dead seven. It's up essentially that 41 thou package and Brian Kennedy was just a touch better than that. So Kennedy lights up the board in this first go round is Paul Dowdy and Stephen Farrow. Steve dialed 479 right side. Paul dialed 480 left side. say this and I'll say it on behalf of probably all the racers red lights are ugly red is an ugly ugly color just ugly blue hay ball trait and ban ban right side 502 is the dial blue hay ball who has traded in the truck for a dragster here today. Hay ball dialed in 442 at Trayton. Dialed into the 502 at Trayton on the right side. It's blue on the left. Blue hay balls 22 green, 443 on a 442. Take two throw with a stripe to win it. Straight and ban, 502 on a 502 after the 038 reaction time. That won't work. So Blue Hayball gets the win light. We'll move on as Ryan O'Connor, Wyatt Wayman. Wayman has found his way back around and what will be a second entry in today's million. Ryan O'Connor. Out of Pinoca, Alberta, Canada. All right, fine, Canada. Eight thousandths of a second is the difference in reaction time. Win light will belong to Wyatt Wayman. Wyatt 11 green and three above. Take 21 thou at the stripe for the win. Ryan O'Connor, 19 green. And four hundredths of a second above the dial. This will bring out Jagger Anderson. I asked how that was pronounced. And my boys in Colorado sent a text and goes, pronounced Jagger like Mick. And at first, when I read it, I was like, wait, how is Mick and Jack? Oh, got it, Mick Jagger. That's perfect. Sean Schaefer dialed 460, your winner on Wednesday. Schaefer, 461 on a 460, oh, 31 green. Jagger was 28 green. And then goes 448 on a 445. Hello, nobody. You mean it's 422 as in like, is he really dialed 422? Yes. But that's not the quickest one on property if that's what you're asking. So the 455 number on the left side. Up there for Chandler Thyssen and Jessica. Bogaki now rolling up. 
462 the number on the right. Fourteen thousandths of a second separate them. And Jessica Bogacki lays down five total. Chandler Thyssen was 14 green, dead one to be 15 total. And pretty much just going for a joyride. Jessica, trip, zip, dead five. Puts her into round number two. You let go, you're 14, dead one, and just kind of going wee until, oh. So Jessica, triple zero, dead five, five total. Winner, winner. That'll bring up Justin Hoff and Alonso Sanchez. So with Justin Hoff, dialed 459, Alonso Sanchez dialed 482. Wind light's gonna belong to Hoff. 13 to a 16. Justin was 13 green, Alonso was 16 green. Alonso take two foul at the strike, breaks out seven foul. Justin get their second to break out by two thousands of a second. I'll bring up Chevy Reeves. And Marlon Goats. Marlon's got the 480 and a red light. Chevy Reeves got the 462 and a win light. Double below five and 464 on the 462 for Chevy. Marlon Goats, double 03 and goes 479 on the 480 for the victory. Excuse me, for the loss as he was double 03 red. Not daydreaming about something there real quick. You know what that I don't know. Maybe I have to try to find that out for you, Cindy. David Meyer and Tristan Craig. Four seventy seven is the dial for the machine. Tristan Craig dialed in at five thirteen. Tristan's in and set. The machine is there. Advantage by seven thousandths of a second to the machine. Wind light's going to go to Tristan. Ooh, four ten thousandths of a second. The margin. Tristan was 12. Dead two. David Meyer was five. Dead nine. And by four ten thousandths of a second, Tristan Craig gets the win light. Yeah, actually, Mr. Dixon, you're probably right. I was daydreaming a little bit about food. I was daydreaming a little bit about drawings. I was daydreaming a little bit about a lot of things. It was a can. Logan War, Chad Broom. Broom dialed for 91. Logan dialed for 56. Win light goes to Logan. 22 green and 457 on a 456 for Logan. 
We'll light up the scoreboard. Chad Broom is 10 green. Breaks out down at the big end for the loss. As Doug Johnson and Cooper Chunt. Cooper's dialed 502. Doug Johnson is dialed in with a 474. Again, round number one of the million is underway. By the way, buyback round, Larice Pro buybacks. Let's get you headed back into the staging lanes, please. Larice Pro buybacks. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Larice Pro. Let's get buybacks headed into the staging lanes. Doug Johnson is 008 red. Cooper Chun, 001 green. Cooper, 500 on a 502. Gets the win light. Doug Johnson was red by eight thousandths of a second. Runs 479. On a 474. Bring up Dalton Garo and Jeff Sarah. Sarah again. One of those uh, double entered cars. And if he wasn't before, when he won fifty thousand dollars, he said, "Yeah, I'll slap another two grand down." I'm pretty sure he was already, but I'm just saying. Why would you not? Four sixty four to a four fifty five. Garo is in and set out of Leduc. Red light start this time for Jeff Sarah. Last time was what, 004 green. This time 004 red. And then runs 464 on a 464. Dalton Garo, 21 green. 456 on a 455 as Clayton Mitchell and Jacob Stallworthy. Will be our next couple of cars. Jacob 444, Clayton Mitchell dialed 468. A little uh, Dresden, Tennessee versus Boise, Idaho. Red light start for Jacob Stallworthy, Clayton Mitchell. How about an 11 pack? Triple zero and 469 on a 468. Mitchell is 11 total. Stallworthy double 01 red and dead nine. Ooh. Ooh. Eric Golden. Greg Hicks. Sarah, to answer the question, I know it was a little while ago, but the wind is not bad. If you look down the racetrack, you can see those two flags that are flying just above the return road, but a lot of times those are not all that telling. They're just not all that telling because they get blocked by the grandstands. The one to really tell you how the wind is going is the one that's up above the arch and that American flag up there eh, it's still sticking straight out there's still a little bit of wind there but given the position and direction of the wind position of the grandstands it looks as if there is kind of almost nothing well we got the Computech race air cloud weather station in here there's no wind in here there's nothing. 20 thou separate them. Greg Hicks is 10 on the tree and dead on nine. To be 19 total. Eric Golden. 30 green. That's 30 green. 
take two foul at the stripe. It goes 460 on a 462. Jennifer, we will have our official call count at the conclusion of round number one. So the official car count will come at the conclusion of round number one. After we get everything figured out, we'll figure out how many cars actually went down in round number one. That will be our official car count. Until then, I can tell you it's more than four. And less than 4,000. Tyler Smith. Ryan Stifler. Stifler, 466 dial left side. Tyler Smith, dial 464 right side. Stifler's in and set. Here comes Smith. Thornton, Colorado, home base for Ryan. He's also got some pretty gorgeous door cars to go along with that drag. Three found the difference in reaction time. Wind light goes to Tyler Smith. Ryan with 16 green. Gets to the strike first by seven thousandths of a second and breaks out by four thousandths of a second. Tyler Smith was 19 green and runs dead on zero to get the W on his side of the racetrack is Joe Peters and Kyle Cotrera. Joe, who I believe was, again, our first pair down the racetrack, would not Turn on a wind light and see if he can do it here against Kyle Cotrera. Not exactly an easy task. Two foul the difference in reaction time. Wind light belongs to Ryan or to Joe Peters. Peters 16 green dead three. 19 total. Kyle Cotrera is 14. Takes six thou at the stripe to be one thou under. Oh. It's miserable. Miserable. Peters gets the win light there. Kaylee Hill, Carl Jones. Jones over to the right side. 473. The number that he is looking for. And the dragster out of Kansas and Kaylee Hill. The undercover car out of Colorado has decided that 473 is a good number as well. Why not? I want to be like you. I'm going to be 473. Oh. Third, I believe third, maybe fourth for perfect light. Here in round number one, that this one belongs to Kaylee Hill. Kaylee trip zip, take three thou at the stripe to be under by two thousandths of a second to get the win. Carl Jones was 15 green and 14 thou under the dial. So a perfect reaction time for Hill. Take three thou, ends up two thou under, win it on a double breakout. And bring out Josh Herman, Dave Mazier. Josh, left side, 445. Mazier, right side, dial 487. Josh is in trouble. Dave Mazier, 001. Take eight hundreds at the stripe and goes 488 on a 487 to get the wind light. Josh Herman was 82 thousandths of a second behind at the let go. And then runs 446 on a 445. So Josh is one above, but 82 thou was handed over to Dave Mazier. And Mazier is basically going to use that and go, you know what, that's just what I needed for my recipe for success. You know, you're sitting there tasting the dinner, you're like, needs a little something. Oh, I know what it needs. Give me a big head start. 
Mark Kidd, Michael Pennington, finish line. Mark Kidd, double o nine. And 450 on a 448. Double 09, take four thou at the stripe. Ends up 21 thou above for the win. Michael Pennington was 10 green. 464 on a 462. Mark Kidd gets the win light as Nacho Rivera. Logan Scrivener. George. We're going to do the hoo Instead of the hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's what you're thinking. 466 the down for Nacho. 44 the down for Logan. It doesn't look good. Nope. Logan just crushed Nacho's chips. Logan, 002, goes 47 on a 44, take 12 thou at the stripe. Nacho Rivera, 17 green, two above. And we'll walk away from round number one with no cheese. Super Pro Door Cars, odd and double cars for the buyback. Super Pro Door Cars, odd and double entered cars for the buyback. Let's get you... Headed in to the staging lanes, please. Super Pro Door Cars, odd, and double entered Super Pro Door Cars for the buyback round. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Peeps Pennington, Robert Butler. Butler dialed 469, Peeps dialed 460. Win light goes to Butler. 20 green and one above. 470 on a 469. Takes seventh out with the stripe against Peeps to get the win light. Peeps was 15 green and three above. Ends up going 463. On a 460 is Lee Dixon, Gabe Torres. Gabe on the left side, dialed 464. Dixon on the right side, dialed 451. And again, for those of you that uh, have asked a couple of times, well, I guess for a couple of you who have asked, we will certainly have a count and an official amount of what we are racing for following round number one. We're just going to go through and double check to make sure that all of the entries are in, set, done, and then we'll be able to announce the purse. Gabe Torres, 467 on a 464, was 27 green, and wins. Reaction time on the left side was, well, it started with a one. Wasn't great. Was not great. So Philip Pennington dialed 466. Max Mosier dialed 450. Mosier 004 red. Philip Pennington 002 dead zero. Max Mosier was 004 red dead zero. 450 on a 450 for Mosier. Dead on six after a 004 red light. Pennington is dead two to get the win light. I mean, if you're Max Mosier, that might help you feel a little bit better, knowing that, yeah, the guy next to me was going to be two total. Yeah, you know, hey, whatever. We got Leslie Dugas. We got Matt Lee. 
Matt on the right side, dialed 467. Leslie on the left side, dialed 468. Hey, door cars even, door cars even. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Door cars even. We've now called door cars odd and even. For the buyback round, door cars odd and even for the buyback round. Odd, odd, even, even, odd. Ah, it's odd. What's so odd about that? Leslie was 003 red, goes 468 on a 468. Matt Lee, 008, and then 475 on a 467. Winlight Lee is Corey Galitti and Tony Henderson. Henderson dialed 496. Corey Galitti dialed 435. You know, it could be. I get in here and hang around like all these different people for so long. You know. It's almost like you're hanging around from somebody with Minnesota too long. All right? 435 and a 435. Corey Galitti, 14 green, dead nine. Gets him a win light by 14 thousandths of a second. Tony Henderson was 25 green and one above. 496 on a 497. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What is this, Talon Farmer and... A 480 dial up on the left side of the racetrack. And then Dylan Moody and a 463 dial on the right side of the racetrack. Red light start for Moody by 14 thousandths of a second. Talon Farmer, 22 green and 479 on a 480. Oh, no, I'm not right. Most of the time. Aaron Johnson, 491 dial. Big Vin Domino, 454. Big Vinny is, is through in his first entry. As we are getting down to where we've got, uh, say, less than a lane's worth of dragsters back there behind the tower. I mean, we still got a little ways to go. but not far. 4,000 separate them in reaction time. Johnson was 009, Domino was 005, and he's gonna go dead on four to be 9,000 total. Aaron Johnson, 009, needed to be dead zero, ends up 489 on a 491. Vinny Domino, 005, dead on four. His nine total. So, Coy Collier, race kid. Collier dialed in 493. Race kid dialed in 465. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. Ever so gently. Into the staging beams. Well, let's see here. Let's go ahead and make our total tally of perfect reaction times here in round number one, like five. Race kid was trip, zip, and what was it that Severio said before? Went trip zero for nothing. Race kid, triple zero, 464 on a 465. Take 25,000 with the stripe to break out by nine thousandths of a second. 
Coy Collier was 10 green and dead six to be 16 total. Oh, man. Race perfect and heading to the buyback window. Tim Markaglue, Chris Whitfield, both in their second entries. Really? Really. Tim Markaglue's 004 and goes 441 on a 439. Chris Whitfield, perfect on the tree and one above to get there first by 15 thousandths of a second. So what, we went from what, five to was it six now? Perfect lights in round number one. Okay. Okay. The fight is on. Bodie Bennett, Alexis Thompson. Bennett on the left side, dialed 462. Alexis Thompson on the right side, dialed 461. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. Cody Bennett, five thou red. Alexis Thompson, 23 green, and goes 462 on a 461. All right. So we've got 17, I think she said 17 spots left in the last man standing Calcutta. They have opened it up. So if you'd like to reach out on Facebook and call Emily, so if you're listening in, you want to reach out on Facebook and call Emily? They've opened it up so that you can do that. Again, 17 spots left in the last man standing, Calcutta. We'll see what happens. Jordan Epper Jesse with that 434 dial, 467 the dial over on the right side of the racetrack. Wind light's going to go right lane, 468 on a 467. 10 on the tree, gets the win. Jordan, 84 green. Oof. Going to be a little bit late. Man gets the wind light, moves on. We'll bring out our next couple of cars in round at number one. Four to a million. 482 to a 502. I'm trying to see if I can recognize by the scoops. We get out there, 45, no good. For Donovan Williams. Wind light, 503 on a 502 after the 021 reaction time. John Angel, Rocky Van Note. Let's do it again. Once again, we should have all of our double entered and buyback door cars. Back in the staging lanes. All of our Larice Pro buyback cars are back in the staging lanes. Rockies dialed 469. John Angel dialed 460. And a double red light start. True start would not have changed it. Rocky was leaving first, went red by seven thousandths of a second. John leaving second, went red by two thousandths of a second.
But the wind light goes to John Angel by way of the red lights at this end of the racetrack. Nathan Martin, Kyle Bigley. Bigley, 455 dial right side. Nathan Martin, 465 dial left side. In set, gone. 20 thousandths of a second separate them in reaction time. Wind light's gonna belong to Kyle Bigley. Three total for Kyle Bigley, 002 dead on one. For Bigley. For Nathan Martin, he was 22 green and had uh, pretty much nothing he could do. Shane Thompson, J.P. Schuster. Thompson right side, dialed 456. Schuster left side, dialed 467. And the end of round number one of the Silver State Million is, oh, J.P., Shane. Brutal. Shane Thompson, 005, take 2,000 is one above. J.P. Schuster, 001, and two above the dial. Win light to Thompson by 22 ten thousandths of a second. Oof. John Parks, Chris Galitti. Galitti gets the win light. Both drivers leave early. True start. True start. Chris Galitti was leaving first, goes 003 red. John Parks was leaving second with a 444, goes 007 red. And Galitti ends up dead on four to get the win light after True Start made its decision and declared Galitti the winner. It's Mike Barber and Johnny Zell. Johnny on the left side. Barber on the right side. 4.58 and a red light start for Mike Barber. Johnny Braggeraser survives in both entries, 009. And then goes 4.48 on a 4.54. Barber, 4.58 on a 4.58. He's dead on eight, but was 29 thou red. At this end of the racetrack is Brian Bennett and Don Sefton. Sefton dialed 463. Bennett dialed 449. And at this point, as I'm watching, like, each pair. I mean, you can see kind of a couple of little straggler dragsters back in the staging lanes. And as each pair rolls up, it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sefton, 18 green and dead seven gets the wind light. And we'll advance into the next go. Like, here's one. Ooh. I believe it's Cortland Carter, because I think I see Johnny Carter standing out there. But it's Massey versus Carter. Spencer left side, 463 is the dial. Carter right side with a 460 dial. Seven thou the difference in reaction time. Spencer Massey, double 06, two above, take six thou at the stripe for the win. Johnny Carter was 13 green. 
and then goes 462 on a 460. The Calcutta is full up. Ryan Barnes and Steve McCrory. McCrory with a 468 dial. Ryan Barnes with a 453 dial. And a win light goes to McCrory. Four foul behind the green light and dead on seven. For Steve McCrory, Ryan Barnes 007. And then 454 on a 453. Win light by 15 thousandths of a second to McCrory. There's Tammy Peugeot and Mike Crater. Again, I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but nobody stopped me. Peugeot? Yeah. Well. Oh. Oh, but. Like, I could be wrong twice. Three times. Peugeot 462, Mike Crater dialed 440. Tammy with a reaction time that starts with a two. That's painful. 31 green and 452 on a 440 for Mike Crater. Ty Farmer and uh, Wayne Thornton. Wayne 474 is the dial. Farmer's got a 488 dial. And a red light start for Farmer. By six thousandths of a second, Ty turns it loose to be dead on three. He's red and dead on. Wayne Thornton, 20 green. And then goes 473 on a 474. We got Chad Broom rolling up here to take a swing at it. Down to our last four cars of round number one. Pro buybacks under the arch. Wind light belongs to the left side, 11 green and 442. On a 440, Chad Broom was 43 green, goes 429. Dead four, no good. And our final pair in round number one of the Spring Fling Million main event here on a Silver State Refrigeration Saturday. You got Val Torres Jr. rolling up on the left side, dialed in with a 468. Man rolling up on the right side, dialed 464, five thousandths of a second, separate him in reaction time when light turns on for Torres. Driving Caitlin's car. She probably said, Dad, I get a cut. Whatever we win, I get a cut. 14 and one above for Val Torres Jr. Man was 19 green, take 24 thou at the stripe to be one under. That does it 
for round number one. I believe they're working right now. We're going to try, if we can, to take care of some of our drawings. See what we can do. So as they're working with the uh, track prep to get us ready to go with a buyback round, we've got our Larice Pro buybacks under the arch. We've got our Super Pro door car buybacks sitting back in the staging lanes. And let's see what else we got. We've got drawings. We're going to go Facebook Live with it, if we can. But we don't have Emily. Well, guess what? We got Steve. We've got Steve. Steve is uh, Steve. Steve. Steve's had quite a week here in Vegas. Apparently, Vegas has had its impact on Mr. Riggins. And like many, Steve is yeah. So we got raffles for the uh, Dragster. We got raffles for the Computech Race Air Cloud Weather Station, right? Hi, Warren. Warren has found his way in here, and here's where we go. They're doing a little paperwork, calculating all of the final numbers all of that kind of stuff lella is back here wow they didn't they didn't waste much time at all they gave us like zero time you know what are we going to reschedule i think we should reschedule sorry we're going to reschedule the drawing we got cars racing to get back in for big money like big money we'll try again later no 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 i mean it makes sense right let's do it All right, so round number one has come to a close. We're going to reschedule our drawings because, well, we want to make sure we've got time to give them the credit that they're due. But more importantly, we want to make time that our racers who are on the racetrack get the credit that they are due because that's what we're here for. Round number two of the Spring Fling Million, excuse me, buyback round of the Spring Fling Million is underway. And Steve Riggins has found his way back to tell you all about it. Here I am. Thank you, Nate. So here we go. Bye back round. Charlie Lockhart, Mayfield, Kentucky, 588 left side. Craig Merrilies, Windsor, California, 644 right side. They're separated by five foul. Who's going to get their way back in the program? It's going to go to Charlie Lockhart. 33, one above two. As Merrilies, 38. Take 29 to go under by 22 foul. Had to take seven or less. No good. Lock guard back in the show. Jeff Devy, Kimberly Idaho, 585 the dial. Scott Heyer, Morrison, Colorado, five or sorry, 637 the dial. Right side. Jake, you're low. So the dental price is right. They'd be like, higher, higher. Yeah, it's higher than that for sure. Advantage, Jeff, left side. Wind line going to go to Jeff, 38. And two above. Scott Heyer was tardy and goes dead one, but no good. Jacob Phelps, Nampa, Idaho, 636 left side. Lucas Walker, Mayfield, Kentucky, 599 on the right side.
Dragster Doubles, we will take you first to the lanes for the buyback round. All other dragsters, you're on standby. Dragster Doubles only will take you to the lanes for the buyback round. Dragster Double Buybacks will take you to the lanes. 1 to a 19 advantage, Lucas Walker, but no. Lucas, 1, take 19 to be under by 10 thou. Jacob Phelps under by 9 thou and gets the win lane. Cliff Hall, Carmichael, California, 6'11 in the Maverick. Jeff Peterson, Fort Lupton, Colorado, 6'90 in the right side of the Mustang. Philip Blake, I don't know the number, but we will. But I knew it was higher than what he had said. 15 fouls separate him. Double breakout. Wind light goes to Cliff Hall. 43 take two to be 11. Goodness. 21 foul under. Jeff Peterson was under by 34 foul. Wind light goes. Cliff Hall. Henry Robertson, 671 the dial left side. Michael Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, 636 right side. red for Michael Johnson. Give the automatic win to Henry Robertson. Not where he wanted to be on the starting line. He's 50, but it doesn't matter. Go 682 on the 671. That was a uh, opportunistic time for Henry Robertson. Kyle Lapier racing for Cleve Randall. Apparently he is the solo here in the Buyback round on the Larice Pro side. So Kyle up here, continuing to race for Cleve Randall, and he'll move on. Back of the show for the million here on Silver State Million. Saturday, the Mosier Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. He's 25 on the starting line, and goes 691.8 on the 694. Justin Mosier, Portland, Indiana, Mosier Engineering Roadster on 523 left side. That fast cavalier of Daryl Hemley, Burley, Washington, 453 the dial. Red light start for Mosier, 13 red. He's gonna not like that. As Hemley's 43 and one above, Mosier knocks it dead too after being 13 red. Rob Mosier, Portland, Indiana, 495 left side. Randy Cloud, Galt, California, 573 the dial. turns it red by 11th out. Randy Cloud, 15, one above seven, 32 total. Rob Mosier, 496-2 on the 495. Jesse Long, Woodstock, Georgia, 667 in the left. Nathan Bradford, Calispell, Montana, 602 the dial. Sixty-five hundred ten star goes to Jesse Long, left side. And 
and he loses about 9,000. Here comes Nathan Bradford. Went light, goes to double breakout. Bradford, 39 and under by 7,000. Jesse was 48, take 13, but under by 29,000. So Nathan Bradford moving back in the show. Yes, Philip Blake, it does. Starting with third round win. Philip, starting with third round win. Kyle Fritz, Cottonwood, Arizona, 675 left side. Jason Mercer, Chestamere, Alberta, Canada, 664 of the dial. Give it up 11 hunt. Three foul separate him. Who's gonna get the win line? It's going to be double breakout Kyle Fritz. 16 and under by 19 foul. Under by 24 foul and taking the loss is Jason Mercer. He took two, there wasn't much different he could do with that, it just didn't fall his way. So Kyle Fritz back to round two. Separate him. Andy Small, Calvin, Tani. Tani, your winner. Taking uh, taking that Nova to another win line. 26, take 11 to be one above two. 38 total. Small, 25, two above. No good. to a 20, win line where you at, 19 dead five. Hernandez, 20 and eight foul under. your phone we have one that is turned in it was found on the return road if you've lost your phone and you're looking for it come and just tell, come and tell us what picture is your uh, like your cover photo on your phone and we'll get it back to you Ken Suio Andrew Di Piazza fourth house separate him up front finish line wind light goes to Di Piazza 22 take nothing 410 foul going one above for the wind light Suio 18 one above four close but no good so again, if you lost your cell phone, it was, there was one found on the turn road turned into us. Come here and let us know what your cover photo is, and we'll get it back to you. Damon Bustamante, Upland, California, 613 left side. Matt Dadas, Norwalk, Ohio, on a 620 right side. All right, we'll now take Dragster Odd, Dragster Odd. And we've already called the doubles, but Dragster Odd and doubles, you should be making your way to the lanes at this time. For the buyback round, Dragster Odd and doubles for the buyback round. You should make your way here. Dragster's even, you can hang back a little longer. 
Oh boy, Gaddis is not gonna enjoy that one at all. Double or one red and two under and his opponents, oh, 72 and two above. Ouch. Doug McCarty, Hazelhurst, Georgia, McCarty Auto Parts, Oldsmobile on a 604, Jeremy Waterman, Hera, is it Hera, Washington? Lies the casino? That's what we're going with. Hera, Washington, 535, the bug lights it up, 5 thou red. Jeremy Waterman, 14, and one above. Bug takes a foot out of it, goes 617. Garrett Griffith, swapped rides. Manuel Hernandez Jr. with the advantage and the win light, 001. It take 18 to be 8 thou under. Garrett's under by 19 thou. Hey, uh, just, to, just a heads up for those of you with your golf carts, uh, Fire Marshal Code does not allow us to have golf carts in or under the grandstand area. So we've got to uh, please park it outside of the uh, fenced area there by the grandstand. So if you are on the golf cart, please, I know you probably don't know. So just uh, don't want to get in trouble with the Fire Marshal. Never, never a good conversation. So you can help us out. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate that. So we are in the buyback round of our Silver State Million Saturday. We've made the call for odd dragster buybacks and double buyback dragsters. We've made the call to you for the lanes. Even dragsters, you can hang back a little bit, but odd numbered dragsters and double buyback dragsters, you should be in the lanes at this time. So short pause, and then we'll get right back in the door cars. Thanks, everybody, who's uh, watching us on the Flames Race Series YouTube channel. Over 2,400 of you are watching. A little less than half of you have liked it, about 1,100. So need to boost those up. We're still only about 4,150 subscribers. We're about 850 short of our goal of 5,000 on the weekend. So... If you are new here and you're watching and going, what in the heck's going on, do us a favor. Like it, share it, but most of all, just keep watching. But uh, we want you to share it with all your friends and let everybody know what's going on over here at the Flings Race Series. New format for streaming the race, and I think, uh, I think it's been received very, very well. The positive comments and feedback we received is much appreciated for one, but we also we want to know. You know what we can do better. What's uh, what's working? What's you know we'll figure out what's working, what's not working, and 
and change it as we go. That's the fluid part of being able to have your own platform to be able to do that. So thank you all for being here, tuning in, and, and hanging out with us here on the Fling Race Series YouTube channel, live from the Strip of Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million, presented by Optimal Batteries. But if you would, do us a favor, reach over, hit that thumbs up. Let's boost those numbers and boost our awareness and boost our reach. So here we go, back at it. 616 the dial left side, Hank Premoff, our Vada, Colorado, 571 the dial. Five seventy one to a six sixteen. So forty five hundred head start. Almost one whole bulb on the Christmas tree. Going to the left side. Oh boy. One to a twenty nine. Finish line. Oh Hank. Six total end to end. One dead five. Wow. Hank said, let's go. Wow, that's cool. Had to, Hank had to get a jump start, and then he uh, he jump started right there on the starting line, too. So that's, uh, must have got his adrenaline rushing a little bit, but gets a jump start back in the lanes, and then all of a sudden he's one dead five. All right, we found the phone. Owner, Gary Williams turns it 2,000 red. Luis Pena Sr. gets the win line, 38 dead zero. Williams under 575 and red. So that looks like the, from what I can see, that looks like the end of our buyback door cars. No? Oh, okay. All right. I was just looking at my, you know, my candid camera over here in the lanes. I'm like, I didn't see anything with doors over there. Jason Mercer, we need you to the lanes now. Jason Mercer, we need you to the lanes now, please. Jason Mercer, got to have you now. So Jason Mercer, we need you now, please. Jason Mercer, we need you now, please. All right. So looks like we got Jason. So, so we may have a pair left. So real quick, uh, broom of the racetrack. And then I think we got one pair of door cars left. And they are coming around the tower now. And then we'll be ready to go to dragster buybacks.
So we'll say one more pass with the tractor. And we'll be good to go. All right, got a uh, chat bleacher shout out. Well, I guess it depends, Brian. Have you have you liked the page yet? Have you liked the stream yet? If you haven't liked the stream yet and shared it, I, I can't do your shout out. <laughs> Just kidding. So Brian Hampton says, "Hey, shout out, happy birthday, Susan and oh boy, is that Cole Reed?" Watching from Lexington, Kentucky. So happy birthday. So happy birthday. Thanks for uh, tuning in from Lexington, Kentucky. All right, before we get asked 700 more times in the chat land or before you all wonder any longer, what is this, what is this race going to pay? How many cars did you have? So here is the official car count number after round number one. So the car count for the Silver State Million Saturday is 296. So that means our prize today, you're racing for $325,000. Going to be a heck of a payday. That's right, and I am not racing for $325,000. And if I was, you'd have got another 500 out of me. Cause oh, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I'd have been good for a buyback. But racers, we really appreciate you guys showing up. And... Uh, Taking a shot at the million here. Usually it's hard to get 50, 60 percent of the entrance on a property to to be in a million. And that's usually the number between 50 and 60 percent. And we got a little bit over 75 percent, which was the goal of this format. So thank you guys so much. It's kind of like a juggling match. You don't want to overload the other days, but you want enough in the big day. And it worked out. And I got to give a shout out, a special shout out to Big Bobby Domino and a good friend of mine, Anthony Center. Anthony, we're out here with Uncle Mike. We're thinking about you, bud. We're going to have to bring you out here one of these days.
Dan Golby, Cold Lake, Alberta, 671 dial. Stephanie Kumit, Morrison, Colorado, 665 the dial. Fifteen to an eighteen. Three thousand separated them. Wind light goes. Stephanie, eighteen dead two twenty total. Dan was fifteen take fifty eight, but goes under by fifty three thousand. Had to take five or less. And David Phillips on the solo. All the way out of North Las Vegas, Nevada. He's 30 on the starting line. Looking for a 679 and goes, yeah, 698. So here we go. Into drags to buybacks. Ryan Stifler, Thornton, Colorado, 465 left side. Dylan Moody, El Paso, Texas, 460 the dial. Fourteen. Win light. Stifler. Double O three. Dead six. Nine total. Dylan Moody. Fourteen. One above zero. Victor Clark. Four eighty two. Left side. Alonzo Sanchez. Four eighty. The dial on the right. So double O two red and Victor Clark is trip zip perfect dead five. Victor Clark puts five total end to end. Alonzo two red four above. We will now take dragster even for the buyback round. Dragsters even for the buyback round. So all buyback dragsters, you have now been called. All buy dragster buybacks, you have been called. Leslie Dugas, Midlothian, Texas, 469 the left side. Joe Kittle Jr., Dalton, Alabama, 497 the dial. Four thou separate them. Win like Kittle, 16 dead one, taking five thou. Dugas, 20 dead two, no good. Kittle Jr. moving on. Dennis Lithgow, Mansfield, Texas, 462 in the left side. Race Kid, Boise, Idaho, 464.
17 foul separate of advantage race kid, win light race kid, 11, one above one, 22 total, locks out Lithgow, 28 and 12 foul under. Braden Helena, 470 left side. Carl Jones, 472 in the right side. Red light start for Braden Helena. Win goes Carl Jones, 11 dead seven, 18 total. Helena goes dead on six, but the red light start in that. Gene, uh, yes. J.P. Schuster, Vienna, Ohio, 469 left side. Mark Barnhart, 462 right side. Double O nine's a pair. Finish line. When like goes right side, Mark Barnhart. Double O nine dead seven. Sixteen total is Schuster. Double O nine takes sixteen to be nine thou under. Had to take seven or less. Jordan Epper Jesse, Lake Dallas, Texas, four thirty four in the left. Jeremy Cisneros, Albuquerque, New Mexico, four fifty the dial right side. Nine on eleven, win light, Cisneros, thirteen total, double oh nine, dead four, Jordan eleven, take ten to be under by eight thou. Had to take two to get the win light. No good. Jeremy Cisneros moving on. Bodie Bennett, Shallow Water, Texas, four sixty three in the left. Logan Scribner, Sherwood, Oregon, on a four eighty five. Seven to a 26, advantage, Bodie. Win light, no, Bodie. Seven, take 33 to be under by six thou. I had to take 27 or less. Scrivener gets by, 26, dead eight. John Parks, Cadillac, Michigan, 445 left side. Jessica Bogacki, Carterville, Illinois, 460 the dial. Right side, gonna leave 1500 head start. Double, oh, eight's a pair. Win light, Bogacki. As John Parks, double, oh, eight, takes 16 to be six thou under, had to take 10 or less. Jessica puts it 10 thou above and lights the win light here in the buyback round. Josh Herman, Pueblo, Colorado, 445 in the left. Zach Clark, Mission, British Columbia. I wanted to say Mission Barbecue. Mission, British Columbia, 459, right side. 1400 head start goes to Zach.
And Zach turns it red. Josh was late. That goes 100 Thunder. Moving on. Zach two above, but the 007 red light ends his time. Scott Anderson, Brighton, Colorado, 443 left side. Christopher Northrup, Gleason, Tennessee, 520 the dial. Lights up the wind light, 11 and three above, taking 27. As Scott was three above, but 34 on the starting line. Put him in a hole, no good. Lee Dixon, Chesterfield, Virginia, 451 left side. Jorge Covarrubias, Jr., Baja, California, Mexico. On a 457, getting 600, it's head start. Up red. Jorge left first, turns it red. He's thinking, oh man. And then Lee turns it red. Lee turns it red by Moore. So Jorge Corrubius Jr. gets the win light, moving back at the program. Cortland Carter, Hobbs, New Mexico, 462 in the left side. Chad Broom, Fort Worth, Texas, 491, right lane. Fourteen fouls separate him. Win light. Chad Broom, double breakout. Fifteen take ten to be seven foul under. Cortland Carter's eleven foul under. No good. Chad Broom, your winner. Tim Markaglu and Jim Glenn. Wind light goes Tim Markaglu, the double red light. Josh Buer, Lake Preston, South Dakota, 473 left side. Shane Thompson, Henderson, Nevada, 458 right side. All right, attention the pits, attention the pits. Got a racer in need. Hank Pramoff is in need of a 16 volt jump box. He's having a little trouble with the hot rod and would like to use a 16 volt jump box. If you can help him out, let Hank know or let us know. But Hank Pramoff is in need of a use of a 16 volt jump box. If you can help him out, let him know or let us know so we can keep him racing today. So a 16 volt jump box for Hank Pramoff. Josh Bueller turns a five foul red. Shane Thompson, 14 and 14 foul under.
All right, hey, just a heads up, you pro racers. Seven uh, Larice pro drivers have been randomly selected to draw a prize from the pro treasure chest. You can win $500, a Mazir starter, Mazir water pump, impact helmet, ATI converter. So uh, you're going to get one of those prizes, so it's it's awesome deal. So Larice pro drivers, you've been... There's seven of you been randomly selected. The seven drivers have been sent an alert. Let's get this race. Aaron Johnson, Nathan Martin, Advantage Johnson, Winlight Johnson. 12 dead, 8, 20 total. Nathan Martin, 31, locked out. No good. So those seven drivers, Caroline German, Michael Bullard, Jason England, Bug McCarty, Dan Whelan, Jacob Phelps, and Tony Price. So you're going to come up here and you're going to draw, and you'll get one of those prizes. So those seven drivers, we need you to come to the Diva Desk and you can uh, claim your prize. Like I so said, you're just going to randomly draw a prize and you're going to get one of those. So $500, a Mazir starter, a Mazir water pump, an impact helmet, or an ATI converter. You cannot go wrong with any of that. So congratulations to the Reese Motorsport Insurance Pro Treasure Chest. Drawing has happened and those texts have been sent out. So come and draw your prize. Mike Coulter and Michael Pennington, Advantage Coulter and Winlight Coulter. 002, two above, 447 on the 445. Pennington a little late, dead one, cannot get it done. Hey, congratulations, Scott Heyer. You've won a case of ATI transmission fluid for your hard luck during the million buyback round at Larice Pro. So, Scott Heyer, you've won a certificate for a case of ATI transmission fluid for your hard luck during the million buyback round in Larice Pro. Also, don't forget, racers to uh, make sure that you close your tabs if you uh if you are done for the weekend please make sure and come close your tabs we can get all those administrative things handled and taken care of and do all of that so if uh you're still in the program today we understand that but if you're not you're going to be heading out soon first off we wish you safety getting home but we'd ask you to please come and close your tab get that all settled up um, before you do so so there's my public service announcements for now Alec Bianco, 510 left side, Sugar Shane Carr. Killing Alabama, 441 right side in the Thompson machine. Three to a not three. Advantage Sugar. Win light, Sugar Shane. 003, one above three. 14 total. Alec was late. Dead three. Cannot get it done. Oh, well, yeah, so again, sorry on those Larice Pro drivers. You did not get a text. Um, I got a text. So listen up again. These seven drivers, you can come to the Diva Desk and draw for one of the uh, prizes in the Larice Pro treasure chest. So again, Caroline German, Michael Bullard, Jason England, Bug McCarty, Dan Wheeland, Jacob Phelps, and Tony Price. Come to the Diva Desk. You've got a prize coming. In the Larice Motorsport Insurance Pro Treasure Chest. Corey Galetti, 006, two above, 437. Max, Tardy, and one above. Spencer Massey, Fort Worth, Texas, 464 left side. Tony Henderson, Vermilion, South Dakota, 496 the dial. Tony Henderson turns it a foul red. Spencer Massey, 009, dead two, 11 total. Henderson was under by six foul after the red light.
Jeremy Soares, Brian Bennett. Soares had him doubled up against the wind lights. 16 dead, three, 19 total, taking seven. Brian was 32, broke out trying to get there. Still could not and under wind light, Jeremy Soares. Kyle Colchera, Elliott, Maine, 478 left side. Michael Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, 482 right side. Fifteen to a seven advantage, Michael Johnson. Win light gonna go to Michael Johnson. 007 and two foul under. Coltrera under by fourteen foul. Philip Pennington, Pop, Texas, four sixty seven left side. Amy Farrow, Chattanooga, Tennessee. 469 the dial. Red for Philip Pennington, Amy Farrow. 43 and two above, but moving on. Ken Nelson, Hayden, Idaho, 451 left side. Chris Galetti, Tom Ball, Texas, 453 the dial. So 200 head start goes to Chris Galetti on the right side. Chris Galitti turns it three red. Ken Nelson, 13, five foul under. Galitti, 10 foul under after the red light. Ty Farmer, Tuscola, Texas, 488 left side. Skylar Burichko, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 469 the dial. in some trouble. Oh, well, we had trouble both sides. <laughs> That's uh, in the next chapter of neither one appeared to be trying to win. Skyler had uh, over two tenths on the starting line, but then goes way over. And Ty Farmer's reaction time starts with a three and goes three above and gets the win. 352 pack for the dub. Okay. All right. 
Got a racer in need, racer in need. Calvin Tani is looking for a uh, anyone who's willing to sell him some methanol. So the yellow good looking Nova, they missed the fuel truck and they are looking for anyone who's willing to sell him some methanol. So Calvin Tani, the yellow Chevy 2, is looking for some anyone who's willing to sell him some methanol. They missed the fuel truck and they need some fuel. So if you can help them out, it's the yellow good looking Chevy Nova. So Calvin Tani, help him out, sell him some methanol, please. John Angel, Bowbridge, Louisiana, 459 left side. Jeff Sarah, Adamstown, Pennsylvania, already collected 50 large today for that Brodix run for the 50K. Perfect run. He'll get a win light here as well, 16, two above, as John Angel had the tree, had him doubled up, 008, but takes 31 to be two thou under, and Jeff Sarah dodges a bullet there on the uh, major drop. If you look at the mile an hour, it's uh, they're 800s apart, and Jeff's 10 mile an hour down from John Angel. So he he let him uh, he, he fed him a lot of that. Gary Wombolt, Arvada, Colorado, 460 in the left side. Jacob Stolworthy, Boise, Idaho, 446 in the right. Can Stolworthy get there? Finish line says yes. Double 07, dead 411 total. Wombolt, 18, gets there first by seven, but under by 14 foul. No chance. Ryan Barnes, Brunswick, Georgia, 452 on the left side. Wyatt Wayman, South Jordan, Utah, 423 right side. Separate and went by Wyatt Wayman, 008, one above eight, 31 total. Barnes, 13, take 23 to be 10 thou under. Had to take 13 or less. Awesome. All right, so Calvin Tani is taken care of. So Calvin Tani's got fuel. I got milk. Tani's got fuel. We're good. Everybody's happy. Joe Peters, Greenville, Texas, 479 left side. Mike Barber, Royersford, Pennsylvania, 459 in the right side. 13's a pair. Win light goes Mike Barber, 13 take four to be one above one, 24 total. Joe Peters, 13, one above five, no chance. Mike Crater, Beaufort, Beaufort Texas, 442 in the left. Alexis Thompson, Henderson, Nevada. 8 foul, separate them. Alexis with the advantage, but not the win light. Mike Crater, 22, one above zero, taking five foul. Alexis, 14, and two above.
All right, Calvin, hey, uh, looks like you got taken care of, but if uh, something happens and you need more, uh, Dustin Wirtz has some as well. Brian Watts has some methanol, so it looks like you kind of got a list here, Calvin, so if you, if you need more, then we know where more is. Thomas Wilson, 002, one above three, 15 total. Troy Williams, Jr., 10. Take six to be a thou under. I start Chris Whitfield, 001 red and ninth thou under. Talon Farmer, 40, dead four. So it looks like Jennifer Ween's got Calvin hooked up, but like I said, Calvin, if you end up needing more, there's other options as well. So just reach back out again and we'll steer you in the right direction. But we're glad you're handled for now. Nacho Rivera, 469 left side. Robert Butler, Citrus Heights, California on a 470. 005 to a 10. They're side by side. Wind line comes on for Robert Butler as Nacho, 005, take 18 to be six thou under. Had to take 12 or less. Robert Butler, 10, dead seven, lighten up the wind line. Jason Pad, Chestermere, Chestermere, Alberta, Canada, 461 left side, Marlon Goats, Troy, Texas, 480 the dial. Jason is 11 and 11 behind. Marlon Goats, uh, trip, zip, dead six. Wow, Jason's 11, take two. You're thinking, man, that's awesome. I'd love to be 11, take two. Except you're seventh thou under and you had absolutely no chance of winning. Goats, six total, end to end. And he'll get that Kyle Cycle. Coin. That's actually incorrect. That's during the 30s. That's my fault. Misspoke. The triple zero hero coins are during the 30s, not during today. Oh, no, that is right. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is that is correct. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we're good. So he will get Kyle Seipel triple zero hero coin. Eric Golden gets a win light. 25 dead zero. Matthew Grayson, 10. Take 20 to be 5 thou under, had to take 15 or less. All right, those of you chiming in the chat, bleachers again. The, uh, as you can see, the post there, 296 is the count, the official car count for the Silver State Million. So $325,000.
All right, so Calvin Tani made the trip up here just to say thank you to everybody. He said they have people coming at him from all directions with methanol, and uh, he wanted to say thank you. So thanks to everybody who offered and reached out to Calvin, and he is taken care of on fuel for the time being. So thank you so, so much. Again, racers helping racers. Gary Williams, Carl Jones, 5 to a 10. Finish line, who's it going to be? Light it up for Cheetah. 005, dead 6, 11 total, taking 14. Carl Jones is 10, one above 5. Jagger Anderson, Brighton, Colorado, 446 in the left. Jordan Edward Jesse, 434 right side. Eleven red for Jagger. Win goes Jordan Edward Jesse, 22 and 10 thou under. Taylor Tyson, 455 left side. Dylan Moody, El Paso, Texas, 461. Three fouls separate him. Went like going to go to Chandler Tyson as Dylan Moody was 14, take 11. That goes a foul under. Had to take 10 or less. Chandler Tyson, 17, dead 7 for the win line. Victor Clark, Boise, Idaho, 482 left side, race kid. Also out of Boise, Idaho, on a 466. Seven foul separate him. Win line going to go left side. Victor Clark, 10 dead, zero. Nasty, 10 total. Race kid, 17 dead, five, and just uh, riding along. Victor Clark returning. David Meary, Sheridan, California, 478 left side. Aaron Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, 490 in the right side. David turns it red by 9 thou. Aaron Johnson, 29. And under by 21 thou. David, 476.
Tammy Peugeot is in trouble. Wind light right side, 002, three above. Pete's Pennington, 461 left side. Ryan Stifler, Thornton, Colorado, 465 right lane. 400 head start goes to Ryan. Hey, welcome from Brisbane, Australia. Glad you're enjoying watching. We appreciate having you here. Appreciate having everybody here. Let's uh, let's push those likes up. We're only at 1,200. We've got 2,400 people watching. So 1,200 have not. So help us out. Hit the like button. Let's push our likes up. Peeps, Stifler, 8 to 22. Wind light goes to Peeps. 008, dead 7, 15 total. Locks out Ryan, who's 22 and 2 above. Leslie Dugas, Johnny Carter, big advantage left side. Win light, Leslie, 14, one above. Johnny, late. Oh, manga. It's not interesting, it's scary. It's like, wait, he's talking about me. Exactly, Ed. It's exactly right. John Parks, Cadillac, Michigan, 444 left side. Ryan Barnes, Brunswick, Georgia, 454. 12 pounds separate him. Wind light going to go to Ryan Barnes, 15, dead six, taking two as John Parks had 12 foul, was 003 on the starting line, but goes two above. So we'll give the wind light to Ryan Barnes. Nathan Martin, 465, left side. Emily Gerard, 486, in the right side. No, Chris, do not. Nathan Martin in control. Nathan Martin with the wind light. 15, take 22, goes two above nine. 44 total. Emily Gerard was locked out on the starting line. 49, one above seven. Well, look, it's Charlie Lockhart, 588 left side. Tyler Rush, Parma, Idaho, 617.
All right, so Larice Motorsport Insurance Pro Round 2. Do want to give a shout-out to Carrie from Larice for uh, being here the last couple of days and walking through the pits. And, and I know she's getting some quotes for some people. We want to thank Larice Motorsport Insurance for their involvement here with the Mosier Spring Fling Million. Win light, double breakout, goes to Charlie Lockhart. He was late, but he goes seventh thou under. He had a foul in his pocket on the starting line. Tyler Rush, under by 16th thou. Cannot get it done. We are now in Larice Pro, round number two. And I'm going to step away for just a few minutes. I'm going to let Nate Hershey take you for a little bit, and I'll see you all soon. Well, thank you very much, Steve Riggins. This is Brian King and Kyle Lapeer. We'll be our next two to go head-to-head. -head. Kyle on the right side. Dialed in with that 691. Brian King on the left side. Dialed in with that 582, and we are in two. Larice Insurance Pro, round number two of the Silver State Refrigeration and HVAC Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. Both drivers leave red 11 thousandths of a second. Comes down to the little, little, little numbers. Wind light goes to Brian King. 586 on a 582. Lapeer left 11 red. Brian King left 11 red. But King will stay standing. Lapeer 660 on a six or 690 on a 691. For Lapeer. 586 on a 582 for Brian King. Let's bring up Jay Griner and Andy Schmall. Racers, your attention, please, your attention, please, racers. We will now take doubled dragsters. Double dragsters, if you are still doubled. Let's get you headed into the lanes for round number two. Double entered dragsters only, please. Double entered dragsters only, please. Andy Schmall, last year's million dollar man. Dialed in at 594 on the right side, going up against Jay Greiner. Greiner dialed in at 693. Andy dialed in at 594, 12 thousandths of a second. The difference in reaction time, wind light will belong to Jay Greiner. Reiner, 16, dead seven. Gets a win light here in round number two. Andy Schmall was double 04 on the tree. Take 25 thousandths of a second at the stripe. And breaks out by seven thousandths of a second. 593 on the 594. Griner is moving on. And you can watch down there on the starting line. As each round win starts to pile up, the celebrations from teammates, crew, family get a little bit more ecstatic. Tony Price going up against Cliff Hall. Cliff on the left side, dialed 611 in the Maverick. Tony Price on the right side in the Nova. Dialed in at 590. 21 thousandths the difference in reaction time. Win light goes to Hall. 009 dead one to be 10 total for Cliff. Tony Price gets locked out with that 030 reaction time. And runs 591 on a 590 as Scott Taylor and Mark Fall. Mark in the El Camino out of Tacoma, Washington. Was one of our finalists on Thursday in the pro category. Looking to get it done against Scott Taylor. Taylor off and away into the Chevelle out of Montana. Mark Fall. Trying to hold on, fall is double, 03, dead eight to be 11 total, take six down with the strike. Fall puts up an 11 pack. Scott Taylor was 21 on the tree and goes 671 on a 672. So Mark continuing to charge through the pro field as our next two is gonna be Brian Cerruti and Jeff Devy. Devy with a 585 dial, Cerruti with a 634 dial. The Camaro coming in out of Ohio. The Cavalier coming in out of Idaho. Red light start for Jeff by 19 thousandths of a second. Wind light goes to Cerruti, 11 and dead eight. Cerruti is 19 total here in round number two. Jeff was 19 red, goes 587 on a 585. And that'll bring up Curtis Enzalita and Dennis Paz. Paz in the El Camino, 672 is the dial. The Roadrunner for Curtis out of Flagstaff, Arizona, dialed in with a 590.
as Curtis Inzalita with that 590 number. Dennis Paz with a 672. Stage, set, go. Both drivers leave green. Five thousandths of a second is all there is between them on the starting line, and the wind light will turn on for Mr. Dennis. 672 on a 672. He's 10 dead five to be 15 total. Zinzalita was 15 on the tree. Needed to run 5900, ends up running 593. Down to the big end of the racetrack is Jacob Phelps, Henry Robertson. Robertson in a borrowed car. Did some damage to stickers earlier on in the week. Is now dialed in at 672. Phelps with a 634 red light start for Henry. By six thousandths of a second, Henry fouls it away. Runs 676 on a 672, but Jacob Phelps, 68 green and 643 on a 634. Going to get him a win light. Out of that left lane is Bug McCarty. Pulls up to the starting line left side. Bug celebrated a birthday yesterday. Wants to make it a very happy birthday week, but he's got to get around Donnie Hager. Hagar, 634 dial on the right side. Bug McCarty, 605 dial on the left side. Red light start for Donnie in the pickup truck by four thousandths of a second. Bug is 22 green and goes 603 on a 605. So McCarty picking up a win light here in Larice Insurance Pro Round number two is Jason England. Going to be our final car down the racetrack out of Benton, Kentucky. 582, the number on the board for the smoked out Mustang. Mustang bumps it in. Tickles on the bottom half of those blue LEDs and leaves with an 072 light. Goes 578 on a 582. After the 072, that is going to put a wrap on pro round number two. So Larise Pro is in the books. Our super pro door cars are sitting under the arch. And again, dragsters, if you are doubled, dragsters, if you are doubled, we need to get you into the staging lanes, please. The rest of you are on standby, but dragsters, if you are doubled, let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Make sure that you've made your way in there. Again, we're getting ready to go into Biondo. Round number two. Again, thanks to our round sponsors putting up the best losing package awards. Pinella Race Engines, our sponsor in round number one. Again, remember on our Wednesday, Thursday, basically on our 30K days, best losing package was $500. On Million Day, which is Million Day Saturday now, best losing packages are going to get $1,000. Again, remember, if you are one of our seven pro drivers who were selected out of that... Uh, random draw we want to make sure that you have had your opportunity to get up here and pick your prize again we're talking about that larice insurance pro treasure chest we've got seven prizes that are going to be drawn randomly out of a hat and the seven drivers that get a chance to do that are carolyn german michael bullard jason england bug mccarty dan whelan jacob phelps and tony price Obviously, if you are still focusing on your racing program, we want you to focus on that. But if you are not, we want to go ahead and make sure that you get a chance to get up here and draw your prize. So once you have time, I want to get you up here and get you a chance to draw. We've got, uh, again, cash that's going out, impact helmets, Mazir prizes, as well as ATI converters. They're all part of that random draw. Want to make sure that you get a chance to get up here and do that. So with a little track prep going on, Super Pro door cars are under the arch. Round number two, the Biondo Racing Products round. Best losing package here in this round. We'll get $1,000 thanks to the folks at Biondo Racing Products. Again, when you've got somebody that you need to trust to help you with your program, 
I, I would think that the name Biondo would certainly be at the top of that list. So you can turn to them for whatever it is that you need to make your program a little bit better. We've got 2,400 people that are watching along with us on the Jags and Hoosier live feed. Again, thanks to Warren and his team for doing what they do. We've got cameras perched atop the grandstands. We've got different angles down the racetrack, as well as our mobile cam, Tickle Fitz and the crew, that are kind of giving you a uh, good little look right now. You can kind of see what the tower looks like as you are looking back at the tower with our Super Pro door cars poking out from under the arch. As soon as the tractors are done doing their thing, we will get right back to it. Josh, yes, we did say how many we had in the first round. It was 296, which means that today we are racing for $325,000. $325,000 are in the pot. I agree, Joey. Let's get up to where we got like 5,000 people watching today. Better yet, not only do we, should we get 5,000 people watching, we need to get up to uh, over 5,000 that have subscribed to the Flings Race Series channel. We're a little more than 4,000 now. But the fact that we've got 2.4 thousand people watching and we've only got 1.2 thousand likes, we need to do a little bit harder. We need, we need to do a little bit better as far as the number of likes on the uh, live feed stream for today. Mike Lucas, Jeff Verde. Back in 2016, when this thing started, that Firebird was the last car to light up a win light for the night and become the original million dollar winner. Trying to see if maybe he can get a repeat performance here. He is 15 on the tree and goes 593 on a 591 to get the win light. Mike Lucas, 37 green, gets there first by seven, ten thousandths of a second and breaks out by one thousandth of a second. Jeff Verde gets the W here in round number two of Super Pro door car as Zach Fulcher and Daryl Hemley. Zach Fulcher left side, Daryl Hemley right side. 455, the dial in for that little Cavalier. And then a 575, the dial for Zach Fulcher. If anybody finds a silver gas cap, if anybody finds a silver gas cap, it belongs to Marlon Goatz, who is parked right in front of the Galitis. So if you are uh, kind of wandering around and go, hey, here's this random gas cap, that belongs to Marlon Goatz. He'd love to have it back. Green and green between Daryl Hemley and Zach Fulcher. Winlight will turn on for Zach Fulcher. 009 and dead on five for Mr. Cool. Daryl Hemley was 25 green and gave up too much real estate. Just could not resolve the difference. Zach. 009 dead five. Takes seven thou at the stripe. Gets the wind light in the Mr. Cool car. And we go from one blue ride to a guy named Blue Hayball and Dustin Wirtz, a couple of Idahoans who race each other on the regular at different tracks around the northwest part of the country have rolled up here to be paired up in round number two. Blue dialed 599. Dustin dialed 523. 3,000 separate them in reaction time. Blue was 007. Dustin was 10 on the tree. Blue's going to go one above. Dustin's going to go dead six. And a margin of five thousandths of a second will decide the victor. Dustin Wirtz moves into round number three. 16 total. Blue Hayball was 007 and 14 thou above. To be short, down at the finish line, so the Corvette of Dustin Wirtz getting a win light as Peeps Pennington and Randy Cloud, little battle of the roadsters.
Peeps left side, dialed 513. Randy Cloud right side, dialed 581. Cloud going to be the first one to find the pre-stage bulbs as Peeps rolls in right alongside of him. Again, we've had three of our former million dollar winners down the racetrack now in round number two. Andy came up a little bit short. Jeff kept rolling, and we'll see if Peeps can do the same thing. Pennington will not. The Roadster is eliminated here in round number two. At least that entry is Randy Cloud was 12 and dead six. 18 total for Randy. Peeps Pennington was 18 on the tree. Needed to be 5-13-0. Cut Randy loose and ends up running 5-17. Randy rolls through to be dead six and light up the scoreboard as Ricky Duschel and Rod Taylor will be our next two. Rod with a 5.32 dial. Ricky Duschel with a 5.56 dial. Double 07 to a double 06. Ricky was double 07 and four above. 560 on a 556. Rod Taylor, double 06, two above. Runs 534 on a 532. The Kalispell, Montana based at Nova. Picks up a win light here in round number one is Ricky. Comes up 25 thousandths of a second short with Gary Humphreys and Isaac Wilde taking up their spots on the starting line. Humphreys in the 64 Chevelle out of New Jersey. Isaac Wild in the Wild topless S10 out of Volga, South Dakota. 568 to a 628. Christmas tree drops and away we go. Neither driver's stellar in the reaction time, but Gary Humphreys is going to grab himself a whole bunch of break down there at the finish line, tightening up the stripe to one thousandth of a second and winning it on a double breakout. Humphreys, 33 thou under the dial. Isaac Wild goes 563 on a 568 to be 45 thou under the dial. Wild will check out. Gary Humphreys will move on to round number three. As Nathan Bradford. And Justin Mosier going to be our next two. Bradford with a 5.23 dial. So Bradford's got the 6.01. Justin Mosier's got the 5.23. The Corvette for Mosier in the left side. Red light start for Justin. By 14 thousandths of a second, Justin jumps too soon. 6.01 on a 6.01 for Bradford out of Montana. Dead on nine after the 0.29 reaction time. For Bradford, puts him 38 total. Justin Mosier runs 525 on a 523, but it was a 014 red light start for Justin Mosier as Craig Merrilies and Kerry Williewit. Williewit at Estes Park, 525 the dial for the Camaro on the right side. Craig Merrilies with a 624 dial out of the left lane and Merrilies is in trouble. Six hundredths of a second advantage was handed over to Kerry Williewit as he was 005 on the tree and goes 528 on a 525. Merrilies had the 065 reaction time, goes 644 on a 642. Williewit wins and will advance to round number three as Doug Carter and Jeremy Water. So with Doug Carter and Jeremy Waterton, Carter dialed 611, Waterton dialed 536, 2000. The difference in reaction time, advantage, and win light to Jeremy Waterman. 24 dead three for Jeremy. Doug Carter was 26 and two above. 
Jeremy Waterton by 27 thousandths of a second. Gets the wind light, moves on, and Jeff Barnes, thank you for liking and subscribing from your shop up there in Ontario, Canada. And absolutely, it's your girl Mickey's B-Day. B-Day, her birthday? Well, quick shout out. Happy birthday, Mickey. Hopefully you are enjoying your time in the shop along with Jeff. We hope to see you guys down here in Vegas sometime soon. But uh, for now, enjoy the time watching the Jags and Hoosier live feed as we're into Beyondo Racing Products round number two. But yeah, happy birthday, Mickey. There you go. BJ Vangsness and Matt Dattis. Vangsness left side in the Oldsmobile. Dattis right side in the Pontiac. Four thousandths of a second, the difference in reaction time. Wind light's gonna go to Dattis. 19 dead seven for Matt. Getting there second. Vangsness was 15 green. Take 21 thou at the stripe to break out by 10 thousandths of a second. Matt moves on. BJ calls it a day in that entry as Kyle Fritz and Shannon Walker. will assume their spots for battle on the starting line. Fritz dialed in at 674. Shannon dialed in at 530. That is his from Ohio is Shannon Walker, 530. Kyle Fritz dialed 674. Wind light turns on for Shannon Walker. 27 green and 532 on a 530. 24 thou above the dial. 40 thou behind at the stripe to get the wind light. Kyle Fritz, 15 green, takes 40 at the stripe and goes 673 on a 674 to break out by four thousandths of a second. Wind light to Shannon Walker as Damon Bustamani and Rodney Snyder. Looks like a super gas race here in Division 7. Damon dialed in at 614. Rodney Snyder dialed in at 506. Advantage at this end of the racetrack goes to Snyder. Wind light belongs to Rodney. Damon was 32 and 3 above. Won't work out. Rodney Snyder 18 and 1 above to get the wind light as we'll get into the battle of the pickup trucks. Stephanie Kumit and Chuck Griffith. Griffith, gorgeous little 2002 S10. Stephanie and that beautiful silver 94. Slim down pickup truck. 665 the dial for Stephanie. 630 is the dial for Chuck. Chuck needs to do a little work and will. 23 green for Chuck Griffith. Goes 631 on a 630 to get to the stripe first by a thou. Stephanie might have give, given it back as she was double 09 and goes 668 on a 665 to be 300 above and 17 ten thousandths of a second behind at the stripe as Calvin Tani and Luke Bogacki. Luke and the Roadster, also a former million dollar winner here at the Fling. The this is BracketRacing.com and this is Bracket Racing Elite. Head Professor dialed in at 475. Calvin dialed in at 631. The racer coming in all the way out of Kapa'a, Kauai. Calvin with a wild start. How about this? Both drivers are double O. Finish line says Luke's going to get it done. Luke was double 08. Calvin was double 06. Tani runs three above. Luke runs one above. And with a 476 on a 475, Luke Bogacki moves on, taking a 21 thousandths of a second stripe. Win light to Luke. Garrett Griffith, Lane Weber. Weber and the Firebird out of Colorado dialed 699. Red light start for Weber. By two thousandths of a second, Weber goes red. Garrett Griffith decides he's gonna put up a 10-pack. 
6010 on a 600. When you do the math real quick, that means he had 000 for a reaction time. So a perfect light for Garrett Griffith here in round number two. Rolling out the Malibu. We'll move on to round number three. Lane Weber was two thou red. And takes his trip down the racetrack to finish off his time in that entry in the 2024 million. Charlie Lockhart, Randy Cloud. Cloud in the blue Mustang, dialed 575. Lockhart in the Vega, dialed in at 588. Shea had a birthday a couple of days ago. They're trying to make this one a happy birthday. 589 on a 588, 31 green. That's a win for Charlie Lockhart. And the Mayfield, Kentucky-based car rolls on. Randy Cloud was 15 green. Take 42 thou with the stripe to break out by nine thousandths of a second. So David Phillips and Curtis Inzalita Phillips and Curtis fresh out of the buyback round. Three thou separate them. Neither one let go real great, but they let go close. Win light goes to Zinzalita. 057 on the tree and then 606. Phillips was 60 green and then runs 734 on what was a 681 dial. Oh man. Big old strong start comes to a close for David Phillips. He was actually one of the top three best packages in that Brodix run for the 50K and got himself a million entry for next year. Zinzalita will roll into round number three is Scott Taylor and Andrew Di Piazza. Di Piazza out of Illinois, 517 dial on the right side. Scott Taylor with a 671 dial on the left side. Continue to roll on through with our Super Pro door cars. Dragsters have all been called into the lanes. Excuse me, Dragsters odd have been called into the lanes. We got a 671.6 on a 671. Andrew Di Piazza was 008 to Scott's 033. D. Piazza runs three above. Scott runs dead on six. And by seven thousandths of a second, Scott Taylor gets the win light. Once again, Dragster's odd. Dragster's odd. You have been called into the staging lanes. Dragster's even. You are on standby. So Dragster's odd. You should be in the staging lanes. Jason England, Brian Bennett. Jason, who was just the last car down a track in our pro category. Turns right around to take on Brian Bennett. Jason got the buy run win in pro, gets the competition win here in super pro. Brian Bennett goes red by six thousandths of a second, runs 542 on a 543, but Jason England, 008, 578 on a 579 for the Mustang out of the left lane is Chad Sandlin and Darren Taylor. Sandlin and the Nova out of Burleson, Texas. 651. Darren Taylor out of Rigby, Idaho. Wife Tana was the one up here that provided us with that beautiful rendition of the national anthem this morning. Watching along with the camera and recording the action. Wind light is going to go to Chad Sandlin. 653 on a 651. He was 12 on the tree. Darren Taylor had an 029 reaction time. Got to the finish line first by 11 thousandths of a second to break out by six thousandths of a second. So with Chad Sandlin getting the win on that one, Luis Pena Sr. and Manny Hernandez Jr. San Antonio, Texas, home base for Luis. San Antonio, Texas, home base for Manuel. The Camaros 
side by side. Both are double O. The Texans going to duke it out here, and the win line will belong to Luis. 706 on a 706. Four, dead four for Luis to be eight total. Manny was 007, had a thou to work with, goes two above the dial, 629 on a 627. So Luis Pena will move on. How about John Bianco? Talk about a car that is absolutely gorgeous, that 55 Chevrolet. Is definitely a work of art. 556 the dial on the left side. Troy Grant. 632 is the dial. And Troy Grant paints his own little piece of artwork down at the finish line. 004, quick jab of the brakes. You can see the rear end nose drop. Rear end lifts up. And he ends up 633 on a 632, taking 14 thou at the stripe to get the win over Bianco. Bianco runs 554 on a 556 as Hank Pramoff and Bob Cerruti. Hank in the Vega out of Arvada, Colorado. Cerruti. The Camaro out of Ohio. 637 the dial for Cerruti. 570 is the dial. For Hank Pramoff. And now we wait. Twenty-four thousand separated him in reaction time. Wind light belongs to Saruti. Double oh eight on the tree and six thirty-nine on a six thirty-seven for Saruti. Hank Pramall was thirty-two green. And then goes 576 on the 570 to come up a little bit short. Jeff Verdi and Dustin Wirtz. Dustin, Jeff separated by three thousandths of a second. Wind, lawn, wind light turns on for Verdi. 007 dead on four for Jeff. Take 19 thou with the stripe. Dustin was three thou better in reaction time with a 004 light. And then goes 524 on a 522 dial. Jeff Verdi gets the win light in that one. We'll bring out Peeps Pennington and Daryl Hemley. Deep style 514. Hemley dialed 455 for our final pair. Of door cars in round number two, the Beyondo Racing Products round. Got it. Peeps Pennington, 001, and then goes 515 on a 514. Daryl Hemley on a 455 dial runs 455-1, but unfortunately let go with a number one is the first number in the reaction time. So a costly late leave for Daryl Hemley as Peeps Pennington Rolls through into round number three. So again, dragsters odd, you should be in the staging lanes. Dragsters odd, you should be in the staging lanes, please. We got the drag tractors out there real quick. It's my understanding we've still got one more door car to go. And once we get through that one door car, we get into super pro dragsters for round number two. Again, $1,000 available for the best losing package 
of round number two. Let's see here. Once again, we've got seven drivers for the Larice Pro treasure chest that will get a chance to come on up here to the tower and draw out of a hat for one of those really nice either impact helmets or a Mazir starter or ATI stuff. Whatever they've got, there's going to be plenty of those things to be had. We've got that ATI converter, got a couple of $500 prizes, but that's all thanks to uh, Larice Motorsports as well as Impact, Mazir, and ATI for uh, putting those things in there. The seven drivers uh, that were selected, again, were Caroline German, Michael Bullard, Jason England, Bug McCarty, Dan Wheeland, Jacob Phelps, and Tony Price, all kind of randomly drawn there. Continue to give out. More and more prizes as the day goes along. If I mean, you've been Philip shopping Penny. around for an AC company based on the various trucks you see on the road, good luck with that. Fortunately, I'm here to tell you about Silver State Refrigeration and HVAC. The heat is on and it's time to get your AC tuned up for the summer. Silver State's technicians will service, repair, or install an AC system in your home and will always show up on time when they promise. Take advantage of money-saving offers from our website or call before it gets super hot. So don't hunt around for the next AC truck to drive by. Just call Silver State. Larice Motorsports Insurance offers drag racers the broadest insurance policies in the industry. Larice Motorsports Insurance was created by racers for racers. Larice insures race cars on and off the track, trailers and equipment. Larice even pays racers contingencies at the fling bracket races. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Larice Motorsports Insurance today. are going to be kind of packing up shop, packing up the trailer, putting everything away and headed out. If you are some of those who are going to be doing that, well, first of all, we certainly thank you as we uh, know that you are going to be off to your next destination, whether you're hanging out here to race at the NHRA national event next week or whether you're off to your next spot. We'll, uh, by all means, wish you the safest of travels, happy trails. But before you do that, we'd like to ask that you please make sure you come up here to the tower and get kind of everything squared away. If you've got money coming to you because you went deep enough into the rounds this week, we want to make sure you get that. We also want to make sure that you get your tabs closed out, get those taken care of. And then we'll go from there. Troy, the answer on that one is no. The door cars and the dragsters run fully separate until we put them on the ladder at 8. So the door car will be the single for Super Pro door car. Once we get down to where we've got everybody together, then at that point it will be run differently. But, yeah, it is a little difficult to answer while they are running commercials on the screen, which is way more important than whatever craziness I would uh, I would be coming up with. So we've got Super Pro Dragster. After we get through our final run in Super Pro Door Car, we are in Beyondo Racing Products round number two. Again, we are getting ready to run our ninth, or we're in the middle of running our ninth million-dollar race here at the Spring Fling. Last year it was Andy. Schmall that went home. And that's not the other cool thing. Remember that we still got the suite, the limo ride, the trophy, the jacket, all of that stuff that goes along with the win today when we are racing for $325,000. Had Kevin Brannon, who won it in 2022, Bo Butner in 2021, Scotty Richardson won it in 2020. Peeps was your 2019 winner, and We'll get back to the rest of that list, but we have raffles. We tried doing our raffles a little while ago, and then all of a sudden they're like, okay, we're done with track prep. So we're going to try doing the win, the, the raffles again. Steve, get in here, man. We can do it. Let's get some stuff done. So on Wednesday and Thursday, 
any driver, any racer that went dead on zero was put into a drawing for the Dead On Dialer Award. The Dead On Dialer Award, the folks at Computech have put up a race air cloud weather station. It's got the trailer hookup. It's got the wind gauge. It's got all of the goodies that anybody that's smarter than myself would, like, actually pay attention to. Like, they would know what's going on. There's Warren. Warren, we are drawing. So if you want to grab the mobile cam and get that done, we're going to get started, but Warren's going to grab his mobile cam, and he's going to pop in here, and we're going to get this done before we get the okay. So the first name that comes out of the Computech drawing, again, we've got all of the names that ran dead on zero. They were all cut out, put into the hat, or put into a cup, a very special cup. This is like a precision-built cup specific for drawings. See? Specific for drawings. All of the names are in there. Again, the first name that comes out gets this Computech Race Air Cloud Weather Station. This was everybody that ran dead on zero. And I got to say this, with the wind and the weather changes that were going on the other day, if you ran dead on zero, you are a dead on dialer. Like, you got this going. And because of the fact that we had so much weather yesterday, how appropriate is it that we're giving out a weather station with wind, with wind gauges? All right. You drawing for us? Go for it. Steve Riggins, that's why it's a purpose-built cup. So Steve Riggins is going to draw out the first name that will get this race air cloud weather station. The name has been pulled. Sean Schaefer. Sean Schaefer, you get a race air cloud weather station, and the best part about it is it's not a certificate. It's the full-on weather station. It's all boxed up and ready for you to come pick up. I know you're still a little bit busy. Don't be jumping out of your dragster and running up here going, yay, I win. All right, so we've got two through five. Everybody's going to get a $100 certificate from our friends at Computech. The second name that comes out that's going to get a $100 gift certificate is Ryan Stifler. Ryan Stifler, you get $100 worth of gift certificates from our friends at Computech. So Sean is our winner. Number two is Ryan Stifler. Number three that's also going to get $100. Steve's just doing this for dramatic effect. It's just for dramatic effect. Kyler Hergemuller. Kyler Hergemuller, you've got $100 coming to you from the folks at Computech. You're going to get that, uh, that gift certificate. Two more. Pause for dramatic effect. We can't pause too long. They're firing up race cars. Aaron Johnson, Aaron Johnson, you are name number four. Aaron Johnson, you're going to get $100 worth of gift certificates from Computech. And our final name, coming out of the hat, Corey Galitti. Corey Galitti, you got a $100 gift certificate coming to you. Thank you so much. I think with cars firing up, are we going to draw? We're going to draw the race tech. 4A dragster. Hold on, you know what? We're going to pause real quick just because our buy run in Super Pro door car, then we'll get time to, to do that. That'll work out well. We'll stay on this camera view. There we go. Here, look. We'll do this. We'll put, the, we'll put this right up here as though it's the Nate cam. This is, this is the announcer view. So this is the Steve cam. We got Andrew D. Piazza rolling up. Out of Long Grove, Illinois. D. Piazza in the Camaro, dialed in at 519. And immediately following this, we are going to get somebody. Let's just say we're going to turn somebody's day really, really cool because they will have a brand new dragster. I'm making sure I'm keeping that like even enough. So D. Piazza rolling up, he's pre staged. Dives into the stage, stage position. Tree drops. He is 19 green. Going down trying to play match game on a 519. Goes 521 with a six on that 519 and let's draw. All right, so Lella remind me, first name out. One name. One name, one name only please. For a brand new Race Tech Dragster. Who's gonna get it? The name is coming out. 
and the name is Billy Maddox. Billy Maddox, you have got yourself a brand new Race Tech Dragster. Congratulations, man. There you go. That's it. The raffles have been completed. The drawings are done. That is cool. A brand new Race Tech Dragster is headed to you. We have got Super Pro Dragsters right here. Well, they were right here. Now they're right up there at the water box. Let's play. Round number two, the Beyond a Racing Brown with the Super Pro Dragsters. Wayne Thornton and Logan Scribner are going to be our first two. Wayne's dialed 467. Logan is dialed 485. First pair of Super Pro Dragsters. It's round number two, Beyondo Racing Products round. And we will cut the field in half again. Logan is set. Roger Thornton set as well. 2,000 difference in reaction time. Wind light goes to Thornton. 468 on a 467. Comes down to 11 ten thousandths of a second at the stripe. Thornton was 29 green. Logan was 31 green. Logan goes 486 on a 485. He's one above. Thornton is 468 on a 467. He's one above. And by one little, tiny, thousandths of a second, Thornton is into round number three of the million. 445, the dial up there for Josh Herman. 463, the dial on the board for Mark Barnhart. Barnhart? <laughs> Holy cow. Mark Barnhart goes 463 on a 463. Josh Herman goes 446 on a 446. And well, Herman was 15 green. Mark Barnhart was 32 green. And how uh, fortuitous is this? As Victor Clark and Wyatt Wayman back up from the burnout, I'm going to shove a microphone in somebody's hand because the guy who just heard his name over the speakers is going, wait, what? You're standing down there talking to Jeff about parking for probably next weekend and the weekend after. Correct. You're standing there talking to him, and all of a sudden you go, wait, was that my name? And you come up and go, was that the draw for the dragster? And we said yes, and, well, Billy Maddox, you had a brand new dragster, man. That's awesome. I can't believe it. How did you, <laughs> did you enter that online? Hold on. Wyatt Wayman and Victor Clark, both were 006 red. Wind light goes to Victor Clark, 481 on a 482. Did you buy your ticket online? How long ago? Oh, shoot couple months ago right when it first opened up right when it first opened up you yep. grabbed the ticket yep no you were going to be here did you think you were going to win a dragster I, had, I didn't even i totally honest i forgot about it you forgot about it i forgot about it. my phone rang and someone said you just won the dragster well so, congratulations man well, thank you very much this guess awesome. what lella's right here she's got your certificate in hand we're going to take your picture and plaster your face all over social <laughs> media race tech loves you you love race tech Brand new dragster, man. All right. Thank you very, very much. This place is awesome. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. That's funny. And and as Corey Galitti and Jorge Covarrubias line up, Jorge is in trouble. Corey Galitti's 006 and one above to be nine thou ahead at the stripe. Ta-dum, ta-dum. Jorge was 21 green, dead four. Will not turn on a scoreboard, but I mean, that's kind of funny. You're standing down here behind the tower trying to find out about parking for next week. All of a sudden, over the PA, you hear your name and find out that you are the owner of a brand new Race Tech Dragster. If only, if only we could all be so lucky. Vinny Domino with a 454, Mark Kidd with a 449. Kid on the right side for the Kid Performance and Dino team, the group that brought you 
today's $10,000 Calcutta. And Vidi Domino for the group out at Numidia Dragway. Set, go. 10 thou, the difference in reaction time. Kid trying to get it done against Big Ben and Will. Mark Kidd, double O2, take eight thou at the stripe on a double breakout. Mark Kidd ends up one thou under the dial. Vinny Domino was three thou under the dial. And Vinny Domino will drop out in one of his entries here in this go round. Mark Kidd, double O2. And 448 on a 449. Joe Kittle and Ty Farmer. Kittle Jr., 490 is the dial. Ty Farmer, 490 is the dial. Texas versus Alabama. Three foul separate them in reaction time. Both are double O on the tree, and the wind light will belong to Ty Farmer. Farmer, double O six, dead nine. Take nine foul at the stripe to get the wind light out of the left lane. Joe Kittle was double O nine on the tree, and 15 foul above the dial. To come up nine and a half thousandths of a second short is Brandon Taylor and Robert Butler. Even Lella's shaking her head like, really? Of all the places you could be at all the times on earth? That's pretty awesome. Brandon Taylor, Robert Butler. Butler's dialed 470. Taylor's dialed 25 hundredths of a second slower than that with the 495 over on the left side. Roanoke, Alabama versus Citrus Heights, California. 2,000 the difference in reaction time. Finish line stripe says Brandon Taylor is going into round number three. Butler was 16 green. Take 4,000 at the stripe to break out by two thousandths of a second. Butler had done everything he could and made no mistakes as Brandon Taylor was 18 green and ends up dead zero. Following him through, Michael Shields, you're asking, how did Jeff Sarah win $50,000 today? Eh, it was nothing. In that Brodick's run for the 50K, all he had to do was put up a perfect reaction time and run dead on zero to make a perfect run. That's all in a day's work for Jeff Sarah. No, actually it was, it was pretty impressive. Thomas Wilson, Spencer Massey. Speaking of perfect reaction time, Spencer Massey just dropped one on the board. Trip zip for Spencer, dead on seven to be seven total, taking five thou at the stripe. Thomas Wilson was 10 on the tree, dead two, 12 pack, and will not advance. Massey, seven total, gets the win light. But yeah, we had the Brodicks run for the 50K this morning. Racers that were entered into the million got an opportunity to take a swing down the racetrack. If you were perfect, dead zero. Essentially made a perfect run. You could win $50,000. If you were the only, the, I mean, let's talk, you know, really, like how many people are you going to see like multiple perfect runs? Maybe not. But we got one perfect run, and because Jeff Sarah made that perfect run, he got $50,000. Talon Farmer, Keith Thomas, they're separated by a lot. Unfortunately, Talon Farmer lets go late, but Keith Thomas throws it away. Oh, oh. Keith is going to need a consolation package. He was 13 to Talon's 59. Talon goes 478.8 on a 479. Keith Thomas gets there first by 48 thousandths of a second and needed to take 44th hour less as he breaks out by four thousandths of a second. Ooh. Don Sefton is double oh one on the tree and 465 on a 462 to get the wind light over Jessica Bugacki. Jessica was 68 green and then dead on five. So by six hundredths of a second, the win light goes to Don Sefton as Colby Fuller and Aaron Johnson. Aaron, who was just drawn out of the hat for a $100 Computech gift certificate as part of that dead on dialer award. 
brings the dragster in into Arkansas and is dialed in at 489. Colby is dialed in at 443. So with the pre-stage bulbs lit between Colby Fuller and Aaron Johnson. We're going to turn them loose down the racetrack as soon as they get the car staged up. And at this point in time, I see, there we go. Starting to say I see no movement out of either one of them. They go in and stage up right at about the same time, and away we go. 16 green for Aaron Johnson. Colby Fuller was double that with the 032 reaction time. Fuller's going to run 444 and a 443 to be no good. Aaron Johnson, 16, takes sixth out at the stripe. Ends up 491 on a 489. And Johnson, by way of the whole shot, will pick up the win is Shane Carr and Brian Bennett. Bennett dialed 445. Sugar dialed in at 441. To the Carr family, now calling Alabama home. Moved back home to a little bit closer to where he was originally from. Enjoying the pace of life back there and give them a little bit more uh, freedom to travel around and enjoy what they do here with the racing. So a 441 dial for Shane, 445 dial for Brian. Shane Carr is in control, holding 41 thousandths of a second advantage. Is going to go 443 on a 441 to get the win by 36 thousandths of a second. Brian Bennett was 42 green, two above. And we'll watch the wind light flash on the opposite side of the racetrack for Sugar Shane. It's Mike Crater and Dave Mazier. Dave's dragster dialed 487. Mike's ride dialed in at 442. Head start to the Mazir Enterprises car. Again, thank you very much to the folks at Mazir for your continued sponsorship, your continued partnership with us here at the Fling and for providing those amazing starters and water pumps and all of the stuff that we get to give away as part of our Larice Pro field. Let's go ahead and take dragsters even to the staging lanes, please. Dragsters even. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes for round number two. Dragsters even. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes for round number two. Mazir, 004, dead one is five total. Mike Crater, 16 green, seven above. and will not be able to turn on a wind light in that left lane, so Mazir will continue his chase for a chance to be called a champion. Again, dragsters even, dragsters even. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Dragsters even. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Gabe Torres dialed 466. Amy Farrow dialed 472. Farrow, as we said before. Going home with a nice little prize pack. Got a set of those SR20 heads for putting up a two pack in today's Brodix run for the 50K. Advantage to Gabe Torres by 12 thousandths of a second. Win light to Gabe Torres. Gabe was 17 green. Goes 466 on a 466. Amy Farrow, 29 green, take 19th out with the stripe to break out 469 on a 472. But that'll bring up J.P. Schuster and Chad Broom. Broom dialed in at 491. J.P. Schuster dialed in at 468. Once again, pre-stage bulbs are lit. Chad's going to dive in first. JP 
slides the tires up into the bulbs. 15 thou separate them and our piece. Eighth perfect reaction time, ninth perfect reaction time. Rolls up on the board, but will not walk away with a win light. JP was trip zip perfect, goes 470 on a 468. Chad Broom, 15 green, dead five, is 20 total. Taking a margin of four and a half thousands. Down at the finish line. So JP perfect and two above. We'll end up walking away with not much to show for it is Cortland Carter and Jeff Sarah. Jeff right side, 464 dial in Shane Thompson's car. Cortland left side, 469 dial. Left side at a Hobbs, New Mexico. So Sarah right, Carter left. Cortland is in trouble and is out of the throttle. Jeff Sarah, 009, goes 474 on a 464. Really pretty much as soon as Cortland saw Jeff Sarah pulling away, knew he wasn't going to be able to catch him, and let him go. 649 is what Cortland ended up running, but Jeff Sarah, 474 on the 464 after the 009. Reaction time, that'll bring up Brian Watts. Watts with a 456 dial. Shane Thompson with a 458 dial. Watts coming in out of Pasco, Washington. Shane Thompson, the Silver State man from here in Henderson. Twenty-six thousandths of a second, the difference in reaction time, advantage in wind light to Shane. Thompson is 11 green, goes 461 on a 458. Brian Watts was 37 green, two above, 458 on a 456, but Shane gets the coveted wind light, moves to round number three as Dennis Lithgow and Donovan Williams. Donovan, 478. Dial in right side. Dennis, 461, dial in left side. Three foul, the difference in reaction time. Down to the stripe we go. Scoop rocking for Dennis Lithgow, and Dennis will win this one. 24 green to Donovan Williams, 21 green. Williams runs 41 on the 478. To be 35 thou above the dial, Dennis Lithgow goes dead on eight and gets there first by 24 thousandths of a second as Greg Hicks and Johnny Brackett Racer going to roll up now. Johnny rolls in left side, 454, up on the left side of the scoreboard. Greg Hicks gets situated back behind the starting line and begins to roll forward for his matchup with Johnny Ezel. 481 is the number for Hicks. Driving Dean Bush's car. Johnny's pre staged. Greg is pre staged. Why does my gut tell me? Oh, well, it tells me wrong. I thought we were going to sit for a minute. Advantage on the line goes to Johnny Ezel. Wind light goes to Greg Hicks. Johnny was 008. 
Greg Hicks was 13 green. Hicks gets there second, goes 480 on a 481. Johnny took 10 thou at the stripe and runs 452 on a 454 to be under by 13 thousandths of a second. Greg Hicks was under by 8 thou. Winlight goes to Greg. Jake Jones and Jeremy Cisneros. Jake Jones gets the win light over Jeremy Cisneros. Cisneros 451. Jake Jones was 455 on a dial. Jeremy 029 green. Jake was 025 green. Jones 458 on a 455 to get the win light. Brittany Taylor and Kyle Bigley. Brittany 474. Bigley, Kyle Bigley, 003 red, goes 448 on a 455. Brittany Taylor, 38 green and 474 on a 474. Brady White goes red by 12 thousandths of a second, and Eric Reyes is 008 and one above. Brady White, let's see here. We have like camp commiseration, we've called it before. Several folks have already got into that, Brady. 12 red, dead zero as he exits, exits the competition. Chris Northrup getting the win light there. 15 to Kyler. Herga Mueller's 13. Northrup, 522. He's dead eight. Kyler, Kyler Herga Mueller was one above. As I'm up here going, <laughs> choking on my tongue. But uh, Northrup, dead eight after no 15 reaction time, gets the win light. Josh Ludke, Sean Hart. Ludke, the wingless one. He's not the wingless one. There's like a wingless few that are out here. 449 the dial for Ludke. 471 the dial for Sean.
Twin light to Sean Hart. They were eight thousandths of a second apart in reaction time. Josh was 19 green. Sean was 11 green. Sean goes dead on nine to be 20 total. Josh Lutke takes four thou at the stripe and ends up with a 448 on a 449, breaking out by three thousandths of a second. Kyle Seacrest, 007, dead two. He's nine total. Stephen McCrory was 17 green and basically just spinning the tires. Oh, here we go. Tom Clark and Cashin Fry. Cashin in the junior comp car. 693 is the dial. Tom Clark with a 450. Can the junior comp car get it done again? Lit up the scoreboard in round number one. Can the 693 do it? Tom Clark over on the other side, he's like, man, he's like, I want to win, but I don't want to be the villain. Red light start by six thousandths of a second for Cash and Fry. Tom Clark, 41 green, dead four, gets the win light, but Cash and 006 red for the junior comp car. Well, shoot. You know, you got to have those ones that everybody's like, this will be fun. This will be fun. Oh. Tom Clark getting the win light. Moving on is Val Torres Jr. and Trevor Jelinski. So with that 469 to a 463. Look, I got to tell you, that may have wrapped up Cashin's visit here to the Spring Fling Million, but I certainly hope you bring that junior comp car back next time that thing's awesome oh no Trevor will join camp commiseration I mean it wasn't the worst that we've seen but it wasn't 13 green Val Torres was 13 green and goes 473 on a 469 Trevor Jelinski 64 green dead three Oh, Ryan Stifler, 007 and two above. I'm sorry. Oh, Peter Biondo is a funny dude. Michael Johnson was 27 green and then goes 43 on a 42. Ryan Stifler, 007, two above, gets the win line. As Michael Pennington and Race Kid are going to be our next to get after it. 
Race dialed 465 out of the right side. Michael dialed 465 out of the left side. Ready? Go ahead, stage him up. Nine thousandths of a second separate him in reaction time advantage and win to race kid. Race 11 on the tree. Take 15 thou with the stripe to be dead on four and 15 total. Michael Pennington was 20 green and one above to be 30 total. So the race kid picking up a win here in round number two, advancing into round number three. Once again, dragsters odd and even, you have all been called. Dragsters odd and even, you have all been called. As Don Butkowitz and Mike Coltrane. Mike, 446. Don, 477, identical. Leaving this end of the racetrack, wind light belongs to Mike Coltrane, and wow. Wow. Don Butkowitz, 19, two above. Mike Coltrane, 19, dead on nine. Gets him there first by 18 thousandths of a second. Mitchell, Marcy, and Max Mosier. Max Mosier, 453 on a 450, was 26 green. Mitch Marsh, you double 02 and 480 on a 476. That's Shane Molinari and Gordon Bovin. Shane, behind the wheel of Megan's car has that 4.25 second dial up on the left side. Gordon Bovin with a 4.72 dial on the right. Six thousandths of a second. Separate him in reaction time. Gordon goes 4.74 on a 4.72. Taking a four thou stripe. And that'll bring up Philip Pennington and Dan Provost. So Philip with that 466, Dan with a 437, Dan out of Abbotsford, British Columbia. Three thou red light for Philip Pennington. Goes 486 on a 466, Dan Provost 13 green and 445 on a 437. Trevor Harkema and Eric Mann. The water sucks, folks. Harkema on the left side out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Eric Mann out of Somerville, Georgia. Woo! 
both have two zeros and a one in their reaction time. Eric Mann, double O one. Take 200 the stripe, goes 457 on a 455 to get around Trevor Harkema. Harkema was 10 green and three above. Water sucks, but Eric doesn't. Water sucks, but Eric doesn't. I got one more pair here. And then Steve Riggins gonna come back in and take things over. Riggins on, or excuse me, Riggins is getting ready to be on the mic. We got Neil on the left side, Gage on the right side, and this is essentially a Las Vegas boy matchup. These two race on the regular on Saturdays here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. This is probably the biggest round win they will chase between the two of them. Neil with a 482. Gage dialed at 495. In, set, go. 18 to a 24, down to the stripe we go. Wind light turns on for Neil. Gage Gilbert was 24 and dead on nine to come up four thou short down at the finish line. Neil, 483 on a 482 for Presimone after the 018 reaction time. John and Jill, Bo Bridge, Louisiana, uh, 459 left side. Kyle Coltrera, 478 right side. Man, Pete's on one today. He actually gave away 50 grand this morning. Right. <laughs> 1900 head start goes to Kyle Coltrera. Six to a seven, one foul separated. Win light goes to Kyle Coltrera. Eight total end to end. Johnny Angel, not a whole lot you're gonna do with that. Six take 15 to be under by 13 foul. Had to take two or less. He'd had to been six take two to have a chance. Kyle Coltrera, seven dead one, win light. Ken Nelson, Hayden, Iowa, or Hayden, Idaho. 454 left side, Tony Henderson, 495 on the right side. Two to a 24, advantage Tony Henderson. Win light goes to Henderson. Two and two above nine for the win light. Ken Nelson's 24 takes 17 to be 10 thou under. Had to take seven or less. No, Tony Henderson, your winner. Nathan Martin, Kennedale, Texas, 465 left side. Jeremy Soares, Terrace, British Columbia, 481 the right side. Sixteen hundreds head start goes to Jeremy Soares. And we're away, both of them green, both of them more green they wanted to be. Win light, right side, Jeremy Soares, 36, dead seven. For the win line, Nathan Martin, uncharacteristically late, and almost two above.
Tim Markaglue in deep trouble. Mike Barber lays one total in the end. Trip, zip, dead, one. Timmy, under by 2,000, no chance. Joe Peters, Greenville, Texas, 479 left side. Jordan Epper Jesse, Lake Dallas, Texas, 436 right side. to a 34 advantage Joe Peters win like Joe Peters 008 one above three 15 total Epper Jesse 34 dead two no chance Lee Dixon, Chesterfield, Virginia, 450 in the left side. Alexis Thompson, Henderson, Nevada, 460 in the right side. We are not in a hurry to stage. Alexis goes in. Lee follows. Three to a seven. Finish line. Win line. Alexis Thompson. Three take four to be two above. 462. Lee Dixon. 007. Two above. Roger Wayne Thornton, Bilton, Virginia, 474 left side. Carl Jones, Mulvaney, Kansas, on a 473. to a 21. They're side by side. Win light goes left side as Carl Jones ends up six above. Roger, 21. Two above, getting the win light. Victor Clark, Boise, Idaho, 481 on the left side. Matt Lee out of Simica, Missouri. 467 the dial. Win light, Victor Clark, 37, two above. As Matt Lee was 20, but goes nine above.
Ryan Barnes, Brunswick, Georgia, 454 left side. Kevin Johnson, Draper, Utah, 451 right side. Kevin Johnson lights it up, 006 red. Ryan Barnes, 13 green, goes dead eight, 21 total. Johnson was dead eight, but the red light will end this entry. Eric Golden, out of Alberta, Canada, 461 left side. Todd Coltrin, Meridian, Idaho, 468 right side. Eric in control, has him doubled up. Win light goes to Eric, 20, dead seven, taking two thou. Todd, ineligible on the starting line. Chris Galitti, Tumball, Texas, left side on a 452. Jacob Stolworthy, Boise, Idaho, 447, right side. Galitti, going to get 500 head start. Stolworthy turns it for red. Galitti, a little tardy, but does not matter. Gets the automatic win, goes 454 on the 452. Chandler Tyson, Lakewood, Colorado, 456 the dial. Sean Schaefer, Boise, Idaho. You heard Sean win that uh, Computech Cloud It's a little bit ago. He also won a race this week. He's had a great week here in Vegas. He's on a 461 trying to add to it with a Silver State Million victory. Full control and gets the wind light. He took a bunch under by five thou, kind of dodged a bullet there as he takes 40 to be five thou under. Chandler legs it out as well, but goes seven thou under. So, wind light, Sean Schaefer. Leslie Dugas, Midlothian, Texas, 468 left side, Wyatt Wayman, 420 the dial right side. to a 19. Dugas with the advantage in the wind line. 13 take nothing. 0, 0, 0, 6. Margin of victory. Spencer Massey, Fort Worth, Texas, 4 464 in the left side. Lane Ingo, Pueblo, Colorado, 
471 on the left side. Double below four red for Lane Ingo. Spencer Massey dodged the bullet. 46 and 10th out over. Chevy Reeves, Edmonton, Alberta, 465 left side. Trevor Larson, Starbuck, Minnesota, 452 in the right lane. Three to a 15, advantage Trevor Larson. Finish line, light it up for Larson. Double breakout, three take three to be six thou under. Chevy is under by 15 thou. Trevor Larson moving on. Justin Hall, 460 in the left side. Chris Whitfield, Littleton, Colorado, 464 in the right lane. He'll get 400 head start. Twelve to a twenty-five advantage. Justin Hall. And the win light goes to Chris Whitfield. He just finds a way. 25 dead two as Justin Hoff was 12. Take 22 to be seven thou under. Had to take 15 or less. Dalton Giroux, Leduc, Alberta, Canada, 456 left side. Mark Barnhart, Placidas, New Mexico, 463 the dial. to a 19, seventh thou advantage goes to Dalton. Win light comes on for Dalton. Uh, 12 take 12 to be one above seven. 29 total, Barnhart was 19, but goes two above and cannot get it done. Dalton Giroux, moving on. Blue Hayball, 443 left side. Joe Kittle Jr., Dalton, Alabama, 498 to dial. Double 07 to an 11, seven come 11, win light goes to the seven. As Joe Kittle Jr.'s 11, take 32 to be seven thou under, had to take 25 or less, cannot. Blue Hayball, double 07, two above for the win light. Marlon Goats, 480 in the right side. Logan War, or Ware maybe, 457 left side. It is War, okay. Well, it's a red light for Marlon. So Logan got the win light, 36 dead three, moving on.
Marlin goes two above, 482 after the red light. Vinny Domino, Staten Island, New York, 454 left side up against Rocky Van Note. The Mosier Engineering entry, Rockies out of Red Key, Indiana, be on a 470. That's a man, Rocky running 470. You think you ought to chase somebody every once in a while, and I feel like Rocky's been chased every single time. And he's going to be here again with Domino. Thank you, Briar. 11 to a 12. Finish line. Who's it going to be? It is Vinny. 11 take 30. To be two above is Rockies. Five above. Speedy, it's 325,000. Clayton Mitchell, 470 in the left side. Jeff Sarah, Mr. Perfect. Mr. Brodick's run for the 50K perfect, 466. to a 28. Oh my goodness, drove it right there, dead one. Eight, dead one, taking 32, because he can. <laughs> He's down a ton. Wow. Clayton Mitchell, 28, one above, three, no good. Ryan O'Connor. Panaka, Alberta, 454 in the left. Thomas Wilson, Ringgold, Georgia, on a 467. Nine foul advantage goes to Thomas Wilson and turns into a win light, dead three. As Ryan O'Connor got there first, but had no chance as he was behind 9,000 at the starting line. Exactly, Ronnie, exactly. Troy, you were right as well. Jorge Corrubias, Jr. 458 left side, Tyler Smith, Rancho Cucamonga, California, 465 in the right, Team Mexico in the left. Red light start for Tyler Smith. Jorge, 35, and a thou under, gets the win light. <laughs> Jeremy Mitchell, I'm still in the tower. <laughs> Kaylee Hill, 
A little more Colorado, 474 on the left side. Cooper Chun, Vancouver, Washington, 503 right side. Double O sevens a pair. Win light. Cooper Chun, seven dead three beats a seven dead six. Kaylee lays down 13 total and it's not enough. Cooper Chun, seven dead three, making solid, solid runs. Brian Kane of the Odessa, Texas, 476 on the left. Keith Thomas, Madisonville, Tennessee, 502 right side. foul separate him advantage Keith Thomas when light comes on though going to Keith Thomas 13 dead to 15 total Brian 32 on the starting line makes him ineligible Colby Fuller Savannah Georgia 443 in the left side Logan Scrivener Shorewood Sherwood Oregon 486 Of course you were not, Zach. I, you'd never do that. Logan Scrivener, 005, dead 2, 7 total, taking 21. Colby Fuller, 36 and under, getting there last. I mean, in your defense, Zach, I mean, it's practice. I mean, okay this is the real deal it's game time Coy Collier Bozier City Louisiana 494 left side Mark Kidd Twin Falls Idaho 449 right lane advantage Collier win light Collier 12 dead zero, taking 18 as Mark Kidd was 28 dead two. Hello, Aaron Wicker. Hello, John Kelly. Glad to see y'all still at it. Taking in my final hours out here in Vegas. Gotta head to the airport in about three and a half hours or so. Exactly. I ain't talking practice. Josh Herman, Pueblo, Colorado, 446 left side. Chad Broom, Fort Worth, Texas, on a 491 right side. Double red light. Josh Herman left last, had the closest to green. So true start didn't change anything there. Josh Herman. 003 red, 12 foul under, moving on. Don Sefton, Bremerton, Washington, 465 left side, Sugar Shane Carr. Killing Alabama, 441 right side in the Thompson machine.
Man, Aaron, too early for me. It's about as good as it gets right here. Third round, come on. You overachiever. John, it was two, it was uh, 296. Three foul separate him, double breakout, Shane Carr. 16, under by 10 foul for the win line. Sefton, 13, 23 foul under. Corey Glitty, Tumball, Texas, 435 left side. Dave Mazier, Escondido, California, on a 487 right side. Fifty two hundred head start goes to Dave Mazier. And he'll take a few more foul with him. Can he knock out Galetti? Yes. Five, dead one. As Mazir, five dead, five take five to be six total. Galetti, 13 and two thou under and had no chance. Talon Farmer, Abilene, Texas, 479 left side, Tristan Craig, 514 the dial, right side. Six finish line goes to Tristan Craig. Six, wow, six take nine to be dead one, seven total. Talon Farmer lays down 16 total and had no hope. Tristan Craig moves on. Johnny Zell, 453 left side. Shane Thompson, 459 right side. This one could be good. Six to a 17. Advantage, Ezel, win light, Ezel. Six dead, seven, 13 total. Thompson, two above. 17 on the starting line, no good. So again, Larice Pro. You should be in the lanes for round number three. Super Pro doubles. You should be in lanes three and four. And all the rest of you are on standby. So once again, Larice Pro, you should be in the lanes for round three. Super Pro door card doubles, you should be in the lanes. You're still on a standby. The rest of our Super Pro door cars. G-Dub and Robert Butler. Win line. G-Dub, 17, take 10. Goes one above three, 30 total. Robert Butler, 16 and two above. Gabe Torres. 
La Puente, California, 465 left side. Stephen Farrow, Chattanooga, Tennessee, 481 the dial. Fifteen fouls separate them. Here comes Gabe Torres. Win light Torres. 29 take two. Goes one above nine. 48 total. Farrow 44 dead six. Mike Crater, Buf Buford, Texas. 442 the dial. Aaron Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas. 489 in the right side. Getting 4700's head start. Foul, separate him. Win light goes to Aaron Johnson. 32 take one. One above six, 48 total. Crater, 28, two above. Cannot get it done. Ty Farmer, Tuscola, Texas. 490 in the left side. Greg Hicks, North Las Vegas, Nevada. 481 right side. Three foul separate him. Can Hicks drive it right? Finish line. He does. 13 dead, three, 16 total. Left high farmer, absolutely nothing. He was 16 on the starting line. Took six to be six under. Win light. Greg Hicks. Final pair of Biondo. Round number two on the starting line. Kyle Bigley, Sakoskis, New Jersey, 454 in the left. Jessica Bogacki, Carterville, Illinois, 464, the right side. And then we're going to go into some uh, track maintenance before we head back to Larice Pro, round number three. Kyle Bigley turns it fourth out red. Jessica, 10 and sixth out under to wrap up the round. So we are through two. We're through Biondo round two of the Silver State Million. Here at Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optimal Batteries. So we'll do some track maintenance. We'll uh, either play some ads or play some music or play some something. And we'll be back to you very shortly with round number three.
Mosier Engineering has been racing across five decades through three generations of racers and is proud to have been supporting sportsman ranks since the beginning. Everything we make from axles, rear ends, suspension, and brakes are made here in the USA with one goal in mind, so you can win. Check us out online at MosierEngineering.com or call and talk to our knowledgeable and friendly technicians at 260-726-6689. The best quality and the best support, only Mosier Engineering. With a 40-year history of technological innovation and engineering, Optima batteries... Yeah, well, I mean, when you get to the final of the spring thing, and it doesn't matter how much money you're racing for, it's as much about the title as it is the money itself. And we've raced with the Pennington family for a long time. They take it super serious. They're, they're amazing drivers, all of them, so they know what they're doing. And then, you know, we like to, to bring the same type of thing to the table on our side so all the respect in the world for those guys you know that anytime they're in the other lane it, it is a serious situation so if it looks serious that's because it was uh but it's also a lot of fun and, and good racing with those guys field right side when i let go of the button on the starting line like i figured i tagged the tree pretty good and uh you know i didn't need any adjustments with the bump up or bump down so i just let it ride as it turned out i was 14 on the tree philip missed it a bit which is really uncharacteristic for him so about halfway down the racetrack i think i was about wheel to wheel with him and and i probably should have been about a half a car behind him so it was looking pretty good for me at that point philip actually parked it on me at the finish line let me go real bad and i think i ended up taking 400 stripe or something like that which is i like to think that's uncharacteristic for me even though i'm fully capable of doing that on a good day but um yeah so he sent me through on the finish line i got a couple good rips in and by the time i saw his car drop there was not a lot i could do i didn't want to be aggressive with the brake pedal or anything like that so i had a couple rips in and i'm just at that point i'm just looking up at the scoreboard praying that a wind light comes on lucky for me uh what i did end up killing was just enough to get me up over the dial and, and the wind light came on <laughs> Insurance today. Advanced product design, also known as APD, has quickly become the go to place for carburetors in the world of big buck bracket racing and NHRA racing. Join world champions Luke Bagaki, Jimmy Lewis, and Christopher Dodds and let APD help power you to your next win. Carburetors, throttle stops, and fuel systems. APD. At FTI Performance, we are proud to be associated with a top-notch brand like the Spring Fling. Dedicated to the racer, our continued commitment to the best customer service in the industry is what separates us from the rest. Join the FTI family and join the list of winners who depend on the power and reliability of FTI to get to the winner's circle. Visit FTIPerformance.com today. True Start, a product of CompuLink, has been used at all fling events since 2016 and now used at over 50 tracks nationwide. In a double red light situation, True Start awards the win to the racer who red lights by the least, regardless of handicapped start. True Start was created to level the playing field by equalizing the pressure for both drivers regardless of which driver's tree drops first. All right, racers, your attention, please, your attention, please. We'll now take all door cars, odd and even, to the lanes for round number three. All door cars to the lanes, odd and even, for round number three, please. All door cars, odd and even. For round number three of the million, come on down on a Silver State Refrigeration Million Dollars Saturday. Hey, racers, also, just FYI, for your information, uh, merchandise sales are going to close up at 6 o'clock. That's about 50 minutes from now. Merchandise sales are going to close up at 6 o'clock, and that will be the last of the event. Merchandise sales will not be open tomorrow, so if you are looking at trying to grab up any of your last-minute stuff, let's go ahead and get you uh, up here before 6 o'clock. So, again, merchandise sales are going to close at 6 o'clock. After that, that'll be it. So there will be no merchandise sales after 6 o'clock tonight. They will not be open tomorrow. So if you uh, have waited to come up here and get your goodies for the fling, let's go ahead and do that now. While they are finishing up a little track prep, 
Remember that uh, if you want to find out some of the greatest secrets in the sport of bracket racing, the best, the best place to look is uh, to those that have been doing it for a while, who have got a string of championships, who have collected like more trophies than most of us could ever imagine, and then it'd be somebody like uh, the Terminator. This is BracketRacing.com slash Beyondo. Right there, you could find the Beyondo Playbook. And in order to find out a little bit more about the Beyondo Playbook, if you are watching along with us online, check this out. Um, for me, it starts with visualization. Um, when I'm in the staging lanes, I try to paint a mental picture, of, like a mental video of what the run is going to look like. So. That'll start like all the way back. I'll try to figure out who I'm running early on. So I'll have an idea of what the dial ins look like, what lane I'm in, um, that type of stuff. And then like, as I, as, like I'm painting this picture in my mind of, of how the run is gonna go exactly. Like the, from burn, like a, the burnout backing up nice and straight, um, making sure that you have the dial ins correct. Like it's all, like playing is like a video. Like I'll close my eyes for a couple moments before the round and uh, by that time, like by the time I pull it up in the, in the beans, like I've already seen it before, it becomes uh, second nature at that point. Like you, like you, you've already pictured the tree coming on and letting go at the right time. So that's that's where it starts for me. Now you get to Friday morning, no time runs. What are you gonna look at? I'm not gonna look at that. I'm not gonna look at that. I'm gonna go back to Thursday morning. It was three runs ago, but the conditions are most alike. The track temperature is gonna be closer, 9 a.m., 8.30 a.m. So you can, you can bank on your 60 foot and your, the track conditions part of it to be the same. The temperature, the humidity is, uh, is close, it's usually high in the morning. So that's a no-brainer. Friday morning, you're gonna choose Thursday morning to go off of. High performance, low prices. Get the parts you need now at Jags High Performance. Free same day shipping of an extensive selection of a million items from over 600 brands. Jags offers unmatched value through everyday low pricing. Find it cheaper and we'll match it. Click on Jags.com today. 100% satisfaction and lifetime support included with every order. The place for performance since 1960, Jags. For more than six decades, ATI has been helping sportsmen racers get to the winner's circle. Bracket racing takes consistency, and you can count on that from ATI. Our advanced engineering, precision in-house manufacturing, real-world race experience, and passion for the sport can help you turn on the wind light round after round. For over 30 years, Beyondo Racing Products has provided track-tested, race-winning products. Known for their best customer service in the industry, Beyondo Racing has been the round two sponsor of the Fling event since 2010. Digital delay boxes, safety equipment, weather stations, shifters, and now tire gauges. Beyondo Racing Products. Hoosier Racing Tire is proud to be a participating sponsor of the Spring Fling brand since 2010. Let our performance race tire technology help put you in the winner's circle. When you are looking for an advantage, remember the name, Hoosier. See us on the Midway or contact your authorized Hoosier tire dealer nearest you. As a proud sponsor of the Fling events, Brodix gives away a set of heads at Vegas, Galat, Columbus, and Bristol. Brodix is also the presenting sponsor of the Run for the 50,000 at Vegas. Strength, durability, and power are just a few factors that make Brodix the best in the industry. 
proudly made in the USA for over 50 years. Brodix utilizes state-of-the-art technology and continuous research and development to bring you the best in the industry. Rad Torque Guns are the world's most powerful and reliable torquing systems with the highest power to weight ratio. Rad Torque Guns are available pneumatic, battery, and electronic drive systems with torque ranges from 500 to 15,000 foot-pounds of torque. Rad Torque Guns are being used around the world by companies such as Boeing Aerospace, Caterpillar Equipment, GE Wind Towers, U.S. Military, and many more. Rad Torque Systems are also very involved in the drag race community, sponsoring many events as well as a large fleet of Rad-sponsored race cars. Visit RadTorque.com. Mazir Enterprises is very proud to be a part of the Fling series of events. As a dedicated family-owned business comprising of dedicated drag racers, Mazir works hard to provide racers with the very best quality components. Win, lose, or draw. We wish all of you a great Fling weekend of racing from Mazir Enterprises. Goodyear Tires is proud to introduce a series of tires designed specifically for sportsman racers. If you are looking for the round-by-round -round consistency needed to be a fling champion, choose the tires that NHRA world champions like Justin Lamb and Peter Biondo choose. Choose Goodyear Tires. The Larice Perfect Package Bonus. At each fling event, Larice Motorsports Insurance is offering $1,000 to their customer who puts down a perfect run in eliminations. Even better, if the bonus does not get hit at a fling event, it will roll over and go up another $1,000 for the next fling event. If you don't have the Larice sticker, make sure you come to the tower. You must have a Larice Motorsports Insurance sticker on your car to be eligible. All right, racers, dragsters, double, dragsters, double. If you are still double, let's get you headed into the staging lanes. The text went out moments ago. Dragster doubles. Let's get you headed to lanes five and six. Doubles only. All other dragsters, you are on standby. So all other doubles, you are on standby. And Super Gunner, that wasn't necessarily somebody talking. That was the ad volume. We kind of have to balance that out a little bit rather than just like blasting out our folks in the grandstands with the ad volume. We turn it down just a little bit, but on the mic, your volume should be okay. Anybody else having an issue with volume? Let us know and we'll uh, get that adjusted, but I think we're okay. So they are finalizing touch up down on the racetrack. We've got Super Pro at round number three. That is going to be our ATI Performance Products Super Pro round number three rolling up here to the arch momentarily. I'm just kind of double checking on that so our Super Pro door car should all be there. Dragster doubles should be headed up to the front of lanes five and six, please. Dragster doubles, you should be headed up to the front of lanes five and six, please. We're going to continue to roll on through here again. This is a Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. Silver State Refrigeration and HVAC Million Dollar Saturday. 296 entries puts us at the $325,000 mark. So tonight's winner will get $325,000 with 296 cars in the game. It is going to be good. So as we get the tractors headed back this way, they are going to finalize that track prep, and we are going to let our Super Pro cars go. Again, it is always fun to watch kind of on a uh, million-dollar day how the celebrations on the starting line get a whole lot more as each wind light turns on. As the racer's mentality, the racer's 
and crew's appearance change just a little bit. You can almost see kind of the weight of the the weight of the occasion sitting on people's shoulders as they walk up to the starting line. And unfortunately, if the wind light doesn't turn on, kind of that supreme disappointment set in a little bit. But as the wind light does turn on, they jump a little higher, they cheer a little louder. It's gonna be more and more exciting as the day goes on. Again, we've already crowned eight million champions throughout the Spring Fling Series. We will add a ninth million champion to this before the day is over today. Again, racers also keep in mind, keep in mind if you are either racing in the million or if you aren't racing in the million and were part of yesterday's $30,000, the FTIPerformance.com $30,000 race, Again, it is still kind of our plan that if we get this thing done early enough, we may try to do a little bit of yesterday's race tonight. So please make sure that you stick around. We'll let you know as soon as we know whether or not that is going to happen. But we just don't want anybody to kind of disappear out of here and then go, wait, I thought, but what? We just don't want to want to have you miss out on that. And for those racers that... Uh, are maybe packing up if your event has come to a close. Do not forget to please stop by the Diva Desk. Come on up here and see them back there. If you've got a tab to close out, if you've got winnings to collect, and then one more reminder, just about 30 minutes from now, the, can, uh, the apparel booth is going to be all done and wrapped up for the rest of the weekend. Again, they're going to close at 6 o'clock. If you haven't got up here yet to get your T-shirts, your hats, your beanies, your sweatshirts, your tumblers, whatever it is that you may be looking for, now would be the time to do that because once they do close up shop there at 6 o'clock, that will be it. They will not reopen tomorrow. And again, remember, whatever we do not get finished up here tonight will be finished up tomorrow. Call has gone out over the radio that they are ready for cars. And since they are ready for cars... We're actually going to bring in another voice that's going to be joining in. You guys might have heard of Dan Fletcher. You know, he's that guy that, like, was the first sportsman racer to ever get 100 career wins. Well, he's also raised a couple of very good racers and guys that know all about, like, this guy is way smarter in drag racing and knows way more about what these guys are doing on track than I could ever hope to know. But Tim Fletcher, well, I think the first time you picked up a mic at a spring fling was, what, down in Galat? You got to turn it on. There we go. Up is on. Still new. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was either at Galat or Bristol, I think last year or year before. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know if I liked it, but they got me back up here for some reason. I don't know. We do. And you know why we got you back up here? Because you're sick of hearing from Riggins? No. No, they're sick of hearing from both me and Riggins. And you bring such a color and a flair to call in races that we can't go through a fling without hearing you call some laps. <laughs> Everybody stay tuned, dude. We might have to have some I swear, but left lane, we got Charlie Lockhart, 588, taking on Brian King in the right, 583. This is pro, right? Yeah. All right, so we got a little, little pro, no box action. Some people swapping hooves, some people leaving off the hand crutch. Might take the L on this one. He does 101 on the tree and goes well, a little over 300 under. Lockhart 43, still 8 thou under, getting there 32 thou. Right lane 101 on the tree, probably not going to get done on million dollar whatever day today is, Saturday. And yes, I am announcing bad reaction times. How do I flip this over? Here? Right here. Yeah, we're good. Right lane, Cliff Hall, Dowd 610, a little west coast versus somewhat east coast, taking on Jason England. 
in the left out of Kentucky. 578's a dial. Four in, nobody's been better than 40. 42 in the left, 47 in the right. And everybody knows how we feel about 47. 47, one over with a nine, not getting it done. Left lane 42, one over with a two. That's good enough, but just for now. They might have to tighten it up a little bit. Flickering the tail lights in the right. My man Saruti, I think that is. Yep, Brian Saruti. 634 out of Ohio. Left lane J. I don't know if that's French. Grainier? I don't know. And he's not from any place. Griner? All right. Left lane 693 is the dial. Still trying to find the pre-stage bulb. It's up there somewhere. There he is. So Rudy's in. Here comes Grainer. All right, we tightened it up about 100. 35 to 29. So Rudy's got the wind light. 29, one over with a five. Getting behind. Left lane could have got it done. 35, two thigh under, getting there 11. Had to squeeze that down to about nine and a half. And would have got the dub and sent Rudy out. But so Rudy moving on to round four. Looking at my text message. I got it. All right, next pair out. Fourth pair. I need a double O light. I got right lane Dennis Paz, right? Paz, Paz? Yes. Dennis Paz. Old super stock, ex super stock racer. Put a bracket motor in there and he says, let's go to the fling. I think he did good last year. Might have won a day or two. Left lane Jacob Phelps out of Idaho. 634 is the dial. Now a little Vega. Oh boy. Dennis Paz, sixth out red. And two hundredths above. Left lane, he was ready, minus the ET. Triple zero. And six hundredths above, but it don't matter. Right lane was red. He's gonna get a triple zero hero coin. Trip zip, six over, gets it done. Did I do something wrong? And the last pair of pro, I know because Mark Fall was our buy car. He's got Mr. Bug McCarty, the birthday boy, and he's all over it. 003 for Mr. McCarty, and two full hundredths above, 607 on the 605 dial, is Mr. Mark Fall, who won, I believe, yesterday, pro side, 37 and 3 thou under the 710 dial. Not going to get it done. The, the birthday weekend continues for Mr. Bug McCarty, and he, that three light might be uh, the buy coming back at five on the no box side. Might be. Don't quote me on it, anybody at home. But as we get started with the Super Pro door cars, the Million Dollar Man, Jeff Verdi, right lane, 591. And Mr. Chuck Griffith, 630's a dial out of Kentucky. Pretty much dead even up here, 16 to a 15. Ooh, that was kind of good. A thou down there. Both drivers go dead on with a nine. Chuck Griffith, 16 dead nine, and got a thou change. Million dollar man, 15 dead nine, getting it done. As I was a little distracted on a smoky one here in the right lane. Sean Walker, or Seanan. Sorry if I butchered that from Texas. Burn out through the lights, I like it. 5.30's a dial. Gary Humphreys left lane. Six and a quarter dial. I didn't do Joyzy in a Chevelle. Got the pre-stage bulbs lit. Round three, the ATI round on the million dollar day. He's making us stay here an extra day tomorrow. It's all right, we're gonna get everything done. We're gonna finish the race. Right lane 22 and 47 above. That number comes back again. Left lane 20, one over with a seven. Getting there a little over 300, it's gonna get it done. Right lane just missed the dial a touch, 47 over. Ain't happening. Left lane out of Montana. Got the big N on the window circle. I know because I put it there first round. 
Scott Taylor hitting the bottom, 671's a dial. Right lane, might be related to him, Rod Taylor. Montana, Montana, are they related? They're pretty close, they, they got the same last name and they're from the same place. Rod Taylor, 533 in the right, 021. Bottom bulber a little behind, 037. Puts it one over, not gonna get it done. Right lane, 21, 13 thou over, getting there, 13 thou. Mr. Scott Taylor, I think had two, but he is done for the day. Gonna pack it up, head back to Montana if he's not in the 30K tomorrow. Next up, right lane, Nathan Bradford, another Montana. Montana runner, 602 in the 79 Camaro. Left lane, Zach Fulcher out of Kentucky, dial 575. The Mr. Cool car, the 05 Chevy Cavalier, right? Sunfire, what is that? Cavalier? I got you. Pick up the mic. I got to talk to somebody. I don't like sitting here by myself. It's awkward. It's weird. What are you saying? That those of us that sit here by ourselves and talk on the mic are awkward and weird? I don't know how you sit up here and just talk to yourself. I can't do it. I got to talk to somebody if I'm going to talk at all. It's, it's basically we need psychiatric help. <laughs> but we do it. All right. Well. All right. So, yeah, Zach coming in out of Kentucky. Nathan out of Montana. Six thousand the difference in reaction time. Zach Fulcher was 16. Nathan Bradford was 10 and goes dead zero. Ten dead two. Zach Fulcher wasn't going to get there. Five thousand the difference at the finish line. Nathan Bradford's moving on. Right lane, Mr. Preston Peeps Pennington. 514 in the little roadster. Chasing the 590 of Curtis. Fill in that last name for me. Zinzalita. There you go. Out of Arizona, Flagstaff. I'll be driving through there in about 24 hours. And Come on, uh, Ben. Zinzalita seems like it would be a totally New York type last name. Well, I might have said like Zinz Zinzatelia. Zinzadeli, what? <laughs> I would have butchered and I don't feel like getting flack. <laughs> <laughs> Peeps is in. Oh. Better be double O. He's been double O a lot. Close, 10. In the right lane for Mr. Peeps. 20 in the left. Give it to the Peeps show. 515 with a trace. Taking fourth out. Left lane, 20, dead seven. And fourth out behind at the stripe for Mr. Peeps. And he's moving on into fourth round. Has he still got two? I hope. That was his D entry, so I don't think so. See how that works out. Chad Sandlin, right lane, 652. And what I take is a borrowed ride, because the truck was going down in pro I don't understand what they're doing there. The truck, I, a lot of these guys have like swapped over to some different rides, and right. even the one they were doing the other day, they're not in now, but it's still in because somebody else is driving it, so. Fair enough, fair enough, left lane. Lewis Pena, he's a little senior, 707 dialing, 002 on the tree, 703 down there, 400 under, getting there almost a tenth. Mr. Chad Sandlin, 18, 655 with an eight at 99 miles an hour. Might have gave him a little bit. I'm gonna go with yes. And moving on as Lewis Pena misses the dial a bunch and takes a bunch. I'll bring up Matt Dadis and Charlie Lockhart. Big time matchup. Dadis coming in out of Ohio in the Grand Dam that uh, spent a long time racing around this part of the country when it was owned by the DeFrank family. Matt Dadis ended up buying that and you talk about one of those investments that paid off. Almost immediately. Took yeah. the motor out, sold it, probably got the money back on the car, put a bracket motor in there and probably won right away. He did. We were actually talking in Bristol and he basically, like you said, between selling the motor and then winning what he won the car, paid off instantly. And give it to Mr. Matt Dadis, 13, dead seven. Taking a healthy chunk down there, left lane Lockhart, 34, might be still hitting the bottom. And a bunch above, 600s. Dropping a little bit at 108, giving it to Matt Dadis. Whatever he was on the tree, dead seven. Screen went away. 21. 21, blackjack. Left lane, another bottom bulber. It was in pro. Might be still hitting the bottom, hopefully. That's what men do. 578 dial. And Mr. Andrew DT 
Piazza, 518. Both of them are 15 up here. What we got down there? I can't see. 522 on a 518. Andrew D. Piazza after being 15 green. Jason England gets there first by 54 thousandths of a second and breaks out by 14 thousand. Oof. Oof. A little brake pedal. Would have done us some justice. Might have got the dub. Next up, Jeremy Waterman in the left out of Washington. Another fast door card out of 535. In right lane, Dustin Wirtz. Says 23 American, but I think that's a Roadster. Might be an American Roadster. Corvette Roadster. That is the Roadster. Got the dragster, but uh, not in the million. And that Roadster is the one that went viral because it was covered in snow from Tucson, of all oh, places. Yeah. That's <laughs> the car. <laughs> I wonder what happened after that day to take all the electrical stuff out. I have no idea. I don't know he was running it that day. Oh. 523 is dialed for work. He's 27 up here and a little behind. Waterman, 009 and 10 thou above. Wirtz puts it dead on three, the 523 dialing, but he was 027 up here and 11 thou behind down there. Going to put the tie downs on it, head back to Idaho, unless he's in tomorrow. I keep forgetting there's a race tomorrow. I got to remind myself. Yeah, we got a little bit more going on tomorrow. I'm telling these guys to put the tie downs on and they might be in tomorrow. Randy Cloud, Kerry, will you eat? Will you read Cabrero out of Colorado, 525. Randy Cloud in the Roadster. Out of California, 581 dial left side. We've been given our ladder for Pro. As Pro will be coming back with five. Will you eat this 008 on the tree? Randy Cloud was 21 green. Cloud ends up two above for the win. Will you eat takes 46 thou with the stripe to break out by 11 thou. That hurts. That does hurt. Remember when I said don't quote me, McCarty might be on a buy. I forgot that dude was triple zero. Phelps. That's well, there you bad. go. See, I got to say less. That's no, what you, I was you, talking about myself. You covered yourself. The what? don't quote me. Yeah. Might be. Yeah, see? You always got to backtrack a little bit. Yeah. You keep it you keep it a little vague and then you got you got yourself a coverage after this pair will run through what the pro ladder looks like left lane troy grant 632 in a little nova gonna get it done over rodney snyder snyder was 053 on the tree and one over with a three that is way too much of a package for round three in a million day troy grant 15 and 12 thou above the 632 dial and going to get it done. Is that already the end of door cars? Yeah, you know what? We're going to say this after this pair of yeah, door cars. We'll right. talk about the ladder because yeah, we can't cut this one off. No, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Luke Bogacki and Jeff Verde, both former million dollar winners, and they got paired up to fight it out amongst themselves. Oof, 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 oof. Who you got? Oof. Who you think I got? Yeah. I'm going to go with right lane. Right. Only because I'm on the right side of the desk. All right, I'll take that. I mean, it's a that's a that's a coin toss uh, right there, man. Point. Advantage goes to Luke Bagaki, 12 on the tree, and goes 477 on a 476. Jeff Verde is not a guy that I would ever bet against. Again, the only reason I'm right side, right lane, it was right in front of me. Luke Jeff Verde, 27 green and two above. Luke who had been struggling with the Roadster all week. I think he had that thing tore apart all day yesterday. He did. I didn't think, I didn't think he ran it yesterday. I don't know that he ran it. No, he didn't. They were, they were running just the dragster. He got it put back together and uh, ends up getting the wind light here. See, so, if, I, if I would have known that, I might have taken him in the buggy in the Calcutta. Remember yeah? we said last night he was in the yeah? dragster, we thought? Man, I got to pay attention. You know, my, my morning is full of coulda, shoulda, wouldas. <laughs> Because I got to tell you, when we were talking about the Calcutta, I was looking at him like, you know, Sarah yeah. hasn't had a great weekend. Yeah. And then this morning, what does he do? Yeah. And yeah. now he's running strong. It, it, you know, it's shame on me. You learn your lesson. He went right into Pete's pocket. Yeah. Deep into Pete's pocket. We got the pro ladder up here. Five cars are coming back, kind of like what you said. Phelps is going to be on the bye thanks to a perfect reaction time. Saruti will get England. McCarty with lane choice over Lockhart. So Bug lane choice over Lockhart. So Rudy with lane choice over England. And Phelps will be on the bye. When we come back at five. 
Thomas Wilson. Thomas Wilson has got the best losing package of Biondo, round number two, 12 total. He gets $1,000. Thanks to the folks at Biondo Racing Products. So Thomas Wilson, your best losing package, Biondo, round number two. Super Pro door cars aren't quite done yet. Dude, we just went from like a Verdi and Bugacki matchup. Who we got? Griffiths and Saruti. Oh, I love this. I love this day. This is pretty good. This is better than pretty good. I'm going to take my radio out and get comfy. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. Just don't do like Riggins does and take your shoes off. Hopefully, Riggins got laryngitis and he ain't coming back. <laughs> 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 I can sit up here out of the sun. I'm yeah, a little sunshine. Never hurts anybody. What do they call it? Vitamin E? I don't know what it is. Is that what it is? Is it vit Oh, yeah, it's vitamin D. Yeah, I got way too much wind. Yeah, nobody needs any more wind. <laughs> Left lane, like you said. Mr. Garrett Griffiths, Russell Blue Chef. Yeah. Yellow. Just keep it closer. You turned my mic off. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Oh, I hear him pedaling down there. I love it. Bob Cerruti, 003 and 8 thou under. Garrett Griffith, 10 dead 2. Get some. That's all I got to say. That was a good race. Three on the tree at this end of the racetrack for Cerruti, 10 green for Griffith, and Cerruti taking a little bit too much. Take 17, breaks out eight thou. Garrett Griffith will be coming back in the Malibu, and that is one thing that, as you mentioned, they, like, rolled it out of the trailer. I don't even think they did the new entry time run this morning. No, they didn't, because he broke the truck first round, and then he just came up with the... Had to come back. ...with the Malibu, and he turned on the windlet. I love it. It's always cool when you can see people do that. Chad Axford did that down in Tucson this year. Ended up breaking the car, rolled back out, was five total in a car he'd never driven. I love it. Tom love Bayer it. did that a couple of years ago. It's fun to see people be able to do that. I couldn't do that. The opponent doesn't like it too much. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nick. Tim just mentioned that, yeah, Garrett did hurt the blue truck. Broke it this morning. Oh. And so he's in the, uh, the backup boo. And so far, his boo has been good to him. So we've got Super Pro Dragster sitting under the arch. Again, quick little touch up, round and back. We've got all Super Pro Dragsters sitting back in the staging lanes for ATI Performance Products, round number three. ATI Performance Products, round number three. And uh, we've got our last man standing, Calcutta's. Right? You got the kid performance in Dino, last man standing Calcutta. We're going to start marking some names off here. I hadn't really worried about our Calcutta. tower Calcutta the yet. Staff Calcutta. Yeah? I could use that. You could? I could. Well, let's just say I could have used the 10 grand. That would have <laughs> been nice, but unfortunately, I think my horse just dropped. Oh, did it? I got I to gotta find out if there's, but yeah. I got to see who I got. The, well, at least the one in the kid performance in yeah, Dino yeah. Calcutta. And it wasn't even really mine. It was for my kids, so I won't call out people my name, but thank you. You've just made a little 12-year-old cry. <laughs> <laughs> i seen him running around the whole weekend. He ain't crying. For the last two days, I should say, he's not crying. He's having a blast. All right, fine. You made his dad cry. You're crying? Oh, buck up, buttercup. We got cracks <laughs> just to announce. <laughs> I want to see who's in on this.
<sighs> you know, it's disheartening when in the staff, Calcutta, your name is the first one that gets scratched out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Victor Clark and Greg Hicks. Hicks over on the right side from here in Las Vegas. Waited to the finals on the first night of the fling on that Wednesday. Silver State refrigeration 30K. Came up a little bit short against Sean Sarah, who ended up winning that night. As Victor Clark's dialed in at 482. Greg Hicks is dialed in at 481. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. Well, that'll work. That was pretty nasty. Greg Hicks, bag of donuts up here. Isn't that what it's called? Bag of donuts. Bag of donuts. Three zeros. And shut it down at 125. We'll say that. Victor Clark, 003 red. Dead on with a donut. Red, you're dead, right? Isn't that the saying? Red and dead on. I heard you saying it earlier. There's probably a lot. More yeah. times when people are dead zero, they're red first. Right? Yeah. 100%. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you're dead two, dead three, dead four, I mean, come on. You, you go red, and then you run down there to be dead on. I'd probably shut it down just so I didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the last thing I want to see after I just cracked it right on the million-dollar race. So Hicks gets the perfect reaction time. We'll get the triple zero hero coin. Ooh, that's right. And we'll move on as Roger Thornton, Aaron Johnson, getting our next two. Right lane, Mr. Aaron Johnson gets the dub. 042 and 31 thou under. As the left lane, Mr. Roger Thornton was 24 red and shut it down because he did not want to go dead on. Because that's what would have happened. Yeah. Save himself a swear jar donation. So Mr. Aaron Johnson moving on to the next round. Might have to tighten that up a touch. Next up, Shane Carr in the right. 441 in the Silver State Dragster. He's got about 100 of them here this weekend. Taking on Josh Herman in the left out of 445. Pretty much a heads up race. I think both these drivers are still doubled. Actually, I, I know that because Mr. Marco told me about that earlier. So take care of some of our doubles here. And this one might be all sugar. And it is 007 and 200 above. Getting there, 13 thou. Left lane lights it up on the board. 445 with a three on the 445. But he was 037 up here. That ain't going to get it done against Mr. Sugar Shane Carr. Bring up Dave Mazier and Brandon Taylor. Taylor on the left side, out of Alabama with a 494 dial, and Dave Mazier. Dave's one of those guys that, just, just like anybody, once he gets on a roll, it's really tough to get him out of his group. You ain't lying, because I think last round he was double O package, both entries. He's, he's feeling it. That's pretty nasty. We'll see how much he can feel it against Brandon Taylor. Taylor with that 494. Going to be leaving first, and Dave Mazier will be doing the chasing. Barely. Jerry Lone watching in from Virginia. Thank you very much, Jerry. Appreciate that. Six thousandths of a second separate him, and oof. Brandon Taylor was 009, one above to be at the stripe first by 19 thousandths of a second. Dave let go 003. And ends up a lot above. Yeah, four above. Not good. No good. Good up here. Not good down there. No. Next up, it's pretty stout here. Mr. Spencer Massey in the left lane, doubling the dragster, parked to Nova. I don't like it, but it's his choice, not mine. Right lane, Jeff Sarah, and another Silver State Shane Thompson dragster. Already robbed Peter for 50K this morning. 
going to try and get him again for about 325 here later tonight. Heads up dial, 465. Who do you think dialed the other person heads up? You think Jeff saw the dial and said yes? You think? Yes. That's my sarcasm right there. Just curious. Because, I mean, what did Jeff run to be dead zero? I'm going to go with a lot less than 465. And he clicks Ooh. it. Two thou red and leg it, please. Shut it down. Two thou red for Mr. Jeff Sarah. Spencer Massey, 10 on the tree. Dead four. He was there. 14 total. Moving on. Has he got two? I think he's got two as well. Both those drivers had two. We got all the doubles up here early. I like it. Thank you. Next up, Gabe Torres in the left. 464. He made some noise here yesterday, the day before. The day before, I think he got down to the split round. And Chad Broom in the right from Texas. 491 is the dial. Chad's one of those guys that on all the days has been hanging around later into the round. Just looking for that one breakthrough to get him down into kind of talk and split, things like that. Wonder if it'll come here against Gabe. Advantage goes to Broom. Win light goes to Broom. 492 on a 491. He's 19. Take six thou at the stripe to be 17 thousandths of a second above. Gabe Torres was 33 green and dead nine. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we'll look and see if Sarah does come back in another one, but as they pointed out kind of in the chat bleachers, even if he doesn't come back, he's got 50 grand in his pocket. Yeah, I'm okay with it's that. It's been a good day. Sorry there. Tom Clark in the right, gonna pick up the dub as both drivers were red. Mr. Tom Clark, 008 red, left lane, 023 red, and then dead on one. Again, red and dead. You should shut it down next time. Tom Clark dips a 5,000 to the 451, and moving on to round number Quattro. Vamanos. Yeah. Hey, where's yeah, where's yeah, that yeah. guy? Where's I want to announce that guy. I think Emmanuel's. No offense. Let it, oh, no, none taken. I want to announce that guy. None taken. I don't blame you. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's got a lot of energy that he brings into this room. Yeah? Totally. No, I just want to hang out with that guy. He's fun. He's fun. <laughs> I want to hang out with him in, at the pits after it's all said and done. You ain't lying. They bring in the quality food and the quality beverages. 444, the dial for Ty Farmer on the left side. Sean Hart dialed in at 522. Well, Idaho versus Texas. Might have some flip-flop dials. Oh, no, actually, I think our next pair is actually, and I should have looked. You got funny car Chris out there in blue hay ball. Blue, double entered. He's entered with the pickup truck, and he's entered with the dragster. Funny car, Chris, 522 dial for the Gleason, Tennessee-based racer, Blue Hayball, with that 444 dial. It's going to be Sean and the Idaho-Texas matchup in the next pair. Oof. That's a lot of fours. Blue Hay Bow dialed 444, runs 444, takes the wind light by 17 thousandths of a second, or by one thou, excuse me, down at the finish line. 
Northrop was double 05. Had the bulb that he needed. Ends up one above with a 523 on a 522. Now it's going to be Ty Farmer and Sean Hart. Hmm. We're down to like dinner time. That's the tough thing about being up here is it's dinner time and you start hearing like everybody or reading what everybody in the chat bleachers is going to go have for dinner. And we're stuck working for Peter. <laughs> he doesn't feed us. <laughs> <laughs> Forgets about me in the lanes. Oh. That's all. Yeah. Well, these things happen. They do. 488 the dial for Farmer. 471 the dial for Sean Hart. Well, thank you, Algorithm. We appreciate that, man. Sean Hart, 006 on a tree, one over with a nine, getting there a little over 200s. Ty Farmer, 036 on a tree, also a hundredth above, but the problem there was the 036 let go, giving the win light to Sean Hart. Moving on to the next round in the next pair. Gordon Bovin in the right in the little shorty dragster. You're from out here. Is that the same guy that runs Super Street? Yep. That's Bovin. That's yeah. Bovin. Yeah. I in that Challenger? Yes. Yes. I seen him in the dragster walking around. And I, was, I thought it was him, and I, was, I wasn't really sure. Left lane, Ryan Stifler? Stifler. Stifler. Okay. 467's a dial in. In the regular inch dragster. Double oh eight to oh eleven. And a double breakout wind lights going to Mr. Bovin. O eleven on the tree and what is that? Thirteen thou under. Left lane, double oh eight, gets there double oh four. Say gets there. And puts it fourteen thou under. So that was one thou margin of victory. I got that right? Look, I'm smart at math. Jake Jones and Mike Coltrane coming up next. Mike over on the right side with a 445 dial. Jake with a 455 dial. Jones out of Utah. Coltrane out of Idaho. Red light start for Jake Jones by one thousandth of a second. Jake's going to go 494 bailing out of it. He didn't want to be red and dead on. Mike Coltrane 11 green and goes dead nine to end up being 20 total. Left lane was smart. Shut it down. Didn't want to be dead on. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably going dead on. Probably could have been. Five on a tree and dead on with an eight. Right lane, is that water sucks? That's water sucks. Water sucks. Double O two and two hundredths above. Getting there 14 thou. One and two one and two on a tree. Yeah, one and two on the tree. Water sucks, Don't drink water. Yep. That's right. If you want two on a tree. That's right, Randy. It That's was right. a barracuda, not a challenger that Gordy Bovin had. Yeah. Did he say the gray he, one. by you saying had? Did you typo that? Did Ooh, he sell he sold it? it? Oh, please tell me he didn't do and that. And he got a drag, so he moved to the dark side. Oh, please tell me he did not sell that. That ain't no good. We don't like that. That oh, other no, guy said no, he's no, having no. whiskey for dinner. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> right lane, Thomas Wilson out of Georgia. And 467 is the dial, and he is 16 dial behind, Mr. Don Sefton. Sefton is 009 on the tree. And 200s above, 
Right lane shut her down, might have had some problems at only 124 miles an hour. Swear jar money? $834 in the swear jar. Let me let me hold that, it'll be $734. Going to Team RFC. So somebody was just asking, how, uh, how full did we get the swear jar as Don Sefton picks up his win light? $834 going to Team RFC. Racers, thank you so much for your donations into the swear jar. I, uh, on behalf of all of us here at the Fling and on behalf of Team RFC, we certainly appreciate you all uh, chipping into the swear jar. $834, that is pretty cool. All right, thank you, Randy, for the clarification. It was a typo, not had, he has the Barracuda. Because that would be heartbreaking. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. that oh, that would be this terrible. This guy said he owned it since he was 12. 12. Vinny Domino, Kyle Seacrest, 1,000 separated him in reaction time. Win light Seacrest. 11 on the tree. Take 3,000 at the stripe. 467 on a 466. Vinny Domino was 12 green and goes 454 on a 453. And Seacrest trying to become the next American Idol here in Vegas. <laughs> That's rude. What do you mean it ain't over? It sure as heck isn't over. We've got a lot to go. And when we mention that there's still some racing to go. Yeah, even after we get done with the million, we had some weather that forced us to pause the action in our FTIPerformance.com $30,000 Friday. Depending on how early we get done with the million, we may try to get at least the conclusion of round number three in on that tonight, and then we will be back tomorrow you to finish that up. I'll be here. Do you I have a flight here. out of here? I know. You yeah, got, I know. I don't you don't have got anywhere to go? I got anywhere to go. Dude, I could sit at home on the couch and listen and type to you guys, just like everybody in the chat bleachers. We just give you a mic. You'd be like, go to your house. We got rid of your hot tub, so I ain't going to your house. <laughs> I heard all about that. <laughs> we got, we'll talk about that later. I got to drive home, so we got to hustle. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Logan War, Keith Thomas. Thomas out of Tennessee. 502 is the dial on the right side. Logan War, 457 is the dial on the left side. Wind light's going to go to Thomas. 30 green, one above. Take five thou at the strike. Logan War was 28 green and then goes 459 on a 457. Hey, uh. All right, Leslie Dugas and Trevor Larson. Larson out of Starbuck, Minnesota. 451. That's something, Tim. I mean, Leslie's down 469. You mentioned the whole thing like your dad got in a dragster every once in a while. You just prefer not? Never you know, have. Not a dragster guy? Never have, never will. Uh, no interest. I want to do wheelies. I want to have doors. I want to put my stuff on in about six seconds. Okay. No gloves, no neck collar, no nothing. You just want to go? I just want to go racing and do big wheelies. It sounds like a fun life. Lucas <laughs> turns it 006 red. <laughs> Giving the wind light to Larson. 19 dead six. Give him 25 pack. Pretty pretty reasonable. Might have to tighten that up a little bit for the next round. We gotta get into the team packages. And look at that. Left lane six. Red dead four. Shut it down if you're red, boys and girls. <laughs> Save yourself on the trip home. The agony. Next up, Joe Peters in the left, 480's the dial. And Eric Reyes in the right, 438, out of right here in Henderson, Nevada. Taking on Mr. Peters out of Texas. I, I gotta keep looking at the thing. Answer that real quick, I know we got a lot of folks that are, I mean, we're up to 2,600 viewers. Ooh. Somebody give a call. 
I'll take this one. Don't worry about it. Reyes, four dead six, ten total in the right lane. Is Peters is 30 and five thou under. Not going to get it done for the ten pack in the right lane. So Eric Reyes moving on to the next round. I think he was answering some questions. Let me see where, where we were at. The winner of Pro goes on to Super Pro Door Cars. The winner of Pro, yes, goes into Super Pro. Whether it's the ladder round when everybody's combined or just the door cars, yes, he, he goes over. The entries for today, I believe, was 296. Oh, that's correct. 296. Next up in the right, Tony Henderson. Leaving first against Val Torres Jr. Val Torres is going to get the win. 12 on the tree and dead on an 8. That's a 20 pack. As Mr. Henderson was 23 and one over with a two. A little too much package. 15 thou behind. Mr. Val Torres at the stripe and he is moving on to the next round. So I'm actually gonna slip away here. Mr. Riggins gonna jump in. He is on the clock. He's on the ladder. His time is ticking. He'll be out of here pretty soon. Just got the word. If you lost your helmet, if it fell off your dragster or fell out of your door car, or you threw it out because you lost or something, it's at the ET shack. So if you lost your helmet, it's at the ET shack and go get it or I'm selling it. That's right. Right lane, Dan Provost. Might have had something a little mixed up over there. Riggins is shaking his head. You, you must like that guy. Oh, that was your last man standing? We had Mr. Azell, but he didn't have to pull that much delay. 252 red for Provost. Johnny Azell, 007. And 400 under. Well, these things happen, Riggins. Yeah, that's like a solid flinch right there. Solid Is flinch? It, yeah, because that wouldn't even be a crossover issue. That's a flinch, probably. Yeah. But it happens. We've all... Uh, You've done it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, right. yeah. I've done says. worse. You top ballers. Hello, Steven. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on my countdown clock, so Nate's like, can you work before you leave? Or what? Sure. Oh, you're leaving. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got two and a half hours or so, but so I told him, if you want me to, I'll just stay here for the next two and a half hours, and whatever, I don't care. Eric Gold and Chris Whitfield, 15 to a 20. 5,000 separated, win line going to go to Whitfield. 15, dead zero, taking 3,000. Left Golden, absolutely nothing. 20, 2,000 under, getting their last will never work. Couldn't win. No, no. Oh, 20 against Mr. Whitfield. Not going to get it done. Absolutely not. You're just thankful he gave you 15. That's right. I mean, he's a, he's a machine. I got this right here. Race kid in the right, 463. And Mr. Gary Williams in the dragster, dialed 485. More than likely not an honest dial. That's a safe assumption. <laughs> if I was a bet man, I'd bet that that is not going to be full throttle at the eighth mile. Nope. You're probably right. So you lost on the truck, I take it then? Yes. Yep. I'm trying to keep track of our last man standing here in the tower. That was back in the day when I could hit the top. Now I'm just... That was in door car, yes. No, I'll, I'll run too, bro. This guy had doors. Do wheelies. Gary Williams, 009, one over with a trace, getting their 10th out, race kid. Blackjack up here and 11th out over down there. Ain't going to get it done against Mr. Gary Williams. I had to look for a minute. I heard Ooh. with a trace. I thought Emmanuel was back. That is me. Vamanos. Hey, hey. Hey, man, I'm impressed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought. I had no idea. Dude. Tim just broke it out. Dude, I'm telling you. Man, I'm cultured. You are. I'm very impressed. Very diverse. <laughs> Neil Pressamone, Las Vegas, Nevada. Nevada. 481 left side. Alexis Thompson. Henderson, Nevada. 461 right side. See, I've been getting that right for like four days, and all of a sudden, every once in a while, Nevada slips out. It's like, I don't get it. I don't get you. Yeah. Trust me. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up trying. your pick lose oh yeah yeah went down in the blaze of glory 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize he wasn't doubled. He was only singled, and that went down. I, well, I thought I did. I really thought I did. <laughs> yeah. I was surprised. So, two tens head start. It goes to Neil Pressamo. And Alexis is not going to be thrilled. Turns it 004 red, three foul under, and Pressamone is 40 and three above. And moving to the money rounds. So Pressamone coming back. This is the money round? What you get? What's that? What you get, a G-dub? Not a Gary Williams, a thousand? No, I don't, yeah, that's right. Yep, exactly. Okay with that. Yeah. Man. I got you. Shane Thompson in the right. Seen his daughter click a red. Probably put two in in the box. And Dennis Lithgow had the unfortunate accident in the roaster a few nights ago. Got the drag strap, so it was right. 12 to a 27. Ooh, and Lithgow breaks it out. 12 on the tree and 6 thou under. Shane Thompson, 027, dead one. 459 at a buck 44. Probably gave him a little brake pedal there. Lithgow takes 22, had to take 6 thou less than that. Not a math major, but you could do it. Shane Thompson moving on, and Lithgow is donezo for the day. Hopefully, he's in still tomorrow. All right, Corey Galitti, Tumball, Texas, 435 left side. Logan Scrivener, Sherwood, Oregon, 486 right side. Thanks, Cole Kesters, appreciate it. Six to a 10, 4,000 separate him. Here comes Galitti, when light goes Galitti. 10 take a whole lot to be three above. It's trouble for Scrivener, goes 13 above the dial. At four foul, but something something went awry with Scrivener down track. <laughs> Redeem yourself. Sean <laughs> Sean Schaefer in the right, the first day 30K, whatever day that was, Wednesday 30K winner, 459's a dial, and Mitchell Marcy in the left, dial 480, and this one should be all Sean Schaefer, and it is 009, dead 312 total, getting there seventh dial, Mitchell Marcy 33 and a couple under, as Sean Schaefer is rolling on with a 12 pack. Get a little momentum. Might get a little scary. Fred Ford, it is 325,000. All right, Ryan Barnes, Brunswick, Georgia, 454 left side. Jorge Cobrubius, Jr., 457 right side, Team Mexico. That's me. Mexico. That's me. I know. That's right. You're your team. Yeah. My teammate. <laughs> team Fletcher. Joins Team Mexico. That's Got it. it. That's <laughs> it. I'm all about it. Whatever Tacos, it takes, man. Whatever Corona. it Ten to a thirty-five advantage. Ryan Barnes. Win light goes to Barnes. Ten take fifteen to be three above. Covarubias thirty-five and two above. New Bueno. My team is dropping. Yeah, Talon Farmer left lane. Four seventy-eight to dial right lane. Cooper Chun got the three on the scoop. Doing it for Dale. Dial 503, doing it for Dale times two. This guy in the water shaking that drag stick.
as we are rolling through, probably halfway through the dragsters, more than halfway, waiting on some doubles before we do our coin flipping back there. And Cooper Shun is 002 red. He better shut it up. Oh, all right. He's 19 thou under the dial. 501 holding a little bit. Talon Farmer, pretty stout lap. 11, dead 9, 20 total. Moving on. Getting a grand. Cool hand Luke Bogacki, left side, 464 the dial. Tristan Craig, 514 the dial, right side. So one half second head start goes to Tristan. Staging battle? No. Huh. No. Luke, don't play that? No. T. Craig, play that. <laughs> I watched it the other day. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Five foul separate him. Here comes Bogacki. Win line. Cool hand. 11 dead, zero taken, six. Tristan Craig is 16 dead, one. You'll take it most any day at most any time. Except when you look over Bogacki's the other side. Luke, moving on. That is a... a Big, big problem right there. He is rolling in the yep. buggy. Yep. Rolling in the dragster. Yep. He's worked too much this week. That ain't no good. <laughs> yeah, no. I said, I've never seen him work on his stuff that much. I mean, he's had it tore apart literally all week. I said, yeah. So now he might just be mad. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's, he's work pissed. He's driving. And he's showing it. Yes. Right lane mark, kid. 449. Kid performance in Dino is the last man standing, right? So we're getting some of their money too? Well, well this we isn't. Somebody oh, yeah, yours to. lost. Yeah, mine's done. Yeah, somebody's right. going to. Somebody's going to. Yeah. A lot of money up for grabs today on the million dollar day, the Silver State million dollar day. Victor Clark in the left. 038 on the tree. And turns it into a win light. 038, dead on with a three. 41 total. Mark Kidd might have gave that one up. <laughs> 13 and. 34th out over, 452 at 146. He looks about 12 to 14 short, doesn't he? Use, your, use your own judgment on that one. Yeah. Mark Kidd gave it up. Victor Clark moving on with a 41 pack. Don't matter. $1,000 in his pocket. Yellow. Roger Wayne Thornton, 473 left side. Kyle Coltrera, Elliot Main, 478 right side. Yeah, somebody's going to win that last man standing. I'm going to find my guy and ask him for my $100. <laughs> Great job today. Can I get a hundo? I'm with you. Now, oh, there we go. So say this might turn into one. The chat bleachers turned into uh this is big old Spanish conversation. It really did. I didn't get any of it. I love it. Oh, Roger Wayne Thornton, 21 red. Coltrera, 27. Takes a foot out of it. He didn't want to go dead on winning. He's like, ah, forget it. I'm good. I know this thing will go. Yeah. Probably smart on his part. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Next pair, we're getting into some of our doubles coming back, I see. Because we have Spencer Massey and Jeremy Soros. I say that right? Soros? Soros? All right, that's what you've been calling him. It's probably not right. It's probably not right. 481 for Soros and 466 for Spencer Massey. Got his first one through. Looking to stay doubled going into fourth round. Keep the thousand dollars rolling. Probably not gonna happen. 
Unfortunately for Mr. Spencer Massey, dead two down there. Let's see how good your math is. Don't look at the screen. Oh, you're already looking. Right lane, 006 on the tree and 31 thou above. Getting it done. Spencer Massey, 045 on the tree. Might have sneezed right as the top was coming on or something. What do you think? Yeah, Looked it's, away. It's possible. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Big old sneeze. Yeah. So you you were gonna have me do math or something? I was. I was yeah. wondering where looking at. That's the, the good news. I can't read well, but I can I can do math. <laughs> I, can, I can add and subtract. Don't get to you know algebra or anything like that, but I can I can add and subtract. Hey, there is Chris Galindi. We just talked about him. He's yeah. here, he's here. Four fifty five right side, Tumball, Texas. Josh Herman, Pueblo, Colorado. Josh dropped one of his entries earlier, so he's down to one. So he's fighting for his life here. Four forty five, and he's gonna be fighting real hard because Galindi's in control. And gets the win light, 004, take 21. One above nine, 23 total. Herman, 39, dead five, no good. That'll end Josh Herman's run as a million. Manuel's not here. You got Riggins and Timothy. That's right. I'm sorry. That's right. But Tim is bilingual. It's good. I yeah. am. Yeah, he's got this. Bilingual? I am too. I speak dumb and dumber. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Hello out there in chat, Bleacher Lamp. Oh, here you go, Timbo. That's a good we one. Got, I was looking down. Dave Mazir, left lane, and Mr. Jeff Sarah in the right. Dave Mazir crushing a tree the last couple rounds. It's been double O. Missed the dial a little bit on the first entry. Make it back. Both these drivers dropped their first entry. Sarah lost the first one and back around to make some noise against Dave Mazir. Sarah's already around him, it looks like, and gets the win like 006 and 466 with a d zero, excuse me, taking 3,466 at 133. Probably, I know I'm not good at like knowing what drags should go, but I know that's not all out. That ain't close. Yeah. He's he's probably down 12 to 15. I knew that one. Yeah. I don't well, know just because of her. one, you know he always is. Fair. It, yeah. I don't Fair. know what I don't know what that thing would ever go. I'm not sure if he knows where it'll go. A lot. You think he scrubbed on the Brodix run? Oh, yeah. He said he did. Down, did he? Four, down four mile an hour. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Yeah. It's crazy. Gabe Torres, La Puente, California, 464 left side. Aaron Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, 488. Twenty four hundred ten start goes to Aaron Johnson, Gabe Torres. I think Gabe did have two, I believe like he yeah, dropped one as well. I think he dropped the first one. Yeah. I was so riveted listening to you and Nate announce, I just I just lost track of what was really going on, just caught up in just the dialogue. Was I putting you to sleep? <laughs> oh Nate. 10 to a 26, advantage Torres. He's bound and determined not let this one slip away. And gets the win light, 10 take three. Going to one above five, 25 total. Aaron Johnson was locked down, 26 on the starting line. Yeah, you are right, Steven. He did already win 50,000, but I guarantee he's not satisfied. He's won, he's won all of it. I'm with it. I want all of it. Yeah, me too. We're working, we're working for minimum wage. Right. I was going to say, I just come here because I, at least I know I'm leaving with something, even if it's very little. It's yeah. Fine, yeah. Know, racing right. that just. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Shane Carr on the right. Sugar Shane. 442 is the dial. Coy Collier in the left. And I think uh, Galetti Dragster, isn't it? Where's that fancy camera Pete got? 493 is the dial for Collier. And he is all zeros up here against Mr. Sugar. And turns it into a win light. Triple zero and one over with a seven. Shane Carr 11 and 11 thou above. Behind five thou down there. So Coy Collier takes out Sugar Shane. I think he's still got one. He does. He does, I got told. 
So Sugar's down to one. Mazir's down to one. Sarah's down to one. Gabe's down to one. We're crushing these doubles. Yeah. We're beating up on each other. It's not us. They really are. Yeah. It has nothing to do with me and you. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Greg Hicks. 481 left side. Mike Barber. Roy Ersford, Pennsylvania. 459 right side. So Greg Hicks has been uh, solid all week. He got his first one through. He did. So he got one through already, Tim told me. So trying to make it two. And he is in. Oh. All right, everybody, this is my sign-off. I got yelled at by Pete to go back outside and cook. <laughs> so now I got to deal with Riggins and Mr. Nate. So I'll see you guys at Galat, maybe tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Riggins is leaving. I'm out. He's leaving us? Yep. A couple Lucky. hours from now, you'll be, you'll be wide open seat. Get his 100-hour check and bounce. <laughs> exactly. <I'm> He's <laughs> got to go. All right, so the question is, you know, what's going on here? We got Greg Hicks, we got Mike Barber. Unfortunately, something interfered with the lights down at the finish line on Mike Barber's side of the racetrack. As soon as he left the line, the timing system immediately registered that he was at the finish line and unfortunately ended the race prior to them reaching the finish line. What that means is we are going to need to do a rerun between Greg Hicks and Mike Barber. So that final pair will be a rerun. We're going to get Hicks and Barber back into the staging lanes as quickly as we possibly can. But it's one of those things where something interfered with the beams. It doesn't happen frequently. Matter of fact, it rarely happens, but it does happen. So in that situation... Greg Hicks and Mike Barber will need to do a rerun. But again, the timing system immediately registered that there was something going on shut off the timing on mike barber's side of the racetrack and there will need to be a rerun
All right, so just uh, getting some things squared away, getting it ready for that rerun that's going to happen between Mike Barber and Greg Hicks. Again, unfortunately, had something that uh, interfered with the sensor down there at the right lane finish line. And unfortunately, uh, it immediately stopped the clocks. So we do need to do a rerun between Greg Hicks and Mike Barber. We are going to get that situated. We'll get that taken care of before we continue on with our spring fling million. That was going to put a uh, that would be going to put a, a a period on round number three. But we got to come back and make sure that we do this and get it done the right way. All right. That still sounds a little hot. But maybe it's just because we got the volume turned up. That'll be all right. That will be all right. We're going to go ahead and uh, go back into live. Again, ATI Performance Products, round number three. Almost wrapped up until it wasn't. So Mike Barber, they're getting the car situated and ready to get back up here. Greg Hicks, they're getting the car situated and ready to get back up here. And we will get the rerun done and taken care of. In the meantime, I'm just going to roll out of here and leave Steve to flounder. I mean, it's okay. I, got, I mean, I'm going to leave you later, so I, I feel kind of <laughs> bad. I, I got to give a quick shout out. I got to give a quick shout out to Brad Liggett and say, boiler up. And so it's, uh, there you go, Brad. It, that hurt me as an avid IU guy, but uh, Purdue's still in the state of Indiana. They did play uh, not very well for a while and then pretty exceptional down the stretch. So, so boiler up. They'll be in the national championship game. And uh, Joshua Hodges, to answer your question, yes, I will be there. And hey, Brandon Dillman, there you go. See that boiler up? I'll give that to you too. So, shout out to my Indiana, Hoosier, my, my Hoosier people back there. I don't want to say those two words together. Hoosier people? Context. What? Yeah, well, I started some my Indiana Hoosier people, but they're not. They're like my Indiana Boilermaker people. Got it. So, I was just thinking it more like Hoosier people. What? Yeah, I don't. Ha I don't have that many people. These are my people. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. Hey, racers, your attention, please. Racers, your attention, please. Racers. All right. For those of you that are either still racing the million or are here because you are still in for the ATIPerformance.com $30,000 race. So again, we are talking specifically about the ATIPerformance.com $30,000 Friday. When we had to suspend racing last night, we were uh, just about done with Super Pro Door Car in round number three and we were getting ready to get into Dragsters round number three. So with that, I wanted to give you guys a heads up as far as what the schedule looks like for today. If you had already run and won in round number three, you're not gonna need to worry about tonight. If you had yet to run in round number three of the ATIPerformance.com 30K Friday, we are going to try to get through round number three tonight. So again, if you are already done in round number three, if you had run 
and one, and we're moving on to round number four, you're going to be good. So if you'd like to kind of make some other plans, it is not our intention to go any farther than the completion of round number three tonight. So again, we are looking at wrapping up the million. Once we get the million wrapped up, then at that point, the most we are going to do tonight is complete round number three. Now, we're not guaranteeing that we're going to get round number three completed tonight. That is obviously going to be dependent upon whether, you know, just how long it takes us to finish up the million. But at this point, we're looking pretty good as far as getting the million finished up. Once we finish the million, we will run the remainder of round number three tonight. Round number four will start tomorrow morning. So again, if you are in the ATI Performance dot com 30k friday have already run like if you were in pro or super pro door car in round number three of yesterday's race you are pretty much in a good spot we will start round number four tomorrow morning that is our intent as of now our plan is to get through the remainder of round number three and start everyone fresh in the morning in round number four we do not intend to go any deeper than round number three but again, that is still dependent upon whether or not we get the million done in a timely fashion. If we continue at this pace and get the million done in a timely fashion, then at that point, we will go ahead and finish the remainder of round number three tonight. So again, if you were in round number three yesterday at the ATI Performance 30K and had already run, you're okay. I just want to make sure that, you know, you can kind of make plans for the evening that you're not sitting around only to find out that we're not going to go any farther. So, again, if you had already raced in round number three of the ATI 30K Friday and had won, moved on, whatever, then at that point you are good. Round number four is scheduled to start tomorrow. The remainder of round number three from the ATI performance 30K Thursday is what we intend on running tonight. So if you're not in the million, you are still in in round number three in Dragster and haven't run yet, or still in round number three in Door Car and hadn't run yet, please make sure that uh, you stick around. Make sure that you are ready for that. Otherwise, and we'll talk about that again here in a little bit just to make sure that it's clear. But for right now, we are going to put a period on ATI Performance Products round number three for the million Right now, Greg Hicks, Mike Barber, had to come back for a rerun. Barber, right side, Greg Hicks, left side. So they are going right back into the exact same lanes that they were in. Obviously, they can change the dials if they wanted to, but they needed to stay in those same lanes. Greg Hicks, left side, trying to stay alive in two entries for $325,000 today. Mike Barber's 001 this time on the tree and goes 460 on a 459 to get the win light. Greg Hicks is 18 green and then runs 482 on a 481. Barber will stay in and Hicks will drop in one of his entries. That will put a period on the ATI performance round number three we're getting into Luis pro round number three coming up now Bo mccarty 605 left side charlie lockhart 587 right side and lockhart is in trouble oh and then bug says nah never mind you can have it anyway double oh one take 43 to be five thou under had to take 38 or less bug will be sick lockhart 36 dead three for the win line
Jason England, 577 left side. Brian Cerruti, 635 right side. And Cerruti jumps out. A couple hunt in his pocket, found the brake pedal, 005. One above seven, 22 total, locks out Jason England, 32 and 18 foul under. Jacob Phelps, Nampa, Idaho, 634 right side on the by run here in Loris Pro. Seventeen on the starting line. Goes six thirty eight on the six thirty four. Here we go. Garrett Griffith, Alexandria, Kentucky, 602 left side. Jeff Verde, Glen Allen, Virginia, 592 right side. Tenth of a second head start goes to G-Man. Four foul, separate him. Win light goes to Garrett Griffith. It's Jeff Verde, 20. Take 24 to be 15 foul under. Had to take nine or less. Garrett Griffith, 24, dead five for the win line. Christy, that's unfortunately correct, but there's no way around it. Michael Miller, 582 left side, Troy Grant, Golden, Colorado, 632 right side. Five to a 21, advantage Miller. Win light, Miller, five and one above two, 17 total, locks out Troy Grant, 21 and four thou under. Correct, Troy. Everybody's got plenty of data. Matt Dattis, Norwalk, Ohio, 621 left side. Nathan Bradford, Clispell, Montana, 601 right side. Red Torque Systems, round number four. Matt Dattis with the advantage. Win light. Dattis, 009, five above as Nathan Bradford drove it way out right and ends up nine above. Dattis, your winner. Andrew D. Piazza, Long Grove, Illinois, 520 in the left side. Rod Taylor, Coach Bell, Montana, 532 in the right lane. Dragster doubles to the lanes for Rad Torque Systems round number four. Dragster doubles, we need you to the lanes at this time for Rad Torque Systems round number four. Dragster doubles at this time. So D.P. and Taylor, here we go. We're separated by 11 thou. D.P. trying to drive around Taylor. Can he get there? Finish line, he does not, but he gets the wind line as Taylor. Is 006, take 42 to be seven foul under. Had to take 35 or less. Di Piazza, 17 and two above for the win light.
Chad Sandlin, Burleson, Texas, left side on a 6.53. Peeps Pennington, 5.15 right side. Dial to 515 in the Roadster. Double O five red for Peeps Pennington. Give the win to Chad Sandlin. 22 and under by 7 thou. Peeps was under by 7 thou as well, but ended it on a red line. All right, Philip Pennington, you have a prize for waiting for you. If you can come to the Diva desk at your convenience to pick it up, Philip Pennington, you have a prize. So come to the Diva desk and get it claimed, and we'll get you uh, get you your prize. Gary Humphreys, Mullica Hill, New Jersey, 626 to dial. Luke Bogacki, Carterville, Illinois, 475. And Luke, Luke's going to get another one. Humphreys, 001 red, two above. Bogacki just continues to make solid laps. 11 dead, 415 total. He had some mechanical struggles with the Roadster earlier in the week and thrashed and thrashed on it to get it ready for today. And we'll say uh, it's ready. Good lap there for Luke. Jeremy Waterman on the solo out of Hera, Washington. 535. Double O four for Waterman, and goes six or goes five thirty five nine on the five thirty five thirteen total for Jeremy Waterman. All right, Mandy, so uh, how should it be? Oh, everybody, right? All right, I will now take all dragsters, all dragsters who are left in Rad Torque Systems round number four. We'll take all dragsters. To the lanes for Rad Torque Systems round number four. All dragsters will take you at this time, please.
Well, 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 you know, the... it's the old story. You do well, you win a couple of races, and then right away, everybody's against you, everybody's your enemy. You know, it's not fair, but that's the way it is. Watch carefully, the stock eliminator finals are always so close. And how about this? Sal Biondo takes the win. It's the 100th final for the Biondo family, and it's a winning one for Sal. Sal Biondo, Peter Biondo, many, many, many national event wins. Of course, brother Peter has won any number of sportsman championships. For the third time in the last 12 years, here at Maple Grove, Peter Biondo, Sal Biondo, both win their respective eliminators at the same national event. Biondo Racing Products, a family-owned and operated business, now in the 35th year of racers, providing racers with over 50 years of racing experience and expertise. Please check us out at BiondoRacing.com. So, Mandy, are you saying like Cali? Cali spell? Is that right? Good care of you. I mean, it's can't go to a better bracket race ever. It all started as a list Peter and Kyle made in 2010. Bristol was the place, but with a dismal forecast right before that very first spring fling, attendance took a hit. The racing was great, but they suffered a big loss on the event. They didn't think they'd ever put on another race together again. But, from the beginning, you supported the Flames. You've helped make them what they are. And from our heart, we say thank you for 15 years.
Edward, me too. Ed, me too. That makes three of us. <laughs> Update. Well, the street lights are coming on. The sun is beginning to go, go, to go down. The shadows are completely gone from the racetrack because there is no sunshine left. The temperature is very comfortable outside. No breeze. It's a beautiful day to be racing here at the Strip at Las Vegas, <laughs> Nevada. I'm just struggling with pronunciations. Yeah, Life's good. It's, it's tough. It's Life's tough. good. <laughs> I'm about to leave an hour, hour and a half or so and go get some hooked on phonics. Oh, you know. Apparently didn't work the first time. And apparently saying Kalispell is not the right way to say no. it. And then when we're told to say Kalispell, it's, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We're doing our best. We're doing our best. I mean, yeah. I did my best. I got best, education in Muncie, Indiana. I don't know what you expect from me. I guess my best wasn't good enough. <laughs> That's right. Hmm. No, it's, it, it is beautiful out here. We are rolling around for Rad Torque Systems round number four. It is going to be really good. <laughs> no, we got nothing against Montana. We love, we love Montana. Because isn't it supposed to be like mountains? I mean, Montana, mountains? So you'd say more like Mountainay? Montanyard? Montaner? See, and that, so, point... Point proven, right? We've got Ding. folks that live in geographical areas that you ask a couple of different people that live outside of Boise. Some will say it's Boise. Some will say it's Boise. We've got somebody here with us that lives an hour south of Kalispell, and he's saying that it's Kalispell. So what we need is for everybody that lives in those geographical areas Get it together. To, to have a conference and decide. And then once they've decided amongst themselves, then they can just give us a sheet. Yeah, can we all just get along? Can't yeah. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, Austin, for that. Thank you for Why my phonetics. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Oh, that man. That was good. I'm just saying. It's awesome. All right, here we go. Hey, this is great, Nate. These these are two these are two cities and states I can say. This is great. Brandon Taylor, Roanoke, Alabama, 494 left side. Jeff Sarah, Adamstown, Pennsylvania, 461 in the right, 494 in the left. Mandy, I've been the announcer here in Vegas for 20 years. I would love for you to come up and introduce yourself. Come, come meet me. Come, come up and say, I pronounce what? Weibo? I don't know. Jeff Sarah, 003, one above two, 15 total, taking nothing. Zero, 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 three. Brandon Taylor, 15, dead zero. No good. Jeff Sarah continues the march. Mr. Umberger, you don't want me to. Struggling with the ones I have. Please don't add to my list of failures. <laughs> Victor Clark, Boise, Idaho, 482 left side. Kyle Coltrera, Elliott, Maine, 478 right side. Yeah, I remember. That's pretty good. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh. 
<laughs> Look, it, it was a little fun. We're all having a little fun. That was awesome. One foul separate them. Finish line. Who's it going to be? Light it up for Kyle Coltrera. 21 dead, 4, 25 total, taking 16. Victor Clark, 20 and 2 above. Talon Farmer, Abilene, Texas, 478 left side. Shane Thompson, Henderson, Nevada, 457. 2100 head start. Going to go to Talon Farmer on the left side. Shane Thompson going to give chase. Two to a 22. Advantage, Thompson. Win light, Thompson. Two take 11 to be two above eight. 30 total. Talon was 22. Goes one above nine to be 11th thou on the wrong side. Shane Thompson moving on. Don Sefton, Bremerton, Washington, 463 left side, Greg Hicks, North Las Vegas, Nevada, 481 for Greg. Larice Pro to the lanes for round number five, please. Larice Pro, we need you to the lanes for round number five. Larice Pro for who's your round five, we need you to the lanes, please. And Greg turns it three, foul, red. Don Sefton, 19 dead, nine, 28 total. Greg takes his foot out of it, and that will end his run at the million. G-Dub, Gary Williams, Bradenton, Florida, left side on a 484. Chad Broom, Fort Worth, Texas. The Miller entry, dialed a 492. Going to leave first by 800s. Double 06 to a 24. Advantage G Dub. When line going to go to G Dub. Double 06 take 19 to be one above two. 18 total. Chad Broom was locked out. 24 on the starting line. Goes one above three. Had no chance. Blue hay ball, Shane Carr, 18 to a 21. When light drops for Carr, 21 dead two, 23 total. Hay ball, 18, one above six, no good. Val Torres Jr. Chino, California, 466 left side. Aaron Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, 488 in the right side. I do. Whoever just asked about the buy. 
It's uh, it's like Saruti. Just gave you that one, Teresa. Brian Saruti. So Val Torres, Aaron Johnson, here we go. 11th out, separate him. Val Torres charging hard, cannot get there. Aaron Johnson, 23, one above one, 34 total. Torres was 34 on the starting line. Had to go dead zero to have a chance, but goes 16 thou above to be 16 thou behind. Neil Presimo in Las Vegas, Nevada, 482 in the left side. Keith Thomas, Madisonville, Tennessee, 503. Red line start for Neil Presamone, double O nine red. Keith Thomas, 17 and 7 thou under. All right, Greg Hicks, congratulations. You've won $500 to Autometer. Greg Hicks, congratulations. You have won $500 to Autometer. Spencer Massey, Fort Worth, Texas, 465 in the left side. Chris Galitti, Tumball, Texas, 453 right side. Thirteen to a thirty-one advantage. Galitti, win light. Galitti, thirteen dead seven twenty total. Spencer Massey, thirty-one and a thou under getting there last. Had no chance. Galitti moving on. Gabe Torres, La, La Puente, California, 464 left side. Eric Mann, water sucks. Somerville, Georgia, 455 on the right side. Eighteen to a nine. Torres has raced to win, but no. Nine, take 12 to be 12 thou under. Eric Mann under by nine thou. Water sucks, but Eric doesn't. He's moving on. Eric Mann. Johnny Zell, 453 left side. Tom Clark, 450 right side. Eighteen to a thirty-nine. Ezel with the advantage and no win light. Tom Clark thirty-nine dead five as Ezel takes twenty-eight to be two thou under. Corey Galitti, Tumball, Texas, 435 left side. Jeremy Soares out of British Columbia, Canada, 480 to the dial. Yeah. 
Eight to a two. Finish line goes Corey Galitti. 008 dead zero. Man alive. Jeremy Soares is two take 13 to be seven foul under. Had to take six or less. Ryan Barnes, Brunswick, Georgia, 453 left side. Kyle Seacrest, Nortman, Oklahoma, 466 the dial. Ninth out, separate him on the starting line. Finish line going to go to Ryan Barnes, 004, one above six. As Kyle Seacrest had a shot, 13 take eight to be a foul under. Had to take seven or less. Ryan Barnes moving on. Sean Hart, Boise, Idaho, 470 on the left side. Eric Reyes, Henderson, Nevada. 438. We'll now take Super Pro Door Cars to the lanes for round number five, please. Super Pro Door Cars to the lanes for Hoosier round number five. Super Pro Door Cars to the lanes for round number five. And Larice Pro, you should already be in the lanes for round number five. So Larice Pro and Super Pro Door Cars, you should be in the lanes or heading to the lanes for Hoosier round number five. Five to an 11. Sean Hart left first, took a few foul with him. Finish line, no. Gets there first by eight foul. Had to take five or less. Eric Reyes, 11, and a foul under. Breaks it out the least to turn on the wind light. Eric Reyes going to return for round number five. Sean Schaefer, Boise, Idaho, 458 in the left side. Gordon Boven, Boise, Idaho, 470 right side. Going to get 1,200 head start from Sean Schaefer. Heck yeah, that's right, Edwin. We got to get these likes up. Come on, I'll be leaving here in an hour. Let's get these things up over 2,000 likes. We haven't hit that this week. Let's hit it before I go home. Schaefer with nine foul in his pocket. Win light Schaefer, 18, dead seven, 25 total. Taking 10 foul. Gordon, 27, dead eight, 35 total, no good. So we're set at 1,400. We got 2,900 watching. It means 1,500 of you have not liked the feed. So I'm asking you, scroll down the chat, click that thumb, make it go solid color. Let's get up over 2,000 before I peel out of here in the next hour. Go catch my plane home. Fifteen hundred of you watching have not liked the stream. That's how we raise our awareness. If you have not subscribed, please do that as well. That way you stay up on all the content from the Flings Race Series YouTube page. This coverage brought to you by Jags and Hoosier. We are appreciative of them for helping us bring you this live feed from the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million, presented by Optima Batteries here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Chris Whitfield, 463 left side. Mike Coulter, 445 on the right side. And Whitfield lights it up a foul red. Mike Coulter gets by with one, 42 and four foul under. And Whitfield bows out with a foul red. Thank you, Brandon. All right, we pushed it up over 1,500. Come on, 500 more. There's 1,400 of you watching 
that have not liked the feed. Come on. Let's get up over 2,000. We haven't hit it all week. Let's hit it today on Silver State Million Day. Trevor Larson, Starbuck, Minnesota, 451 left side. Luke Bogacki, still in in the Roadster, still in in the Dragster, trying to take them both to Hoosier round five. Down to 463, getting 1,200's head start. He's got the advantage here. Luke is on a mission, and he lights it up. Five, take 15, goes one above 520 total. Trevor Larson was 18, had to go dead two to have a shot. He's one above seven to be behind by 15 thou at the finish line. Thank you, Tony V. Appreciate that. And Luke Bogacki rolling on. No, Kevin, um, I understand. You, uh, yeah, when you have it on TVs, I understand you can't like it, but you liked it from your phone. That's all we can ask. I get it. But it would count as three viewers. You are right. If you got it on all of them, that, that would show up that way. But that's okay. All we're asking is anybody that can, you know, if you got your phone or your iPad or whatever you're watching it on, click the like and help us raise awareness of our page. Quick call your Mike Barber. Call your turns at 9th thou red, Mike Barber 11 and 10th thou under. Call your was 200s under after the red light start. Payout is $325,000. Yeah, we're up over 1,500. Come on, let's get 500 more likes here in the next hour. I mean, we could get it here in the next five minutes. All you got to do, take the chat, grab the little bar, pull it down, look at your thumb. Look at the thumbs up. If it's not solid, then you haven't liked it. So that's all we're asking you to do. Just like the page, share the page. For your own good, subscribe to the page. That way you stay up with all the updates from the Flings Race Series because we'll be in Galat here in just a few weeks. And we're going to do this all over again. There we go. We went to 1,600. We're moving it. Let's go. 400 more. Let's get this thing to 2,000. We got 2,900 viewers. We got 1,600 likes. We need. Hey, Eric Cantrell, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I've got a wonderful partner helping me carry the load this week for sure. Very thankful for the opportunity that Pete gave me this week. It was, uh, be honest, it was one I probably thought I would expire from this earth without ever having the opportunity. Pete's got guys out here in the West Coast and and uh, never expected that phone call to come for him to say, hey, you want to go to Vegas? So I'm very, very thankful, very blessed to uh, to have spent the last several days out here in Vegas with Nate. Just, uh, man, one of the best in the business for sure. And I'm not saying that because he's sitting next to me. I'd say it, I'd, I'd say it to his face, behind him, doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a blessing to be surrounded by this amazing – fling team that uh that peter's assembled and uh especially the on track crew they have literally busted it this week and we're thankful for every every member of this team and this track staff we couldn't couldn't do what we do without them but like i said i would love nothing more than be able to be able to board an airplane tonight knowing that there's 2000 likes on this stream today that would make me that would cap off my week and don't forget, they'll be here tomorrow as well to finish up the 30K from yesterday. So you'll get a kind of a bonus day tomorrow. Justin, it's okay. I understand, bud. <laughs> All right. So we're going to uh, give these guys a, some time to get things together, cool them down, and get them back and all those things. So we're going to step back, and we're going to play some ads, pay some bills, and we'll be back here shortly with Hoosier Round 5.
All right, so before we go to the ads, I, I don't know if you were like me and you're sitting there wondering what in the world is on our is on our screen. So Warren just informed me that there was a SpaceX launch, and that's what that was. So that's pretty cool, neat stuff. So, uh, Teresa, I'm, I let that know earlier, but that's Brian. Brian has it. Hey, Dane, thank you so much. We're up over 1,700. Keep it moving. Let's get over 2,000 before we go back to Hoosier Round 5. I'm going to play some ads, and uh, we'll be back here shortly. Mosier Engineering has been racing across five decades through three generations of racers and is proud to have been supporting sportsman ranks since the beginning. Everything we make from axles, rear ends, suspension, and brakes are made here in the USA with one goal in mind, so you can win. Check us out online at MosierEngineering.com or call and talk to our knowledgeable and friendly technicians at 260-726-6689. The best quality and the best support, only Mosier Engineering. With a 40-year history of technological innovation and engineering, Optima batteries offer unstoppable power for extreme enthusiasts and others who require the ultimate power source. Optima batteries were the first high-performance AGM automotive batteries in existence and revolutionized the industry with their unique spiral cell technology. Look for the distinctive Optima six-pack shape and get the ultimate power source. Silver State Refrigeration is your source for all of your refrigeration needs in Nevada, Arizona, and California. Starting in 2003 with only two employees, Silver State now employs over 300 people servicing both commercial and residential customers. All Silver State technicians are both EPA and NATE certified and have a AA plus rating with both the Arizona and Nevada State Contractors Board. Please call Silver State Refrigeration for all your refrigeration needs at 702-433-5008. Larice Motorsports Insurance offers drag racers the broadest insurance policies in the industry and recently introduced their new coverage for bracket racers. Larice Motorsports Insurance was created by racers for racers and can ensure your racing operation on and off the track. Larice is now offering the Larice Perfect Package bonus at each fling event. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Larice Motorsports Insurance today. Advanced Product Design, also known as APD, has quickly become the go-to place for carburetors in the world of big buck bracket racing and NHRA racing. Join world champions Luke Bagaki, Jimmy Lewis, and Christopher Dodds, and let APD help power you to your next win. Carburetors, throttle stops, and fuel systems. APD. At FTI Performance, we are proud to be associated with a top-notch brand like the Spring Fling. Dedicated to the racer, our continued commitment to the best customer service in the industry is what separates us from the rest. Join the FTI family and join the list of winners who depend on the power and reliability of FTI to get to the winner's circle. Visit FTIPerformance.com today. True Start. A product of CompuLink has been used at all fling events since 2016 and now used at over 50 tracks nationwide. In a double red light situation, True Start awards the win to the racer who red lights by the least, regardless of handicapped start. True Start was created to level the playing field by equalizing the pressure for both drivers regardless of which driver's tree drops first. High performance, low prices. Get the parts you need now at Jags High Performance. Free same-day shipping of an extensive selection of a million items from over 600 brands. Jags offers unmatched value through everyday low pricing. Find it cheaper and we'll match it. 
Click on Jags.com today. 100% satisfaction and lifetime support included with every order. The place for performance since 1960. Jags. For more than six decades, ATI has been helping sportsmen racers get to the winner's circle. Bracket racing takes consistency, and you can count on that from ATI. Our advanced engineering, precision in-house manufacturing, real-world race experience, and passion for the sport can help you turn on the wind light round after round. All right, and we're back. Jacob Phelps, Nampa, Idaho, 637 left side. Charlie Lockhart, 587 right side. We are in Larice Pro. We are in Hoosier, round number five. So half second head start goes to Jacob Phelps left side. Charlie Lockhart going to give chase. Big advantage for Charlie. And the wind light, 002, take four to be one above. And Jacob Phelps was late and going under, just trying to run for his life. But Lockhart laying down 12 total here in the semifinals of Larice Pro. And stop me if you've heard this before. Here comes Brian Cerruti on the bye. He'll return for the pro final, and that's going to be flat nasty. Brian Cerruti and Charlie Lockhart. So, Brian Surdy, 636 out of Niles, Ohio. Quick shout-out to a couple of my buddies named Justin, Justin Wanamaker and the Wanamaker clan. I'm sure they're all watching, and Justin Daniels and Danielle and Deckard. All watching us here at the, well, I'm sure Deckard's in bed. And I'm sure the Wanamaker kids are in bed, but, you know, 634-4 on the 636 for Brian Surdy. Dane Norris, that means a lot. Thank you so much. I'm definitely very, very blessed to be here. Blessed for the opportunities of coming my way. Definitely not worthy of them, but thankful for them. So that completes Larice Pro Semifinals. All right, so back on the uh, the feed watch likes. We're still at 1,700. We kind of stagnated there. We got 2,700 watching, so there's 1,000 of you. Still have it, so help a brother out. And by that, I mean Nate. Help Nate out. Do it, do it for Nate. Don't do it for me because that might be a struggle to get, but do anything for Nate. Yeah, well, we got to the point where it's dark enough now, and I – Put the contacts in today so I don't have the uh, progressive, so I've got to go to the old man reader glasses well, in order to be able to see what's going on on the screen. Well, that's okay. You're doing, you're doing great. Yeah. I had those a while back. I went to the eye doctor and had the single-handed worst eye exam I've ever had in 46 years of Earth. And uh, I was uh -oh. way overpowered. I, I could see from here to the – I could probably see from here to the moon, but couldn't, couldn't read anything. She's like, well, I told you he's going to need readers. I'm like, I didn't walk in with readers. <laughs> so we got that fixed. So thank goodness the uh, the contacts are working now, and I can read the screen and read my phone and do all those things. That is a good thing. Yeah, it was. It was getting a little scary for a while. Yeah, it's always bad when you can't see. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I told her, I said, I don't, I don't need to see the moon. Just Sometimes. Read. Actually, you know what? Actually, this is Vegas. And if you've ever been, ever been out people watching, sometimes it is better when you can't see. You know, the, the airport was a good example of that. Yes, it is. Yeah, so I'm going to get another education here in another hour or so. Yes, it and is. I'll remember again. 
That was the most lively airport I've ever been in in my life. It felt like there was six casinos in there. Yep. And then the people. That's it. It's all I must say. It's all about the people. Yes. Yes. It's all about the people. Yeah, Dane, that, that could be possibly true, but to be totally honest, I don't have anything that would make it to Vegas to tow it out here. I'd have to FedEx it out here or something. <laughs> the uh the Maverick will make a fling later in the year. We're gonna we're gonna take it to Bristol later in the year, so we'll get we'll get that experience again. Yep. You get the Maverat? Yeah. Yep. I like that name. Thanks. Yeah, my dad did that a long time ago. 80, the Maverats. It's a pretty cool name. 84. That's what happens when you, you're raising kids and you don't have a lot of money and you've got a Ford Maverick sitting around you've got a big block Chevy sitting around. So they just put them together and that's what you get. So it's the uh, car I've raced for the last almost yeah, 20. This will be 29 years. Gosh, that's scary. 29 years. Yep, I raced it longer than my dad I did. So. Four score and seven years ago. That, that's what life's beginning. We started a racing program Yeah. at the Riggins' house. That's right. That's right. The Civil War had just ended. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, Oh, good. My dad's in bed, so he won't be going, hey. <laughs> That's right. JJ's his favorite announcer, too. So it's no big deal. My, I was in was in Galat last year. My dad yeah. texted me and said, when's JJ coming back on? I'm like, wow. Dude, that's awesome. That's kind of rough. <laughs> that is, but it's awesome. It is. It JJ, really is. I like JJ. Yeah, JJ's you, one of my favorite announcers as well. You have to. He's one of my favorites, too. You're on my list. Jared's on my list. I'm on a lot of lists, Nate. Oh. I'm not sure if they're, you know, favorite announcer lists, but I'm, I'm on some lists. Of course, I've always been super lucky and... It seems like most of, well, you know what? All of the guys I've had the opportunity to work with have all been really good folks. And, Steve, you are definitely somebody that uh, I enjoy working with and hope that we get the opportunity to work together very, very soon. You are a talent and a blessing to those that listen to you. Well, I appreciate that, and I feel the same about you. It's been too long, and I was so glad and jumped at the opportunity. So thank you for that. You make it easy. All right, here we go. Who's your round five? Door cars, Garrett Griffith, six flat the dial left side, Andrew DiPiazza, Long Grove, Illinois, 521 the right side, a couple of Midwest guys doing battle out here in Vegas. <laughs> Dane, you are right. <laughs> you are correct. He said that Maverats looked the same since he was 10. He's not 52. Six to a 14. Finish, line, give it to G-Man. 006, dead six as DiPiazza's 14 takes six and had no shot whatsoever. Eight foul under. Garrett Griffith, 12 total, end to end, locks out DiPiazza. Matt Dattis, Norwalk, Ohio, 620 in the left side. Chad Sandlin, Burleson, Texas, 653 the dial on the right side. That's right, 300 more, come on. I'm running out of time. I'm down to about 45, 45 to 55 minutes that I'll be here. Come on, let's make it happen. Let's get it over. Find the thumb, click the thumbs up. The hearts are nice. We appreciate it, but find the thumbs up, click that, and get the thing up over 2,000. 2,800 of us watching, 1,700 of us have liked it, so there's room for growth. But let's settle this with Dadis and Sandlin. Who's your round five? Somebody's staying in the hunt for 325000 and somebody's taking some round money. Right now, it looks like Sandlin's going to continue on, but you never know with Matty D. Finish line. Sandlin, 11, dead, 3, 14 total, taken 15. Locks out Matt Dattis, 31, and 2,000 under. Getting there last had no chance. You don't get Matt Dattis mathematically ineligible very often. But right there, Sandlin laid down a stellar run. And that's exactly what you have to do. You want to, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Chad Salem does beat one of the best right there. Jeremy Waterman, Hera, Washington, 535 left side. Luke Bogacki, speaking of one of the best, one of the best ever sit inside of a race car. And I don't care if it's got doors, if it's got 
if it's if it's a drag strut, I don't care what it is. Luke can drive anything, and he is driving the wheels off his equipment today. 476 right side in the Roadster. Teresa, I'm not sure what you're watching on. And Luke is double O again. He is a machine today. And he gets the wind light. 006, take 21 to be six above. Waterman was 47, goes four above. Luke Bogacki continues his charge. And he'll be back with the Dragster. And Michael Miller on the solo. Thirty-four on the starting line goes five eighty-two on the five eighty. You, uh, Teresa, what are you what are you watching on? Are you watching on a TV? Or are you watching on a phone? Or what are you what are you watching on? So again, we got seventeen hundred likes. We got twenty nine hundred watching. Almost three thousand watching. So come on, Let's push these likes up over two thousand. All right, Teresa, way to go. I knew you'd get there. Where are we at? We're so close. Yeah, we're getting there. We're at, we just went over 1,800. So 200 to go. Come on. There's no race cars on the racetrack. There's nothing else to really think about. So 200. Come on, let's get over 2,000 likes. Got almost 3,000 of us watching. Well, there's something to say for honesty, Teresa. At this point, I kind of wish that we were in the same boat. But we still got a little racing to do before those of us here can get to that part. So, Cindy, you're watching on the TV, two phones and liked it. Cool. We got that edit in there. Car count today was 296. So we're racing for 325K. So what, we got our Super Pro Dragsters rolling back into the staging lanes. Mom? What? Yeah. People are worried about you and eating. Oh. See, nobody asks me that because they, they hear me talk about food all the time, so they know I'm eating. Well, I appreciate that. Yes, yes. We uh, actually brought in some Del Taco here, and we all had some burritos and tacos, and we're all set. We're ready to go for the rest of the night. Oh. Time to head back into the staging lanes and converse. Ooh, we like the conversing. All right. We'll see. Maybe not. So, again, 1,800 likes. We're 1,000 short. All right, so again, while it is quiet, while it is quiet, let's just kind of give a recap of what the plan is for the evening. Again, yesterday, 
we kind of had to uh, suspend racing in our FTIPerformance.com $30,000 Friday. So we had to stop. We were just about finished with the door cars. Just about finished with the door cars. Uh, hadn't quite got there. Had a few pair left. We were making our way through the rest of that. We still had all of our super pro dragsters to go in round number three. So we got suspended in round number three. Tonight, what the plan is, is we are going to wrap things up here with the million. Once we get through the million, have crowned our winner, then we will resume round number three where we left off, and we will finish up round number three tonight. We will then come back tomorrow morning and get things started with round number four. So we'll get started tomorrow morning about 8 a.m. with round number four. Uh, but tonight, our plan is to go ahead and finish up with round number three from the atiperformance.com 30K. So if you had already run in round number three, if you are still in in yesterday's $30,000 race, then at that point, we will, uh, you're, you're, you're pretty much good for the night. You're pretty much good for the night. But if you have yet to run round number three, if you haven't run round number three yet, We'll resume where we left off. We'll finish up round number three tonight, and that is where we will close up shop of the 30K. So if you've already run in round number three of the 30K race from yesterday, you're good. Basically, your night has kind of come to a close, unless, of course, you're still racing in the, in the million, but that's kind of where we stand there. If you have not yet run round number three of the 30K from yesterday, we are still planning on getting that part done tonight before we close up shop and head home. So again, it'll be the completion of round number three from yesterday's 30K tonight. And then we will start round number four fresh for everybody in the morning. Hopefully that's helpful for those of you that are trying to decide, am I you know, clear to go ahead and eat some dinner, take a nap, maybe head on down to the other strip, check out what Vegas has to offer, or... If you have still got a little racing to do in round number three, you're going to want to hang out and make sure that we get all of that handled tonight before you close up shop. We're getting closer, Nate. Yeah. We're over 1,900. We're getting closer. <laughs> Come on. I'm just, I mean, I like it. That's really good. We've got just about all of our Super Pro Dragsters back in the staging lanes. Looks like we are missing just a couple of you. Let's get Super Pro Dragsters back to the lanes for Hoosier round number five. Super Pro Dragsters, let's get you back into the lanes for Hoosier round number five. I wish... Is there a way to like, at least from our side, see exactly see how exactly many likes the number? There are? I I had it yesterday. I did too, and, and I, I can't, can't remember how it. I got to that no, screen. I don't either. I just kept clicking things, I think, and then. Let's see. These other guys with the wrenches probably know more than us. Edward, well, they probably how many know exactly, exactly does it show exactly there. how many we have? How many likes exactly? We show 1,900, but I don't know what 1,900 and what. I don't want that. Oh, boy. Yeah, I just end up closing it out and coming back because I keep doing that too. Come on, we're 1,900. Let's get it over 2,000. 